American Comics, Psychiatrist, Cut Who Wonder Gwen, Author, Simple One, 201. New Members, Your Father's Name is Peter Parker, Exclamation Mark. Speak the truth, in the beginning, Mdi didn't think about what the Spider Alliance's base would look like. A hidden basement, a small house that no one cares about, or a tiny house in the middle of nowhere, or even an abandoned shipyard, or a blocked rooftop, etc. Mdi thought about these scenes. But things start to go wrong after seeing Gwen and Cindy fly into a mansion. The base is in the building. Is it so above board? Is the Spider Alliance open in the open like this? But the facts gave Mdi another uppercut. Where is this inside the building? This is turning the building into a base, right? Mdi looked at Gwen and asked hesitantly. This building. That's right. Gwen raised her chin. Our base. It's also our home. His Tilda. Mdi gasped. By a building near Harmonton Central Park. Gwen. Are you too rich? May Di has grown up. She didn't know how much it cost to buy a building in a place like Harmonton, New York, where land was at a premium, but she definitely knew it was an astronomical sum. Even if there are bonuses for fighting crime, then she won't be able to buy one after fighting crime all her life. It's not that I'm rich, May Di. But Gwen shook her head and said, My parents' family is middle class at best, but they can't afford such a building. This building was bought by Sue, the topmost floor is Sue's home, the penultimate floor is his office, and the remaining 345 is our base. If there is still demand in the future, it can be expanded. Gwen's words made Meadow's eyes widen. She recalled the whole picture of the building when she first saw it. In my heart, I added another ranking to Suyi, Duogen. So how many places does Suyi have in her heart now? Mysterious, powerful, hidden in the mundane world, rich in gold. Looking at the days Mdai, Gwen and Cindy smiled together. Then Gwen invited. Don't be in a daze, Mdai, come and experience it. After getting to know you for a while, I'll take you to know Suyi and wonder. Good Tilda. At the same time, Su Yi was at home and also received a report from the twin dancers. Godzilla misses me, following eleven Su Yi's doubts. The twin dancers nodded. All right. He hugged Wanda who was about to fall asleep in his arms. Su Yi also knew that he hadn't visited Godzilla for a long time. When I was on Earth, I went to see it a few times. As a result, I have basically never been to the universe. So Su Yi patted Wanda's shoulder. I'm going to see Godzilla. Are you going, Wanda? Wanda closed her eyes and nodded her chin slightly. Go. When the word go is said, it always has a roll sound. Sounds so good. So Su Yi stretched out his arms to hug Wanda. He didn't even snap his fingers. In one thought, he came to Cybertron. I also saw Godzilla who had been waiting here for a long time. Raw Tilda. The moment he saw Su Yi, Godzilla immediately let out a small roar of excitement. Wanda also got off Su Yi's body. After seeing the master, Godzilla immediately controlled himself and flew over. Long time no see little guy, ho ho Tilda. He heard Su Yi calling his nickname, Godzilla was overjoyed. The two paws danced and waved back and forth, just bouncing around, and Wanda was surprised after looking at Godzilla's size. Little guy, you grow up so fast. Su Yi looked at Godzilla's height. When it was delivered, it was 520 meters. Now it is directly approaching the kilometer. Although I haven't watched it for a long time, but this growth is very comfortable. Can, Su Yi nodded in satisfaction. It seems that you are doing well here shape-shifting the energy tubes that the King Kongs gave you. Godzilla nodded. He patted his stomach again. The meaning is enough, hold on. That's good. At this time, Su Yi had seen the necklace on Godzilla's neck a long time ago. And Wanda also saw it at this time. She looked up at Godzilla's metal necklace, a gem shell with a diameter of at least 10 meters and wondered, isn't the shape of this shell a power gem? Power gem Wanda has seen. Su Yi took out the power gem and the mind gem in the bathroom at the time and even installed them. Gwen was installed with the power stone at the time. Wanda definitely remembered the appearance of that stone. But the problem is, isn't the power gem in Gwen's place? Why is there still one hanging around Godzilla's neck now? The one on the little guy's neck, is it real? Su Yi nodded for sure. It's true, the shape-shifting King Kong put it on. What about Gwen's? Wanda was puzzled at this moment, six infinite gems, isn't there only one set for each universe? That's right, Su Yi nodded, but I got the gems for you two from other universes. With luck, Tanzishi got them. Broke. My husband is a robber. He snatched infinite gems from other universes. So bad. I really like. Wanda patted Su Yi lightly. You are so kind to the people around you. Infinite gems is free to give away. Now all pets bring infinite gems. Godzilla is Su Yi's pet. And now pets have infinite gems. And guess if the group of people who wanted infinite gems vomited blood? Ho 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 Tilda. And Godzilla raised his head proudly. Next, Su Yi took Wanda and chatted with Godzilla. Godzilla also told Su Yi, shapeshifting King Kong is about to fight a big battle and I have to try my best to reach the front and blow up the most enemies, and the reason why it suddenly misses Su Yi very much. There is also a big battle coming soon. It wants to gain Su Yi's attention and expectation. In this way, after Godzilla finishes the battle, 
he can go home and be praised by Su Yi. One thought here, the Godzilla battles are even more exciting, and Su Yi understood all these. He was Phoenix Force. Godzilla knows what he is expecting and thinking in his heart. And Godzilla is only about a year old. It's still a child. Then isn't it normal for it to want Su Yi's attention and expectation? Everyone's children are like this when they are young. So Su Yi stepped forward and touched Godzilla's face and said, Come on, little guy. I look forward to your shining on the battlefield and killing all directions. Raw Tilda. Godzilla also gave a soft growl to express his affirmation. What is burning up? This is called burning up. Kill those bugs, that's all. Su Yi and Wanda chatted with Godzilla for a while, then make an appointment for the next time, which is after the first wave of the machinery and the Zerg. The two returned to the northern building from Cybertron. After coming back, Wanda thought about Godzilla and sighed. It's great that such a big pet has such a good mentality and such a good behavior. Just ask. Su Yi, the big Godzilla? If he could connect seamlessly, wouldn't he want it? But this is impossible. Godzilla only recognizes Su Yi. Without Su Yi's consent, even Wanda and Gwen couldn't command. It's the same as an absolutely loyal dog who only knows one owner. After come back, Wanda stretched, also a little less sleepy. But she rubbed her stomach and thought suddenly, have Nora make a fruit snack. Can, Su Yi suggested. Let Nora make a fruit that slices tomatoes and sprinkles them with a little sugar. Okay. Wanda went to the kitchen to ask Nora for an extra meal. And at this moment, cack, the door of the house was opened. Gwen walked in with Cindy and me changing their shoes. As soon as she came in and saw Su Yi, he immediately stretched out his hands to show Mdai and said, Danged and Tilda, Spider League has a new member. Mdai, come and introduce yourself. This is Su Yi, our immediate boss. Mdai was not so cramped at first. She was originally a Spider-Man with a free-spirited personality. A bit carefree but also very strict. But the moment he saw Su Yi, Mdai suddenly became a little nervous. She said our first. Then he said hastily, Hi, my name is Madai Parker, I'm from another world, and I'm a member of the Spider League now. Well, hello, you can call me the same as Gwen. Su Yi smiled and nodded. Wanda also came out from the kitchen door and said unexpectedly, Gwen, congratulations on your new friend. Gwen immediately introduced Wanda after seeing it. This is Wanda, one of the members of the League of Goddesses. This alliance was established before. So it's just me and Wanda. Wanda also got acquainted with Mdai. Wait until everyone gets to know each other. Wanda entered the kitchen again and said, Then let's add some fruit snacks. Let's eat some fruit here and talk. Thanks Wanda. Gwen happily took him to the sofa area and sat down. And when Mdai saw the green-haired hailer, her heart was the same as Cindy's reaction at first. At the same time Gwen also said, Oh, by the way, her name is Hala, and although she is from the same universe, she comes from Asgard. The God Realm. Heard introduce yourself over there. Hala waved without turning her head. Hello. Then go on with your own business. Gwen spread her hands helplessly after seeing it. That's how she pulls. Mdai and Cindy both laughed when they saw it. It's still fun for little girls to do. Next, everyone sat down and started chatting. Gwen began to briefly tell Su Yi what happened to the three of them. Start by downloading TikTok and searching for Gwen on May I Die. Until they came to visit the Spider Alliance base together. Wait till you finish speaking. Mdai asked again expectantly. Can I register a personal superhero account then? I also want to share my personal life on the internet. The desire to share is a very broad desire. The simple and rude thing is to pretend. Suave is life. Show operation is the skill. In short, the desire to share cannot be all pretending or vanity. Want to be recognized, and making what you do meaningful is a desire to share. So after Gwen looked at Su Yi, Su Yi nodded in agreement. Gwen immediately agreed. Definitely yes, but it's best to wait for you to do more things in this city before opening an account. This will work best. No problem. Mdai was overjoyed. The original Spider-Man has the character of the original Spider-Man. Su Yi has already discovered this. Mdai's character is very similar to Spider-Man, that is. Peter Parker. So it looks very interesting. At the same time, Su Yi also noticed it in her appearance. It does have the look of the Parker family. It's not just Su, let me tell you. At this time, Gwen said strangely again. Mdai didn't become a Spider-Man after being bitten by a spider. She was born a Spider-Man, and she didn't discover her ability until she was 15 years old. It's amazing. It's the first time I've seen a born Spider-Man. Born. Born Spider-Man. Don't say you met for the first time. It was also the first time seeing Su Yi. The birth of Spider-Man is more or less related to spiders, so how could Mdai have nothing to do with it, etc. Thinking of Danshing, Su Yi suddenly realized something. Inherited. Mdai, is your father also a Spider-Man? Su Yi asked. Yes. Mdai nodded. Then what are your parents' names? Peter Parker, and Mary Jane. As expected, it's genetics. And her father is 073 Peter Parker. That is, in her universe, Peter Parker is married, and gave birth to a daughter. This daughter is Madai Parker. Oh my god. There is actually a descendant Spider-Man appearing. At this time, Gwen also noticed the excitement between Su Yi's brows. She just wanted to ask. Fruit snacks are ready. Wanda and twin dancers came with a few plates. After putting the food away, Wanda picked up the white sugar tomatoes that Su Yi had ordered and gave them to him. Then he picked up a banana for Gwen. Finally, tell everyone. Let's eat. 
chat while eating. And after speaking, Wanda also sensed Gwen's doubts. What's wrong? Gwen looked at Su Yi. Su Yi ate a mouthful of tomatoes first, then said without haste. Remember the multi-universe mainstream Spider-Man I said? Among those present, except from Dai who didn't nod. Everyone else nodded, huh? Mdai was a little confused. Su Yi also looked at the battlesuit on Mdai and said, The red-blue spider battlesuit on your body is the most worn one among multi-universe Spider-Man. Really? Mdai was a little surprised. More than that, Su Yi took another bite of tomato and said, Including the surname Parker, it is also the most mainstream surname in Spider-Man. That made Dai understood now. But Su Yi's next sentence confused her again. But do you know, among all the Spider-Mans, who is the Spider-Man with the most versions and the largest number of people. As soon as this statement came out, everyone was stunned. I don't know. Cindy and Mdai admitted directly. Who? Gwen asked curiously. So you looked at everyone. Spit out a name. Peter Parker. May die? Question mark. Yes. Everyone was stunned. No one thought that the Spider-Man with the most nesting dolls. He's actually the father of the new girl. This is too amazing, right? In the entire Spider-Universe, Peter Parker is the most. There are many Peter Parkers with different appearances, but the ability is almost the same. Hear different faces. Mdai breathed a sigh of relief. If they all look the same, how can we find the district in the future? At home, the male version of Spider-Man is the most, and the female version of Spider-Man is less, and it is more rare. So you should know how rare it is for the three of you to get together now, right? Hear this sentence. Gwen, Cindy, and Mead looked at each other. Then Chi Chi nodded. Um, but after the precedent, Gwen asked curiously instead. Then is there a possibility that there is Spider-Man in this universe? There are not only the three of us, there is even a fourth and a fifth. But she hasn't been exposed yet, and we haven't discovered it yet? Su Yi nodded, it's entirely possible. Wow Tilda. This time, Cindy and Dai were completely pleasantly surprised. Dot. 202. Osborne Industries down. Investigate Naiu. After learning that there may be other unknown Spider-Men in this universe, Gwen, Cindy, and Dai bid farewell to Su Yi. Then they all ran out excitedly to fight crime, and went to get familiar with New York. After all, Cindy and Dai are not fully familiar with this place yet. This is another good time to fight crime. Goodbye Tilda. Goodbye Tilda. Mew at Tilda. So they went out happily. But the first two farewells were for Cindy and May Dai. Only the last one is Gwen's. The three of them left. Wanda took a bite of the apple and laughed. It's really energetic. They, Gwen has made good friends now. Wanda's origin magic power also senses a little psychic. So she can feel it too. Cindy and Mead are good girls. Wanda was also happy for Gwen for that. Su Yi listened and looked at Wanda. I think you need to get to know each other better. Wanda, I don't need it. I have you. I'm not forcing you to make friends. But there will be a long, long time in the future. You can't live like this forever. It will be very boring. Making friends is all about resignation. A worthy friend can reach tens or hundreds of common friends. And what Su Yi meant was obvious. It's not that you have to make friends. But you can't have no friends at all. And don't plan to have friends. Such a life. One year is okay. Ten years and one hundred years. So Wanda thought about it. Also nodded in agreement. I see. But well. In fact, Su Yi was also very curious. The three insects are in the same frame. And they are three male Spider-Man. The three insects here are in the same frame. A female Spider-Man. That's where it gets interesting. After that, the Spider-Man will not be all female Spider-Man, right? In Su Yi's impression, the male version of Spider-Man he knows three. They are first generation, second generation and third generation. That is, Spider-Man with three insects in the same frame. And the words of the female version of Spider-Man tell the truth. Before seeing Cindy and May die, all he knew was Gwen. Because Gwen is the prettiest. Cough cough cough. Definitely. Su Yi doesn't mean that the female Spider-Man is bad. On the contrary, he also wants all the female Spider-Mans to live in their own mansion. Willing is also very simple. They are all beautiful girls. Hiding eyes. That Cindy looked very sassy, and she usually didn't speak, but her voice was sweet when she spoke. And I just met, so it's hard to say. But it also looks good, lively and youthful, and eye-catching. How about such an alliance or spiders living downstairs in your house? That must be a pleasure. After seeing Wanda understand, Su Yi nodded in satisfaction, then stepped forward to pick up Princess Wanda and walked towards the bedroom. When Wanda saw it, she knew that she was doomed. So in turn, he hugged Su Yi's neck. Off a scarlet love. The other side. Before leaving the building, both Gwen and Cindy put on their masks in an instant. Then prepare to kick off and fly out. But Mdai can't. She put the mask on her head as she ran. When you are done, you have to pull the lock. Gwen turned her head and said after finding out. When I come back at night, I will customize an animal battle suit that is the same as the one that Cindy is wearing now. Mdai looked at Cindy. At the moment Cindy's face quickly spread a close fitting battle suit. It takes less than a second of effort. The nano battle suit wraps her in it. Wow. Cool Tilda. Mdai sighed in admiration. Can I really have it? Definitely. Gwen flew out with one foot. The nano metal battle suit is our standard equipment and the Spider Alliance can't do without some good things. Cindy followed and flew out. Mdai also jumped down. Then the three figures shot out together, 
and the cobweb began to float. The next day, Su Yi is going to work. With a sad heart, Su Yi got up and took the twin dancers to the bathroom to wash up. That mood. Brush your teeth slowly, rub your face twice, then go to the kitchen and ask Nora to make a bowl of noodles. Finally, he came to the office and sat in the office. It was 8.57 in the morning. No more, no less. Wu Wu saw Su Yi's mentally exhausted look. She stepped forward decisively. Give Su Yi a massage. But this time, it's not a shoulder press. Instead, use your fingers to massage Su Yi's brows, eye sockets, corners of the eyes, and temples with scraping, pressing, and kneading techniques. Hatilda, Su Yi closed his eyes and let out a long breath. This is so cool. Wu's fingers were cool, but not really cool. But this cool finger is really comfortable. When pressed, Ling, turn on the TV news. Ling stepped forward and turned on the news TV. Then he took the initiative to help Su Yi adjust the TV and look for the latest news. And the TV sound just came out. New Spider-Man reappears on the streets of New York. Members of the Spider League to reach three girls. Hearing this, Su Yi opened his eyes and looked on screen. It's the three female Spider-Man swinging right past the building. The three of them are each holding a cobweb. Then Gwen of black and white powder came first. Cindy in black, white and red is in the middle. The red and bloom dye is behind. The three floated across the building together. It was accidentally captured on purpose. If the photo is enlarged, you can still see the gesture of Mdai stretching out her hand at the end. After reading, Su Yi closed his eyes and enjoyed the massage again. And then there's the news. After the verification by the federal government, the Osborne industry is involved in illegal biological experiments. The FBI agent has been involved, and it will be announced to the public within three seven days. Mr. Tony Stark released photos on his personal account, which are news photos of rats, lizardmen, rhinoceros. Electric Man, etc. Does this imply something? A figure suspected to be Captain America appears at an international meeting, and he appears alongside the Wakanda guard. Vomit Tilda. Hearing this, Su Yi closed his eyes and smiled. What Osborne Industries does can be broadcast on the news. That's what actually happened. Tony sends this, which means he is secretly also providing evidence to bring down Osborne Industries. Remember that time when Wanda took Su Yi to cross the bridge? That's right. Tony said what he was going to do. And Osborne Industries is a very powerful group of companies. How to say its value in American comics is equivalent to that of Apple, Amazon. Musk and others in the real world combined. And so does Tony's company. So guess how hard it is to bring down a company like this? Do you think Apple will collapse overnight? If it can collapse overnight, how much force is there to push it down? Not to mention the Osborne group. So, behind what no one can see, there must be ample evidence and undercurrents. At this time, Ling opened the door and left. After a while, the door opened again, and Ling came in with a straight face. Master, breakfast is ready. So Yi opened his eyes, and Wu also let go of his hands and stood aside. Thanks. Wu, you're welcome, this is why I exist, district, twin dancers before being transformed into a special shapeshift in King Kong by Su Yi, both of them are omnipotent service robots, so it is their mission to serve Su Yi now, Su Yi nodded, start showing off, and at the same time, Gwen and the Mead also came to Nai U. definitely, D is on the side too, Nai U is so big, Cindy walked with them, looking exactly like the students here, on the contrary, her royal sister style. Maybe she will be considered a senior sister. The three walked on campus. They walked and talked. But at this moment, Cindy was a little surprised to see a few figures in the distance. There are still children in your school. Children? Mdai was puzzled. That's right. Look. Cindy gestured in the direction. She has a New York University student badge on her heart. Gwen and Mead looked over. It really is. Several children were taken away under the close watch of a mentor. And these kids are different. People's children are either lily or messy. But these children looked quite mature walking like little adults. Several of the children were still very picturesque when they chatted, dot 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 I don't know. Mdai shook her head after reading it. She also didn't know why Naiu had a bunch of kids students. These kids look junior high school, almost. Gwen didn't know either. But she is very social. We'll find out if we ask. Yes, Mdai is also a social cow. So Gwen and Meda took Cindy to ask. After a while, the three got the news. Naiu junior class. The children here are junior high school students some even elementary school. But his and their IQs are surprisingly high. Simply put, they are geniuses. So Naiu pays them all. After hearing the news, watching the students in the junior class leave, Cindy said in surprise, it's the first time I know there is a junior class. But Ndai was puzzled. How talented. Gwen spread her hands to express her ignorance. But the next moment, Gwen, Cindy, and Amid all turned their heads at the same time. At the same time, before the junior class disappeared, a little girl turned her head and looked back, and the little girl knew that she had been found. She also scratched her hands to say goodbye before leaving. Wait until the little girl leaves. The eyes are interesting, Cindy said. I think so too. Mdai nodded. Gwen thought for a while and said, according to our discussion yesterday, by Wang Zhao, if there is a Spider-Man in this world that we don't know about, Mdai answered, then she is more likely to be by our side than in other places. Cindy agreed, because according to the probability of the two of us, 
Spider-Man is highly likely to attract each other after crossing. Gwen nodded, so we should exclude the people around us first. Doing so has the highest priority, but how do we exclude them? The three looked at each other, then I saw a tutor carrying the roster to the classroom for class. Suddenly, all three reacted. Let's go find the enrollment roster. Yes, people who want to check schools. Then just look at the roster of admissions, since Parker has the most surnames. Then grab the surname and look it up. Let's filter Parker first. Then the three wanted to act. Beep. It was Gwen and Madeline looking at the time. No, we have to go to class. We can't be late, otherwise we will be noticed. Yes, Cindy, you'll go to find out the situation in the school archives first, and we will be together at night after school is over. Okay, Cindy nodded. So the action was suspended. Gwen and Mead went to class first, and Cindy went to scout the way. But in the juvenile class who just left, the little girl who looked back took out her mobile phone and pressed it. Immediately afterwards. The message bar in the upper left corner of the mobile phone displays the logo reaction of Starscream. Little girl clears the message. The Starscream logo also disappears. Finally, the mobile phone was put back into the pocket by the little girl. Dot. 203. Penny Parker. Question mark it's the new Spider-Man again. The time came in the afternoon. Every country is actually pretty much the same from university to university. If there is a class, it is a day. If there is no class, it is a day off. So it's just 3 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Gwen and Mead had no classes or classes. The two of them chatted in school for a while, and waited until the classmates left. They rushed to Cindy at once. After a while, the three meet. Cindy said to the two of them. I looked. There are cameras. It's very troublesome. Does the camera have night vision? Gwen asked. We can operate at night without night vision. Cindy shook her head. I don't know. Then let's go and see. The three came near the archives. Gwen looked towards the camera from a distance and suddenly let out a regret. With night vision function, this makes everyone feel a little sorry. What if there is a camera? And I thought for a while, I'll cover it up. You guys go in and have a look. Cindy shook her head when she heard this method. What if there are more cameras inside, and to cover is to expose. Our goal is to be silent, assassin. It is a pity. This time, it's not assassin. Otherwise, it would be okay for Gwen to open Wash Wang. After killing, no one will disclose the news. But the problem is, they want to see those who enter the archives, but not those who shoot. So Gwen thought about it. Can only take out a mobile phone. Question mark Cindy couldn't understand. Gwen, what are you doing with the phone? May I also asked, shouting people. Gwen took out her phone and called Wanda. Gwen, what's up? I need help. We want to check all the teachers and students in the school to see if there is anyone with the surname Parker. But there are many cameras in the archives. What should I do if they all have night vision function? Then you have three ways. One, I'll help you use magic to create illusions to fool you. 2. You use your mobile phone to contact Tan Hu Oh, let it hack for you, and the night vision camera must be connected to the internet. 3. Ask Su Yi to help you, one the finger snapping thing. In fact, there are many ways, but for Spider-Man, if they have to solve it tonight, they really have nothing to do. There is no magic, no hackers, and no masters. 187. Wanda's approach has everything. Then I'll contact Tan Hu Oh to try it first. Thank you Wanda, I'll come to you again if I can't solve it. Thank you so much. Come back to sleep these few days. I can't take it anymore. Question mark Gwen asked. Have you never used duplication? Used. Are this? Gwen turned her head and looked at it, but she didn't look over. But Cindy and Madai's ears were pricked up. Reluctantly, she could only talk to the phone. Okay, I see. I must be back tonight. Wanda immediately breathed a sigh of relief. It's agreed. Don't lie. Definitely. After placing a guarantee, Gwen just hung up the phone. But Cindy and Mdai immediately acted as if nothing happened. The two looked at each other's appearance. We're helping each other sort things out. Gwen looked at the phone helplessly. Then find the software to contact Dan Hu Oh. It is an APP with a shapeshifting King Kong logo. This is not downloaded from the web. Instead, Tan Hu Oh took the initiative to help you install it. This way everyone can contact Skyfire when they need it. It's also in Wanda's phone. Gwen opened the software. Tan Hu Oh, I need to sneak into a file room silently. But the file room is full of cameras. Can you hack it for me and help us not be caught by the cameras? After Gwen finished speaking, Tan Huo replied immediately. You can open a video conversation and point at a series of cameras that you need to hack, or give me a precise location. No matter how powerful a hacker is, he also needs a network. No matter how awesome the technology is, it must be imported. If the computer is unplugged and the network is disconnected, no matter who comes, there is no way to access it. Neither does having a goal. So Gwen turned on the rear camera and aimed at the camera they needed to hack from a distance. Immediately afterwards, Skyfire locked them. A progress bar is then displayed on the phone. 1% 21% 32% After a while, as the progress bar reached 100%, Skyfire resumed. A series of monitoring in the entire archive room has been optimized successfully, and nothing will happen to the pictures they take later. It means, the picture taken looks normal, but it's actually fake. Tan Huo took all the fake pictures linked by the cameras seriously, but it couldn't be seen at all. Great, 
Thank you Tan Huo, it's my pleasure. After solving the camera, Gwen put away her phone and hurriedly greeted the two of them to move forward. Cindy and Mdai asked in disbelief. You pointed at the camera and took a picture just now, so that solved it? Are there any hackers like this? Can you take pictures in black? This is different from the hackers they watched in the movies. This is Tan Huo, the shapeshifting King Kong. Gwen put away her phone and said with a smile. Its technology is much more powerful than that of Earth. Shapeshifting King Kong? Cindy and Mdai looked puzzled after hearing this. What is shapeshifting King Kong? Who is Tan Huo? Looking at the confused eyes of the two, Gwen waved her hand. I will introduce to you who Tan Huo is at that time. It is not a human being. It is a sports car. Hackers are sports cars? Gwen said so. The two were even more confused. What could be the relationship between this sports car and hackers? But watch Gwen walk towards the archives. The two quickly followed. That's all. The three entered the file room. But after entering, they found out. The archives of New York University are encapsulated, and there are two forms of hard disk and files. This. And I couldn't help saying after seeing it. Gwen, the package can't be removed and it will be discovered sooner or later. So what? Cindy asked. Gwen thought about it. She saw the computer in the archives. So Gwen could only take out her phone and say, Then we wish that there should be teacher and student files in these computers. After finishing speaking, Gwen said to the sky again, Help us see if there are any teacher and student files in this computer, and if so, help us find someone with the surname Parker. As you wish, Miss Gwen. Please put your phone on your computer. Gwen put the phone on the computer immediately after hearing it. Immediately afterwards, Skyfire started working. It starts scanning all the data inside. Just like in Avengers, Age of Ultron, Tony secretly scanned all the files in the aerospace aircraft carrier. After a while, Tan Huo replied. A girl named Parker was found. Files are stored in the core area. Girl? The three were surprised. Gwen quickly asked. Copy her information to the phone, and I'll take a look. Next moment. All right. After hearing it. Gwen quickly picked up the phone and watched it with Cindy and Mdai. There is this girl's file in the phone. The three of them checked together. Avatar. Name. Penny Parker. Age. 13.5 years old. Class. Junior class. IQ colon 200 plus Beck. Comment. New York orphanage orphan. Fully funded by a New York University. A genius. Can remember almost any detail. And will never forget the data he has seen. Wow Tilda. Check out the Penny Parker profile. All three women were surprised. What a little genius. Only 13 and a half years old with an IQ of 200 plus. Also like Cindy, he is also an orphan. And almost never forget it. Look at what she looks like. And I said curiously. Yeah. Gwen nodded. Then scroll down and find the picture of Penny Parker. His. Um. This. The moment the avatar was flipped out. The three were stunned. Isn't this the little girl who looked at us this morning? Yes. That's her. Black hair. Brilliant A's. She is right. The three of them understood immediately after just one glance. It must be that girl. Exactly. Sure enough. There is a Spider-Man around us that hasn't been discovered yet. Cindy was very happy. Mdai was puzzled, but she is so young. Was she bitten by a spider at such a young age? Gwen shook her head. She didn't know either. We'll find her and just follow her. Right. The three were immediately ready to make a plan. But the next moment, Tan Huo reminded suddenly. Miss Gwen, Penny Parker's file has changed. Do you want to update it? Changed? The three girls were taken aback. Gwen said immediately. Renew. So update it. The three women checked the files again. Avatar look again. Be careful I will hit you. Name, Penny Parker what are you looking up my name for? Age, 13.5 years old what's wrong with being young? Class, juvenile class slightly tilde. IQ, 200 plus hey, I haven't seen a genius. This is still fake. Comment, New York orphanage orphan, fully funded by a New York University, a genius, can remember almost any detail, and will never forget the data he has seen. The orphan at your sandwich. Tell me what to do with my file or I will send an alarm to the whole school. See here. Gwen was obviously very strange. Tan Huo, have you been discovered? Miss Gwen, I have the blessing of Cybertron technology. According to my calculations, there are several possible reasons why the other party reacted. 1. Prepare in advance. After analyzing the possibility and judging through various factors, the whole that news will be issued regularly. 2. Passive news. When the file is activated, it will be updated again. Only those who can pay attention to the update will find this file update. 3. Guess, after reading Dan Hero's analysis, the three girls felt right. Because they waited for a while, there was no alarm. The three girls turned another page. It turns out that the avatar has changed. Become a headshot of Penny Parker pulling her lower eyelid and sticking out her tongue. Very mocking. At this moment, Tan Huo reminded again. The file can be updated again. Do you want to update it? Gwen asked. Will the update be found? Won't. That. Just update. One second later. Update completed. After the update was completed, Mu and looked at the file again. The words in parentheses really changed this time. Are you afraid? HMPH. I will give you one last chance to admit your mistakes, otherwise I will publish the videos and photos of you under the camera. Definitely you can also do something to me. The avatar is me. 
but be careful to be killed in advance. Obviously, this is another automated threat. Now the three women also understand. These messages are updated automatically, equivalent to an automatic program. And this bot is definitely Penny Parker doing it. After seeing it, Dai only sighed. This girl, Spider-Man, is so smart. That's right. Cindy agreed. We were almost deceived. The key point is that she is not yet 14 years old. Gwen also admitted that she was very smart. But now the problem is, this girl must be a hacker or a tech Spider-Man, so how do we reach her? And I thought for a while, you also use hackers? No, Cindy denied, no matter what, it's true only when we meet each other. And I thought again, then how about arresting her directly after she goes to school again? Dot. Cindy looked at Ndai, you are a bit like a child abductor. Then what should I do? Ndai and Cindy sighed at the same time. Then they looked at Gwen together. Gwen from at the moment was thinking too, if Penny Parker is technical, a genius, then how can one track her without being detected, or take the initiative to attract her and let her talk as a Spider-Man? Gwen thought for a long time, she looked at her phone and wanted to ask Tan Hu Oh, but at the moment of thinking of Tan Hu Oh, Gwen knew it right away, wait, if Penny Parker likes technology and high technology, then Tan Hu Oh will probably expose herself under the camera, but only for Penny to see, do you think she will come and see? When the three women thought about it, they felt very good, Tan Hu Oh also replied, good idea, then do it. 204. Tony Milk Tea is now open. Stevens Serial Nightmare. T plus 5 colon 30. Su Yi got off work early and punched his card. Then I took Wandan out of the house and went shopping outside, looking at the various merchants having scenery on both sides. Wanda hugged Su Yi's arm, with a happy smile on her face. Wanda obviously prefers company compared to online money transfers, gift giving, and voice calls. It's the kind of daily shopping, eating and drinking, or the simple act of buying vegetables and cooking. The two walk down the street like this, even if it is crowded round. The surrounding crowd will also actively avoid it after approaching one two meters. At this moment, Wanda looked around, then suddenly his eyes lit up, and he patted Su Yi's arm. Um, Su, look at that. Su Yi looked in the direction of Wanda's finger. Good guy. The milk tea shop that Tony cooperated with himself has opened. Really open? Pretty fast. Taste? Yes. So the two came near the milk tea shop. As a result, it was discovered at this time. The milk tea shop is overcrowded. Queues lined up from the door to the street. And it turned more than two corners. Hiss. So many people. So you looked at the number of people in line. There must be hundreds of people queuing up to buy milk tea. So scary. This is no one in line. It's all money. A lot of people. Wanda was also surprised. Look at so many people in line. So you looked at the signboard of the milk tea shop. Super tea. Simply put. Super milk tea? Superhero milk tea? At this moment, Wanda lifted her chin. Point to a screen in the store. There is also a large poster at the door. The content of the poster. Ah, uh, Tony? Yes, not your average Tony. The content of the poster is that Tony Stark is wearing a steel battle suit, and then opens the mask, leaning on the recliner and drinking the milk tea that he and his two collaborated on. Good guy. It is yes to bring salt yourself. On one poster, Iron Man plus milk tea. Directly fill the publicity effect. Plus milk tea is really delicious. Friends around Su Yi, whether it is Steven. Wonder, or Gwen, like to drink. No reason common people don't like it. That's why it's a crowded place now. But the problem is, how to buy it? We line up. So you looked at this milk tea shop, speak the truth. He's not one to break the rules either. That is to say, although he can drink this milk tea with ability, he will also break the rule. This is his ability. Definitely. So Yi doesn't like to break the rules casually. But some people learned badly from Su Yi. Nothing to worry about. Wanda looked at the style of milk tea from a distance. Then asked Su Yi, which flavor do you like? Me? Anything is fine, as long as you can buy it. Okay, then I can do either. It's more convenient. Question mark. Before Su Yi could figure it out, Wanda spotted a couple who had just bought milk tea. They just came out with two cups of packaged milk tea. Then Wanda went up. He patted the woman on the shoulder. Um, the woman and the man turned their heads together. Then Wanda's eyes turned red. Then she took out her wallet. He took out a 100 meter bill and handed it to the two of them. Buy your milk tea, agree. 11. There was also a little scarlet in the A's of the two of them. So listen to Wanda. He nodded and said, Good. Um, now that I agree, if you like me, I will trade peacefully. So Wanda pays with one hand and gets the goods with the other. In the end, the couple left with 100 yuan. This milk tea sold by Tony. Pricing is also not expensive. Small glasses are $3, large glasses are $4 and there is no zonglin. Everyone buys big cups, and the money Wanda gave them could buy 25 cups. Definitely. The extra money will be treated as queuing. So Wanda returned to Su Yi's side with double milk tea. Here, milk tea. Looking at the bottle of milk tea that Wanda handed to himself, Su Yi took the milk tea with a very exciting expression on his face. It was a look of unexpected surprise. It's really yours, Wanda. They agreed, so they agreed. Wanda smiled. Do you still remember the time we went to the Ferris wheel? The driver was very willing. That time I gave 1000 yuan. How can he not be emotional? Then you gave too much, 
I think he is very happy for 500 yuan. Ever since, there is no line. So Yi and Wanda each drank a cup of milk tea while walking on the road. The two are very happy. The couple was also very happy to get 100 yuan. This is peer-to-peer -peer trading. Wanda opened the package and took a sip of the milk tea. Then he frowned. Why does it taste wrong? It's normal. So Yi also took a sip to taste the taste. At the beginning, it was so delicious that no one came to make the milk tea plate bigger. You have to get some plates out, let others join in the milk tea market, and then squeeze together to fight against the coffee market. Finally, when it can be evenly compared with coffee, Tony will make a better milk tea formula, which is to harvest the friendly market. Then they monopolize the milk tea market. To put it simply, it is to start with teammates first, wait until the family is big enough to stand firm in the market, and then use some teammates to strengthen yourself. Then he became the leader of the dragons. Business thinking is really cruel. Wanda understood, she sighed and shook her head. The friendly army hasn't entered the field yet, and the means to deal with the friendly army has already thought of a third step. That's right. This is not the case with domestic mobile phones. Let's fight against Apple first. Wait until you can really split with Apple 50-50, or even 64-40. Then point the knife at the friendly army, and cut off a piece of cake. So once a hundred flowers bloomed in mobile phones. Now it has become a fixed number of brands. It's all the same. TF6 colon 15. Wanda and Su Yi have been shopping for a while. The milk tea is also finished. The sun began to slowly set. Go home in the evening? Su Yi suggested. Okay. Wanda nodded. Evening is the night scene. And the night view in the northern building should not be too comprehensive. So the two were going to go shopping again and went home. At this time, the two were walking. Su Yi's cell phone rang. He took it out to have a look. Dot. Stephen, are you free? Su, I want to talk to you. Since we left Tony's house, I've been a little bit wrong. Something wrong? So you looked at Wanda. Then let's go for a while. Okay. Wanda nodded obediently. So Su Yi replied. Yat, I mean, if someone treats a guest to a cup of coffee and some desserts, it's not impossible for the invited person to take it after get off work. Stephen colon dot 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 okay, please, I just want to take someone with me. Su Yi, then come here now, we are at shop 27 on 45th street. There happens to be a nice sky garden cafe here. After Su Yi gave the address, less than a second, Wanda looked towards the door of a store. Next moment, a spark of gold appeared out of nowhere. Then a portal opens. Stephen and King Mage in robes came out from inside. The people around immediately looked at the two of them. Su Yi thought about it. The people around walked away as if nothing happened. Um, Stephen and Wang Chi looked around strangely. Then he looked at Su Yi. It's just to brush off some pure feelings. Su Yi waved his hand, looked at the location of the coffee shop to indicate to follow and then said, otherwise, how could I still be shopping normally on the streets of New York? Yes, Wanda has many fans. Even 99 out of 100 people didn't recognize it. But as long as one recognizes it, they don't want to leave normally today. Stephen and Wang heard it. He also nodded understandingly. Especially Wang's expression is mysterious. He is the administrator of the Mage Library. So it is more clear that the actual strength of this ability is out of magic. Asking for flowers. It's another kind of layer that is vaguely present. In short, they don't even think about it. Let's just play spells honestly. Next, come to the coffee shop in the Sky Garden privately. The consumption here is still very high, but the environment is very good. The original wooden floor, various decorations, and green plants make this cafe look fresh in the city. But before the four of them sat down, Stephen and Wang dutifully saluted Su Yi first, and then nodded to Wanda. Su Yi accepted it frankly. According to his identity, he is the godfather of Supreme Mage. According to strength, he is much stronger. According to reality, he is enlightening others, so he deserves this gift. After the four sat down, the waiter came up and put down the eggs. After everyone casually ordered, they handed it over to the waiter and asked him to leave. So you looked at Stephen's frown. Looks like you're in trouble. Stephen crossed his hands, nodded and said with a sigh. Yeah, a very dot 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 strange thing. Wang also said seriously. Stephen has told me that, although it sounds strange and false, we agree that it is very likely to be true. So Yi nodded, say it. Stephen slowed down, recalled all the process and then said, it still starts from the night after we left Tony's house. Since that day, I have dreamed every night, and every nightmare is different. But all the same. A little girl and I were being hunted by some kind of monster. We run away exhausted every time. Sometimes I help little girls all the time. Sometimes I feel bad for little girls. But no matter what, it will be a failure in the end, or I will die. I wake up from nightmares almost every time these days. But even if this, in the dream, I also felt that he was extremely real. I died in the dream as if I died in real life. Stephen's brows were still furrowed when he finished speaking. Apparently he's been tormented by recent nightmares. The king on the side also nodded and said, when Stephen first told me, I thought it was fake, just a dream. 17. But I was curious, so I tested his spirit and mind to find out. Every time he wakes up from a nightmare, it feels like he has been physically traumatized. Simply put, you think it's a game, and you get hurt when you get hurt. As a result, 
you died in the game. In reality, you actually feel like you are consuming a lot of energy. After listening to these, Su Yi nodded. Wando asked besides Su Yi, have you noticed any clues? No. Both Stephen and Wang shook their heads. Wanda speculated. If Mage wants to achieve this kind of place, he must far exceed you in strength, and even crush you. When Stephen heard this, his brows furrowed even more. He asked humbly, if it's Mrs. Wanda, can it be done? Or who else can do it? To tell you the truth, the word Mrs. Stephen pleased Wanda, because Mrs. mostly refers to the polite title of a male spouse. So Wanda explained, if it were me, I could, but I don't think anyone else in this world can do it. This sentence is equivalent to a final word. Su Yi nodded cooperatively to express his affirmation. Seeing Su Yi nodded, Stephen and Wang knew that Wanda was right. Wanda is the master of origin magic power. When she just got awakening ability, she can play Avengers in the applause. Hulk was treated badly at the time. Plus the mind gem she now has. This is the confidence of Wanda. She said that no one in this world can do it anymore. That is, no one can do it anymore. This is authority. So Stephen and Wang started to frown again. If no one else can do it. So what happened to his nightmare these days? Stephen and Wang were helpless. He could only look at Su Yi's corpse for help. Dot. 205. Multi-universe Stephen. Doctor Strange 2. For Stephen, it's been too crazy these days. How can anyone dream of being hunted down every day? And they're not necessarily good people. And sometimes the bad guys. Even dead. But the point is, obviously the self in the dream died. Why is the spirit in reality also greatly affected? He doesn't understand. So I can only ask Su Yi for help. Coincidence at the same time. Su Yi knew exactly what was going on with him. Because that's what Doctor Strange 2 is about. Start with this movie. Marvel is revealing the multi-universe. And Stephen is also the first superhero to contact multi-universe. But the problem is, in the original plot, Wanda was considered a villain. Wanda in that world practiced the Dark God book. Therefore, the development of evil thoughts cannot be restrained. But here comes the problem again. So you modified the multi-universe archive. He made the entire multi-universe only have one wonder beside him. The other wonders exist as if they never existed. So if the current plot is still happening, who will be the villain of Doctor Strange 2? How will the plot develop? Since Steven has encountered this problem now, so that means the storyline has already unfolded. There will definitely be villains at that time. Otherwise the storyline does not hold. That's where it gets interesting. Coffee is here. 7-Eleven. At this time, the waitress brought coffee and dessert. There are also biscuits and bread. The four took their coffees. So Yi took a sip, and could only say that it was neither good nor bad. Not as good as milk tea. And after Wanda took a sip, he also picked up a piece of sweet biscuit and ate it. Americano is indeed bitter, so the biscuits are used to relieve suffering. Su Yi stretched out his hand. Wanda broke off her own half and handed it to Su Yi. Su Yi stuffed it into his mouth. Then he said to the staring Stephen and Wang, Let me just say it briefly. Yeah, Stephen and Wang Meng nodded. Su Yi swallowed the biscuit and started talking. Since your dream can affect you, then this dream is not necessarily a dream, but another real existence. Another real? Stephen thought for a moment. But there are all kinds of me in a dream. Yesterday I dreamed that I died, and my death was miserable. So Yi nodded, ate some biscuits, took a sip of coffee and said, But you're not dead now, are you? What if you have a duplication? What if that's another you? What if? Is he one of yours? So Yi said these words meaningfully, and this sentence. It also made Stephen and Wang fall into contemplation. The two were silent for a while, then look at each other. Stephen suddenly understood and asked, You don't mean... There are many Stevens who look like me, also have the same name. Uh dot 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 not necessarily exactly the same. This, Steven's pupils were shocked, because what Su Yi meant was that he was right. The Steven in his dream is really all Steven, and the dead Steven was also Steven. That's right. Then where are they? Why do I only see them in my dreams? Su Yi shook his head. That's not a dream. To put it bluntly, it's called an elimination scene, and they wouldn't be in the same universe under normal circumstances. But now, it's not a normal time. With Su Yi shaking his head, Stephen also realized that this problem seems to be not small. He actually has many selves. But the point is, what's the problem? What's wrong with the universe? Obviously, Stephen is unknown to the multi-universe. Even the king is the same. After hearing this, Wanda also looked at the two of them, then shook her head slightly and asked, Does Ancient One Mage know about this? Stephen and Wang suddenly started shaking their heads. Su Yi also explained, Ancient One doesn't know these things. It can't be predicted with that stone. Stephen looked down, that stone, staring at it is the time gem. Stephen could see that there would be a big war in the outer reaches of the solar system soon. But he couldn't see why he had become like this. That's why. The upper limit of stone is only level single universe. And the messy things that happened in the multi-universe. How could it be affected by an infinite gems? Not to mention just the ancient one of the level godfather. So back to Stephen's question. What the hell is going on in this universe? About this question. So Yi no longer wanted to explain too much. Because he explained it many times, so, in a nutshell, so you looked at Stephen, you should know that New York's Spider-Man has changed from first to third, Stephen nodded, then he reacted suddenly, are they all, no, so he interrupted directly, there is only one Gwen, and there is only one Wanda, Gwen is Gwen, 
Spider-Man is Spider-Man. Spider-Man is not necessarily Gwen, but Spider-Man has Spider-Man history, like Supreme Mage. Steven. Steven is smart. He understood immediately. Three Spider-Man, not Gwen plus Gwen plus Gwen. Instead Spider-Man plus Spider-Man plus Spider-Man. Then the Steven in his dream. Strictly speaking it's not Steven X3 either. It's Supreme Mage plus Supreme Mage plus Supreme Mage. That is one Supreme Mage after another. They are all the same identity. But it's not the same person. It is not the same self. It's just that they are called Steven and they are also the Supreme Mage. Steven understood in a flash. So, it's not just me, but many people are like this, right? Correct me. The vast majority of people. So Yi took a sip of his coffee and thought about it. There are even people you can't think of. Here here. Steven and Wang nodded slowly. They now finally know what the dream was and why. But here comes the problem again. How can I solve the dream problem? So Yi shook his head. It's just a natural problem. You don't have to think about it deliberately. It's just that your connection during this period is too deep, and after a while, or you fall asleep with your own hypnotic ability. If something is going to happen, it will always happen. It may be the next moment. If it doesn't happen, it won't happen. Stephen and Wang nodded slowly again, after understanding the problem. The two also breathed a sigh of relief. While it does sound bad to have multiple selves, it's better than being the only ones who suffer and die. The other one dies as soon as he dies, as long as you are still alive. But think here. Stephen immediately asked curiously. And does Tony have another version of himself? Have. Where's Captain America? Have. Where's the Hulk? There are also. His. Here here. Stephen was relieved and shocked again. Relieved that everyone is almost the same. Then he feels much more balanced. And the shocking self-expression. Everyone actually has a different self. At the same time, Wang asked curiously in a low voice. What about me? Godfather. Hear this sentence. So Yi raised his head and looked at the obedient Wang with a smile. Why don't you? Wang was taken aback, and then reacted. Right. The Supreme Mage has it, and so does Iron Man. So why don't I have it? Are you special? Obviously not. So he has too. All right. Wang angst and took a sip of coffee. Just be a librarian honestly. But Su Yi smiled and said, In other universes, you even became the supreme mage and the courier of the world. Um? Wang Ameng raised his head and looked at Su Yi. Steven also looked at Su Yi and asked, Wang is still the supreme mage in other universes? Definitely. Everything is possible. Su Yi nodded. In the macrocosmic environment, in the years when Steven disappeared, Wang became the supreme mage, and the Steven of this universe has not disappeared, and more aware of their responsibilities, so he has always been the supreme mage. Steven and Wang glanced at each other. Now both of them are more aware of the essence of multi-universe, and Steven also joked, how about we switch between the two supreme mage? No, Wang shook his head resolutely, supreme mage is so tired, not as relaxed as my librarian. Steven was speechless, and mage dislikes being the supreme mage, he was about to say something, but he was just about to speak. Next moment, Tilda. There was a huge amount of booming sound in the distance outside the building. The moment this voice appeared, everyone on the street was taken aback. Then start walking away at the same time. Some ran immediately, and drove more people to escape. Upstairs, the four looked at each other, then stand up and go to the balcony to look down. The crowd fled in the opposite direction. This time, no one even yelled. Everyone understands. Shout chicken feathers. Run first and talk later. So Yi and Wanda not only had no accidents. On the contrary, there is a feeling of surprise. The two turned their heads and looked at each other. Is there an illusion that we met for the first time? So Yi asked. Yeah. Wanda nodded a little excitedly in agreement. Yes. It was more or less the same then. Everyone else started to flee. But he bucked the trend. It's just that. That time it was Su Yi who held Wanda's hand and slowly approached the danger zone. 1.4 and now, after hearing the boom, Wanda grabbed Su Yi's hand. Then I want to take the initiative to go and have a look, as if looking forward to seeing the target. Su Yi felt the pull from his hand. I can only sigh. Times have changed. Stephen also asked. Go and see. N. Su Yi nodded. So Stephen took out his wallet and took out the rice yuan, and put the rice yuan under the plate to clamp it. Then turned around and jumped downstairs, directly from the balcony. After Wang saw it, immediately explained to Su Yi. Stephen he's used to flying. He's not being disrespectful. Wang Gang finished speaking. Su Yi and Wanda instantly disappeared out of thin air. King. Okay. I'm Joker. After a while, as the crowd runs away, Wanda and Su Yi have teleported to the sky where the rumbling sound originated. As soon as the two arrived here, I saw a little girl running around on the street, and behind her, a big void octopus was chasing and killing her. At this time, Stephen also flew over. She looked at the little girl running away on the street for a moment. Then he turned his head abruptly and said to Su Yi who was on the roof not far away. She is the one who ran away with me in my dream. Obviously, Stephen planned to rescue the little girl. Su Yi nodded. Then stretched out one hand. Signal please start your performance. Dot. 206. Battle against squid monsters. Spider League to the rescue. The moment I came to the scene, Steven's gaze was attracted by the little girl who was being hunted down. There is no other reason for this. Only this little girl is just like the little girl in his dreams. So to figure this out, Steven can only shoot. Otherwise, 
if the little girl died. Then there is no clue. After Su Yi nodded, Stephen twisted his hands, twisted out a long gold whip with magic, and then flew towards the big octopus. Wanda was stunned seeing this. He looked at Stephen's operation. Mage, why don't you cast the spell first? Su Yi shrugged his shoulders. Who knows? There are too many melee mage in Marvel. Wasn't that person who called himself the number one mage in the Nine Realms every day before stabbing someone in the back with a small dagger? Have you ever seen him play spells? He plays with a dagger. Su Yi looked at Wanda. Fortunately, Wanda has been adjusted by Su Yi. From the beginning, she used spells to kill rats, spells to kill enemies, and mage crushed, shredded, and bombed enemies. So Wanda is a real mage. Immediately afterwards, under the gaze of Su Yi and Wanda, Steven stepped forward and waved the gold whip to lash the octopus monster that looked like a void creature. He snapped. The octopus immediately shrank back. The child was surprised when he saw it. You again? No, you are mistaken. I am another Stephen. After Stephen finished speaking, he continued to whip the void octopus like pulling away his whip. But when he lashed, the whip didn't budge. Um, Stephen looked up. It was found that the whip had been rolled up by the octopus monster. The reporter octopus twitched violently. 12 R. Stephen was drawn like this. The little girl yelled when she saw it. Let go of the whip. Stephen. Okay. Stephen wasn't panicking either. After all, he has seen Dormammu. So Stephen gave a whip. People start to fall. Careful. The tentacles are drawn. But as the little girl shouted, when Stephen turned his head to look over, it was already too late. The huge tentacles pulled out. Even the magic cloak on Stephen couldn't take him to dodge in time. So it can only be rolled up to help Stephen resist some injuries. Both touch. Boom tilde. Boom tilde. Stephen was instantly sent flying to a nearby wall. Then it made a bang and fell down again. At this time, the cloak had already reacted, and quickly took Stephen out to evacuate. And if the octopus sees it, can he let him go? It directly started chasing Stephen, and chased and killed the little girl together. I come. At this moment, Wang finally ran over. As soon as he drew his magic, he also started to help Stephen join the battle. The two fought wits and courage against the octopus monster. The fight was very hot, but Su Yi in the distance looked very strange, because, he remembered correctly, this group of octopus monsters in the original plot, it was directed by Wanda. Right. They were instructed by the Dark Wanda to tie the little girl back. Definitely. What Stephen had in his previous dream didn't count. Only these monsters on Earth, in the original plot were directed by the Dark Wanda. But now, Su Yi turned his head slightly. Wanda is wrapping his arms around him, watching the play wonderfully. Moreover, now there is only this Wanda beside him. Then it can no longer be what Wanda instructed. Who would that be? Su Yi was very curious. No Wanda. The sacred timeline will definitely find someone to fill it up. Then become a different person. But the purpose will be similar. Who would he? Or she be. So he is looking forward to it. Part a part a part a. At this moment, there was a soft landing sound not far behind Su Yi. The two turned their heads to look. They are the three daughters Gwen, Cindy, and Mead. They are all wearing spider battle suits at the moment, and Gwen is still the same black and white pink symbiosis battle suit. Cindy is a black and white nano battle suit. Mdai is a red and blue nano battle suit. The three are also easy to recognize. Wanda looked at the three of them. You came here so fast. The fight has just started here. Gwen bounced to Su Yi's side and hugged Su Yi's other arm. Gwen already knew it when she was shocked. Right. Spider-Man has a strong sixth sense. Peter Parker's male Spider-Man can predict the big crisis that is happening in the city. Not to mention the female Spider-Man with a stronger sixth sense. They can even predict various small crises that are happening in the city, such as robberies, shootings and so on. If it is such a major event that destroys the city, the three women could sense it immediately and rushed over. So a woman's sixth sense. It's true. And the three women all came to the edge of the roof. Curious to see the battle that was getting closer and closer. What's the matter? Cindy looked at the void octopus and asked, What kind of monster is this? Mdai looked at the two mages and exclaimed, Is that magic? Why are you fighting in melee? Shouldn't it be throwing spells? There are too many questions. Su Yi is too lazy to answer. He moved his clasped fingers. Wanda began to explain understandingly. It's not just you Spider-Man. Other people have also started a chaotic multi-universe. What you see now is another form of chaos. Wanda said so. The three girls understood immediately. This multi-universe is really messy. Then shall we help them? Gwen looked at the two-on-one game and said mage. I don't think they can solve it for a while. It can help. Su Yi nodded. Gwen wanted to twitch when she heard it. But Su Yi said again. But don't do it. Let Cindy and Mdai exercise. Gwen understood. If you go up by yourself, you will kill others in seconds. Then what about Mdai and Cindy? So Gwen looked back at the two women, then nodded. I mean you go. Cindy and Mdai understood. The two trotted forward, and then jumped on the edge of the roof. Then control spinning. Swing towards the octopus together. And here is Steven. After fighting the octopus monster for a while, obviously he plus Wang were both beaten. Watching the little girl being hunted down, Stephen threw the magic cloak and ordered, take her to a safe place first. The magic cloak flew over immediately, then take the little girl away first. But after facing this octopus monster again, Stephen pursed his lips, I want to use a bigger spell. What? Wang immediately turned his head to look at Stephen and shook his head after hearing it, 
No, advanced spells cannot be used on the streets unless it is the last moment. Once it is planned or made a mistake, the city can be destroyed in an instant beyond the point of no return. Thought you were an ancient one mage with hundreds of years of mage experience? Obviously, Wang was the first to refuse Stephen's advanced spell. Because spells like ancient one that can even twist cities are not messing around. If interrupted in the middle, the city will be destroyed in no time. It is unimaginable that it is difficult to recover. Then the advanced spell is not something you can control if you want to control it. Ancient one can do it because she has studied it for hundreds of years. But Stephen only studied for a year or two. In Wang's understanding, do you use it. If you make a mistake, this city might as well be destroyed by monsters. It does not destroy as much as you do. So Wang was the first to refuse Stephen to use advanced spells. At the moment the battle continues, Stephen said while running and throwing spells, then it will take some effort to solve it. It's better than ruining the city, Wang said seriously. At this time, the big tentacles of the octopus monster suddenly extended towards the two of them. Hide. Wang immediately yelled, when Stephen saw it. He wanted to kick his feet and let the magic cloak take him off the ground, but he didn't realize until he hit the ground. I don't have cloak anymore. Cloak just got that little girl to safety, and now I escaped and landed again. At the moment the big tentacles have been drawn. After seeing the magic cloak, it was too late to think about it. Stephen. Wang stretched out his hand and exclaimed. Stephen looked at the big tentacles that drew over. You can only adjust yourself to minimize the damage. But the next moment, PSSTPSSD tilde, the sound of two cobweb jets sounded. Stephen opened his eyes and looked. Two daughters in spider battle suits swooped down from tall buildings. Then they gave the octopus monster a heavy blow. Bang bang. Hit by tons of force from the two women. The outstretched tentacles of the octopus twitched. Then immediately fell towards the other side of the street. In Stephen's surprised eyes, the strength of the two women is really too great. Such a big octopus monster. Its feet are dry. But it's not over yet. Watching the octopus fell to the ground, Cindy and Di exchanged glances. Tie it up first. Um. The two stepped aside. Then shoot the cobweb and together bind the octopus tentacles and head together. P-S-S-T 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 tilde. Then the two circle around, increase the amount of silk spinning a little more. 113 soon the octopus was entangled. Now it wants to break free. It takes a lot of effort. Help. Wang knew it was an opportunity at a glance, with a twist of his hands. He magically pulled out several chains of gold. Stephen understood right away. He then drew out several gold chains. Then the two of them flung towards the octopus at the same time. Wow, wow, with gold chains wrapped around octopus's body. The two were pulling tightly. Crash, then instantly locked the body of the octopus monster. Now a large number of cobweb plus gold chains. Now I can't move at all. And Cindy looked at the whole body of the octopus monster. She said it right away. Find something to destroy the eyes of this octopus monster. This must be a weakness. Do you have long weapons? After Stephen heard it, without any hesitation, he conjured up a long gun and threw it at Cindy. After Cindy received it, she wasn't going to poke at all. Instead, lean back, turn sideways, stretch and finally throw hard, PSST. For a moment, a dark shadow flashed in the sky. The octopus monster with wide eyes was instantly pierced by a spear, and the long spear penetrated directly behind the octopus monster. It was also nailed to the horse behind it. His dot dot. Wang's eyes widened when he saw it. What kind of power is this? A spear hurled through the monster's head, and then can it penetrate nails to the ground? How much effort is this? Stephen was also surprised after seeing it. Has Spider-Man's power always been this great? The key is, a girl has so much power. If a man provokes her, the Tan Link Govern must not be unscrewed. And, why are you and Wang these two big men? Doesn't it look like no one's girls are good? Oh, right. This is Su Yi's Spider-Man. Then Stephen's mentality will be more comfortable. And after throwing the spear, Papa, Cindy clapped her hands, looked at Mdai and said, Okay, solve it, let's go back. Um, Mdai nodded. Then he took out his phone and took a picture of Decedent. Finally put away the phone. One shot cobweb left. Dot. 207. The little girl who travels through the universe, Stephen's dead body stinks. After killing the octopus, Cindy and Mdai who went back were praised by Su Yi, especially Cindy. Her judgment was quick, accurate, and decisive. After speculating that the target's weak point is the eyes, immediately wanted to take a weapon to attack the weak point. And after using Stephen's weapon, Cindy instantly killed the octopus monster. Su Yi nodded in satisfaction. Also found a problem. Spider-Mans have the least weapons, otherwise they have no attack power with bare hands. And the weapons on the side, such as knives, guns and sticks, cannot be used. Because Spider-Man wants Cobweb to climb over tall buildings. So the weapon cannot be held in the hand. Don't get in your way either. Then this weapon must be as easy to carry as Gwen's weapon. For a while, Su Yi thought of several weapons, such as soft sword, snake bone sword arm blade and so on. But then I thought about it or forget it. Not as good as the spider spear Tony designed for little Spider-Man. So Su Yi said, when I go back, I will bring a weapon system to your nano battle suit, and you will be proficient by then. Cindy, may die. Hear Su Yi's words. Cindy and Dai stared at each other, then cheer together. Wu Tilda. 
Great, to tell you the truth, Spider-Man does lack a handy weapon. Otherwise, it would be too bad to be unarmed. If you have a powerful weapon, Cindy will also be less difficult when confronting Rhino for the first time. Afterwards, Stephen and Wang Zhao walked towards Su Yi. After seeing it, Gwen waved to Su Yi and said with Cindy and Mdai, Let's go first. There is one more thing to do tonight. Hearing this sentence, Su Yi waved his hand, and Wanda was surprised. She watched Gwen move her eyes, meaning, Didn't you say you're going home tonight? Gwen shrugged. The expression in his eyes said, Depending on the situation, maybe I will come back sooner. Wanda glared at Gwen. Then Gwen shot Cobweb and left with Cindy and Mead. Afterwards, Su Yi, Wanda, Stephen, Wang, and the little girl who was just rescued by Stephen returned to the coffee shop just now. At the moment the time outside has come to evening, after Stephen introduced himself, he looked at the little girl and said, You should introduce yourself too, girl. The little girl who was called looked at everyone. After she glanced at Stephen, he looked at Su Yi and Wanda. Then he said, My name is America Chavez and I'm from dot 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 another world. After Stephen and Wang heard this sentence, the eyes of both of them were as expected. The little girl America was also surprised when she saw this eye. You know me? Stephen looked at the little girl. I've met you many times in my dreams, and we haven't succeeded, have we? America just nodded. Yes, but do you know why? I think I probably know. Stephen looked at Su Yi. After finding out that Su Yi had nothing to say, he was sure that what he understood was correct. You know? Now it was America's turn to not understand. Have you ever seen a multi-universe? I haven't seen it. Stephen took a sip of coffee but I already understand. I guess what you want to say is, there are countless universes in this world that are almost the same, and there are many people in them who are the same, with the same name, the same ability rewards. America nodded. Yes, but how did you know? You've been hacked before dot 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 wait, I know. America was still puzzled, then she suddenly remembered the Spider-Man who killed the octopus just now. She reacted. I saw only one Spider-Man in other universes at most, and there are two in this world. So you have already seen the multi-universe? Strictly speaking, there are three Spider-Man. But it doesn't matter. Important. Steven asked straight to the point. What I want to know is, why have we been hunted down? Who is the enemy? Why have we been unsuccessful? I don't know who the enemy is. America shook her head. I've seen many of you, you are good most of the time, bad some of the time, and most of the time, you want to kill me and snatch my ability. Cough cough cough. Hear the badass yourself. Steven immediately coughed to cover up his embarrassment. When he looked at Su Yi, Su Yi was drinking coffee but the corner of his mouth was smiling. All right. Stephen broke the jar and smashed it. He looked at America and asked directly, If we don't know who the enemy is, then what are all the actions in my dream about? What are we pursuing? What do you want? In Stephen's dream, every time the little girl ran with him, he hardly ever took the initiative. This made him very puzzled. What are the two of them doing? Hearing this question, America lowered her head, then looked at Su Yi, Wanda, and more. Stephen said quickly after seeing it, You can trust the people here. Both Sue and Mrs. Wonder are much stronger than us. Wonder also looked at America and said, Speak out about your problems so they can be resolved. America was silent for a while, then nodded and said, Good, but she ate a small biscuit first. Then he started talking. Although our enemy does not know who it is, one thing is certain, there is a book of magic that can help us defeat that enemy. As long as we can use that magic book and get rid of the enemy, not only my problem can be solved, but everyone's problem can also be solved. Stephen frowned. What spell book? America was silent for a moment, then looked at Stephen and said, The book of Emperor Waishan. Forehead. So you remembered the purpose of these two people chasing after each other. It seems that they want the book of Emperor Waishan. But Stephen couldn't help it in the end. The only choice is to practice the dark divine book. But the book of Emperor Waishan is always the best choice. Are this? While Su Yi was drinking coffee, Wanda just took Su Yi's hand and squeezed it as if she loved it. Su Yi knew that this was what Wanda was saying. Need performance? Su Yi didn't say anything. It means that there is no need to express. If there is only Stephen alone, why Sandy's use can be shown to Stephen and Wang. Both are fine. The key is that the little girl America is here. If she was allowed to see the book of Emperor Waishan, that is if the power of the multi-universe gate in her body erupts. This is really messed up. The universe that Su Yi is in is probably never peaceful. What ghosts and snakes Shandu can appear. But Stephen and Wang were silent after hearing Wai Shandy's book. Stephen looked at America. That is the divine book, and those who get it will have great power. That's right. America nodded in agreement. That's why I needed to deal with the enemy and help myself. It's almost impossible to get. But in my reality, many times it's close, it's just that you're dead, and I wanted to help me. Help you? A. Hey. America was a little embarrassed now, because I still can't control my power to travel. Usually I travel when I'm excited. Well, Stephen only sighed. This situation sounds bad. The more unstable the situation is, the more dangerous it is. And that's the case with America. That's a headache now. Stephen pinched the bridge of his nose, then looked at Su Yi and asked, How to do this? What should I do? What else can I do? Su Yi took a sip of coffee and laughed. Congratulations on having a younger brother. Take her well. You have no choice. Stephen's face froze instantly. He still really didn't have a choice to solve this matter. 
he had to protect the little girl. If you want to protect the little girl, you have to take the little girl with you. All right, I got it. Stephen groaned in distress, and Su Yi looked at his watch. It was eight o'clock in the evening. It's time for me to go back, Stephen. The rest is up to you. Do your best, and come to me when you encounter a situation you can't understand. Stephen nodded seriously. He knew he could rely on himself or had to rely on himself. The reason why he came to ask Su Yi for help today, it's also because he and Wang understood for a long time and searched the library but couldn't find the problem. That's why he came to look for Su Yi. Let's go, we have to go back too. Stephen took the initiative to settle the second account, then watched Wanda grab Su Yi's arm and prepare to leave. In front of outsiders, both Stephen and Wang felt for Su Yi at the same time, and the corner of the cloak behind Stephen was pulled out as a gentleman salute. Next moment, Su Yi thought about it. He and Wanda disappeared instantly. Only then did Stephen and Wang recover. Seeing the actions of the two of them, America was suddenly curious. Who is he? Why do you two respect me so much? I haven't seen you two like this in other worlds? Question mark. This question made Stephen a little confused. No other universe? All right. Stephen just remembered. Sue seems to have said it. He and Wanda and Gwen are the only ones. America hadn't reacted yet. Not only him, but I have never seen the woman beside him. Why do you respect him so much? Wang sorted out his clothes. Then he patted America's shoulder and said, You don't need to know much. You just need to know that if there is something that the man can't handle, it will be the beginning of the end of this world. America's eyes widened. She looked at Stephen. You didn't object? Stephen just stood up and was puzzled when he heard this sentence. Why should I object? Because you are quite proud in other worlds, and you have a strong self-esteem. America motioned to Wang and said, If other worlds, if he said this in front of you, you must make fun of it from the side. Like, is that dangerous for Dormammu, or, oh, that's amazing. Stephen's mouth twitched after hearing this. Wang looked over and smiled. I didn't expect you to be like this in other worlds. Stephen, Zhaolis, immediately crossed his arms. I'm not, I'm not, don't talk nonsense. The Stephen of this world has been adjusted by Su Yi, and he has taken care of him a lot. He has never experienced such a big disappointment and fault. Instead, I made clear my responsibilities and life ahead of time. Just like Christine, in the original, Stephen regretted this love and regretted that he had not grasped it. But now Stephen, Christine, who are you? I haven't reached the time to talk about marriage. Simply put, the original Stephen was scarred and taciturn and serious. The current Stephen is a little worn out, but he has a lot of understanding, and marriage is not guaranteed, it will be soon. Instead, he took responsibility more seriously. Next, the three left the coffee shop and walked out the door. Stephen looked at the sunset on the horizon, and then suddenly thought of one thing. Did you just travel through the universe when your ability was excited? Yes. America nodded. The picture of my last dream is that I died, and I teleported away with you. Then he, America nodded. It is indeed dead. Hearing this, Stephen and Wang glanced at each other. Then Stephen asked with a little inexplicable pressure. Where did he die? America looked at Stephen. I hope you won't collapse after reading it. I won't. Stephen shook his head firmly. Then I'll take you there, on a rooftop? Question mark. Stephen was taken aback. It shouldn't stink. Ah yes. There are maggots. Don't mess around. 208. Is Stephen dead or alive? Penny Parker has the same kind. Question mark. After a while, Stephen and Wang followed America to the rooftop she mentioned. The building is a bit older, so the roof is also relatively old. As soon as Stephen came up, he looked around. Where? There. America pointed to a corner. That is, on the opposite side of the middle mound wall. Stephen said it was okay. But in fact, he walked around quickly. Wang and America followed. As soon as the three came over, they could see a human silhouette covered under a piece of cloth. The moment I saw this, Stephen pursed his lips. But he still came over and slowly lifted the cloth facing his head. Immediately afterwards, the head covered by the cloth also appeared. King. America had already looked away. After Stephen saw it, he pursed his mouth a little more seriously, and at the same time closed his eyes and sighed. And see this happening. It's not in anyone's heart. Although it's not you who died but you saw someone who looked exactly like you die in front of you. Even playing games has a sense of substitution, right? What's more, it's still true now. Wow Tilda. But the next moment, Stephen lifted the cloth all at once. Stephen? Wang was a little puzzled, and Stephen lifted the cloth. He also opened his eyes and began a detailed inspection. I must understand how the other Stephen died, so that I can understand our future enemies. Stephen opened his determined eyes, then check from scratch. Head, face, back of the head, body, torso limbs. Stephen began by examining the wound. Wait until everything is checked. Stephen frowned slightly and asked America. How long has he been dead here? Ah. A few days. America thought for a while. About five days. No more than a week anyway. That's a little bit wrong. Stephen frowned. He lifted his corpse's arm and looked at it. If a person dies for a few days, the blood in his body will sink and finally cause plaques to appear on the side of the sediment. The moment I heard this, only then did Wang realize it. Before Stephen became supreme mage, he was a top surgeon. So he's doing an autopsy. What about him? America knelt down and looked, 
Does he have no body spots? Yes, but only a little. Stephen continued to check. Then he looked at the wound and other locations before speaking. There's something wrong with the whole body. If the time of death is more than five days, these wounds should not have decayed to this extent. It is a bit too fresh. So fresh. Hear the word. America grinned. She almost vomited when she heard it. The term for a human corpse is two dot dot dot. And Wang came over and looked at it. Could it be that you have learned other spells or abilities that cause the corpse to rot slower? Possible. In order to confirm that self died completely. Stephen also determined how dead the body was. In the end there was nothing unexpected afterward. Stephen stood up and said, just bury it here. That's it? Wang asked, not a good place to bury it. Stephen shook his head. Never mind where you die, be buried there. He didn't belong in this world. Wang nodded when he heard it. Agree. So Stephen stretched out his hands. He starts using mana. Wow wow. The flower bed stones in the middle of the roof are loose. Then one brick after another flew out and moved around and put it away. Then the soil flew out by itself. A pit was left just enough to bury a person. Stephen twitched his fingers. His own body floated slowly. Then he flew to the pit and lay down. Then he moved his fingers again. The soil that just flew out is automatically backfilled. Wait until covered. The bricks also flew back and fell down by themselves. Wait until everything is buried. Stephen also lowered his hands and sighed with complicated emotions. Bury yourself? What is this? At the moment Stephen himself, Bsug, doesn't know what mood he is in now. Lonely? Relaxed? Crisis? Serious? He was a little confused. Wang stepped forward and patted him on the shoulder. There is a saying in our place called falling leaves returning to their roots. After you finish the matter of the multi-universe, you can also send him back to the original universe. That's enough. But you have to face this matter now. We don't even know who the enemy is. Stephen nodded understandingly. He also patted Wang on the shoulder, then looked at America and said, Come on, follow me back to Kamartage. It's safe enough there. Um. Wang immediately drew a portal. After the three entered the portal, they returned to Kamartaj and left the rooftop. After the three left, the rooftop where there were still voices fell into silence. Gudong. But the next moment, the mound of bricks where Stephen buried himself suddenly bulged. Then it calmed down again. At the same time, after Su Yi and Wanda returned home, the two came to the small universe and sat down. Wanda sat in Su Yi's arms and opened one hand and the exquisite and gorgeous Japanese Waishan appeared in her hand. Wanda flipped through the magic book that she would read every day and said, This magic book is in my hands, will they be affected? Won't. So you definitely won't. Because the book of Waishandi that Stephen and America are robbing is not the book of Waishandi of this universe at all. Stephen, the book of Waishandi in this universe, didn't know it at all. So Su Yi touched Wanda's leg and explained, The book of Visandra is very rare, but like the infinite gems, there is a copy for each universe. The problems Stephen and America encountered cannot be solved with a magic book. Speaking of which, Wanda also understood immediately after being influenced by Su Yi's side. Is it a human problem? Yes. Su Yi touched his leg very happily. Didn't you hear that little girl say that her strength is not stable? After Su Yi's reminder, Wanda remembered. The girl did say it was her fault. So Stephen's strength can solve this problem. And the little girl can solve this problem as long as she masters her own ability. Then this is not a problem with Wai Shandi's book at all. They are just relying on the book of Wai Shandi. This is not a good thing. That's why Su Yi didn't ask Wanda to take out the book of Emperor Wai Shan. Take it out. Nothing good. It's not necessary either. This matter has nothing to do with Su Yi and Wanda. Stephen can only grow better after experience experiencing setbacks. So nothing is the best choice. Directions are enough. Still want me to teach you by hand. Think beautifully. Wanda got it. She put away the book of Emperor Wai Shan, wrapped her arms around Su Yi's neck, bowed her head and took a few sips. Mua honey is smart. Su Yi smiled. Then he's not only smart, but also bad. Su Yi stretched his hand inward. But the next moment, his phone vibrated. Su Yi picked up the phone and looked at it. It was Dan Hua who was reporting the news. Skyfire, the creator, Mrs. Gwen has given me a mission and I am on my way, this is mission content 1, Tan Huo briefly talked about his actions, then the following is the task content, first, Gwen went to follow the little girl named Benny, then determine Benny's line, where only she can see, Cindy and Meda pretend to chat with the transformed Skyfire, after Penny saw this, in addition, it is impossible not to express the attraction of Tan Huo, Gwen then used that reason to seek her out for a conversation, after reading the plan, Su Yi replied, let's go, but for this plan, Su Yi's evaluation is um dot 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 how should I put it, it seems superfluous again, appears to respect others, after all, it would be better for Gwen to go directly to arrest him, but in order to leave a good impression, the three of them acted together in this play, Wanda also laughed after seeing it, Gwen cared, yes, Su Yi nodded, how can you think so much if you don't care, otherwise, go straight to pick Ming and you're done, but people are less than 14 years old, go straight to the fear of excess, so it's better to be stable, anyway, Su Yi stroked Wanda's legs higher and higher, it's so moist, how can this feel so good, Su Yi squeezed and reminded Wang Dan, Gwen may not be able to come back tonight, what should you do, Wanda pursed her lips, what else can I do, cool to do, 
but you have to fight for the opportunity. Wanda put her finger on Su Yi's shoulder and pressed it. Then what do you say? Su Yi felt the warm touch, then one with one hand. A translucent black ribbon-like silk garment appeared at his finger. Note that this is a minister. Explain that it is not separate, so not just on the legs. It is the type of suspenders that go up. Wanda took a look and rubbed her hands curiously. Then he reacted. I dot 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 I haven't worn this kind of clothes, so try it tonight. Su Yi smiled all over his face. Wanda was born in a relatively poor place, so how can she wear this kind of clothes every day? Even if some wear it. That is also after growing up. And the family and environment after growing up also know it. So you can only wear durable jeans and the like, which are not easy to break, so you don't buy them often. So strictly speaking, this is still Wanda's first attempt. Try. How about you wear it directly on your body with magic? Su Yi patted Wanda on the back. It's another encouragement and another pure way. If it is replaced, how about a truce if you use the horse charm once tonight? Real? Wanda was delighted to hear that. Just use it once. Horse spells are much better, more than crying and being happy. Good Tilda. So Wanda hooked with one hand. The attack speed increasing equipment in Su Yi's hand also disappeared instantly. But not really gone. Instead, it was switched to Wanda's legs. So Yi tried again. His Tilda. All he could say was, Wonderful Tilda. This feels invincible. In particular, Wanda's legs are neither thick nor thin, they are plump just right. You can even pinch a little bit of meat with just one pinch. This is so wow. So Yi immediately hugged Wanda. But instead of going to the bedroom, Go to the big wooden bowl bed that he turned into before. Wanda pinched Su Yi's ear and reminded. Don't forget what you promised me. That's for sure. Don't worry, I, Su, will do what I say. And the other side. After Gwen found out that Penny had flowed out of the dormitory of the junior class, she immediately notified Cindy and Mdai to take Tan Hu O to act on the only road where no one would pass. Cindy and Mdai did as soon as they heard the news. And Gwen is powerful. She had no problem following Penny. That's all. Penny passed by a small supermarket nearby and bought a lollipop. Then... Holding the lollipop in his mouth, he bounced and walked towards a remote road. At the moment Gwen has been stalking Penny behind her. And also at this moment, Penny Parker saw no one around. She patted herself on the shoulder. Next moment, under Gwen's quiet gaze, always Black Red's little Spider-Man climbed onto Penny Parker's shoulders. And Penny Parker also took out the lollipop, gave it a taste and said, Little Spider-Man, I'm going to see you soon, let's find our way home together. Originally, Gwen thought this was just common asking and answering. But in Gwen's distant gaze, the little Spider-Man in black and red actually nodded the spider's head. Then actually taste a lollipop. Combine that with what Penny Parker said. Go find little Spider-Man. Does this Penny Parker have the same kind? Gwen listened. She immediately took out her mobile phone and sent instructions to Cindy and Mdai again. The plan has changed. Hurry up and hide with Skyfire. Penny doesn't seem to know her kind. 209. Spider Mesh Warrior. New York in 3145? Exclamation mark. On the other side. Cindy and Mdai were shocked, and her other peers, really, let alone that much. When the two saw the news, they immediately got into Tan Huo's sports car and left. Just slip away and talk later. And the screen returns to the original place. Gwen still followed Benny. Meanwhile Penny is talking to Little Spider-Man. Little Spider-Man, where is this world? Why are the three Spider-Man? Should I ask them to get acquainted, or do my own research and quickly find a way to go back? I want to go home. But what do you do at home? Become the Cherbul's new goon. If you think about it that way. It's pretty good here. But I also want to avenge my father. What should I do? Benny sighed after saying this. The black and red little Spider-Man on her shoulder raised his leg and pressed her face as if encouraging. Gwen sees it all. And from these words, she also understood many things in her heart. Benny knows we exist. Something happened to Penny's father. Maybe revenge is needed. Even if Benny goes back, it may not be a good life. And Penny took a mouthful of the lollipop. It is also self-encouraging. I will work hard. Today's Spider-Mecha is fully charged. Let's go around. After speaking. Penny bounced forward, and Gwen behind him was taken aback. Mecha? Spider mesh? Penny has a mesh? Where did she come from? Traveled together? Gotta see. Think here. Gwen immediately followed Penny quietly. That's all. Penny leads Gwen around. Then came to an abandoned shipyard by the sea. Gwen thought at first that Penny was going in. But unexpectedly, Penny circled around from the side. Then entered the vicinity of the dock where the gate was placed. Gwen followed. She was silent and close to invisible so that Penny couldn't see it at all. What's more? She didn't have those high-tech equipment on her body. If only Tony had been stalked by Gwen like this. Gwen's phone is fine in the battle suit. But as soon as it was taken out and designated, Tony discovered it. And with Gwen's careful observation, after Penny went underground, a mecha with four limbs and a round torso was revealed. The energy boost is displayed on the mask of this mecha, and its energy is almost full now. Home, little Spider-Man. And Penny also sent the little Spider-Man on a shoulder to the spider mesh. Next moment, the spider mecha seems to come alive. A human expression emerges from its glass visor. It first showed a cute expression. 0.0. Then turn into a smiley face. A. Penny was visibly overjoyed when she saw it. Great little Spider-Man. With you, we can explore the world. After Penny finished speaking, 
The expression of the spider mesh also nodded. Gwen, who was in the distance, saw this and understood. It turns out that Benny's companion is the little Spider-Man on her shoulders. And there is a connection between this little Spider-Man and the Mecha. Because after Benny sent little Spider-Man into the spider mesh, the mesh came to life. That's also possible. The core of this Mecha is this little Spider-Man. This is amazing. Gwen couldn't help sighing in her heart. At the same time, she immediately sent her address to Cindy and Mdai. Then let them come over. After receiving the address, Mdai and Cindy came over immediately with Dan Huo. And Gwen looked at Benny's joyful appearance. She thought about it. Back to the door. Then a sign was placed with the stones outside, while indicating the direction. It is the dock right in front of Benny coming out. After a while, Cindy and May Dai came with Skyfire. How about it? Cindy asked eagerly as soon as she arrived. Gwen shook her head and nodded. Come on, let's wait for her outside. And now I'll tell you the news by the way. Gwen took the two girls and one car across from the door where Benny would come out. Then Gwen started telling what she had heard. From Penny's soliloquy to little Spider-Man. Here's the doctor the spider mesh. Wait until Gwen finishes speaking. Mdai suddenly asked in surprise. So Penny's ability is not a Spider-Man with our body? It's a mesh. Cindy was also puzzled. Her name is Penny Parker. That must be from the Spider-Man faction. But why not a Spider-Man ability? But a spider mesh? No, she should have the Spider-Man's ability. But it's not the same as ours. Gwen thought for a while recalled and said, the little Spider-Man on her shoulder is connected with her. Such a small spider has an IQ, can understand words and can chat to comfort people. This is all my discovery, and the fact that the Spider-Mecha can only be activated by little Spider-Man means that Penny may have a special connection with little Spider-Man or the Mecha. Gwen said so. Cindy and Mdai thought about it and nodded in agreement. You're right. Then what are we going to do? Do this? It's very simple. Gwen looked at Anhuo and said, Tanhuo, we are sitting on this abandoned gantry crane, and you just need to transform and stand up after Penny comes out. We offer to let Penny see us, and then I told Penny that we were following her just now and it was time. Put simply, I expose myself. Tanhuo stopped in the form of a sports car and replied, Understood. Is that all right? Maydai asked. That's enough. Gwen nodded for sure. I heard from the words on the road that Benny is not afraid of us, but wants to contact us. But her background seems to be much more complicated than ours. She still has her father's hatred, and the worries of the original world, etc. Speaking of which, Gwen looked at Meda and asked, For example, you, your parents are still in the original world. Do you want to go back to see them? After Mdai was asked, she thought about it and considered it, then shook his head. Not for now. I haven't grown up yet. I won't be able to prove myself when I go back, and I will be restricted by my parents. They've retired anyway, and I'm in no hurry to go back, Gwen reminded, but Penny can be anxious. Speaking of which, Cindy already understood why Gwen did this. So we did this to let Penny understand our thoughts and operations immediately, and get to know each other quickly, right? Yes, Gwen nodded. Cindy and Di also nodded to express their understanding. Pat Tilda, bang Tilda. At this time, the sound of footsteps and mechanical trampling came from where Gwen left the instructions. When everyone heard it, they quickly turned to the gantry crane and stood up, or... To put on a boss, Gwen sat between the three of them. Cindy stands proudly on the left. Mdai squatted on the right side. The file size king is separated out at once. Yeah Tilda? At this time, Benny's doubtful voice came from the gate. She looked at the instructions of the stone pestle at the door and suddenly became nervous. Little Spider-Man Tilda. A call. Penny jumped on the spot, and the spider mesh opened the door. Then Penny jumped in. Then the glass hatch was closed, and Penny manipulated the handle to look at the outside world. How to say, looks a lot like D.V.A. It's the pink girl in Overwatch. She was also driving the mecha, and people retreated to fight. And after Penny entered the mesh, she also started to walk out slowly. Exit the door gate, dot 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 ask for flowers. What caught the eye was a red sports car. Wow. Then the mecha prompts above. Penny looked up. Wow. Three Spider-Man are sitting, standing and squatting on the gantry crane. And Skyfire started shape-shifting. Its tires turn inwards and the front and rear start shape-shifting at the same time, and gin up, up until, doors swivel, hood detaches, in this way, it took less than two seconds, Tan Huo stood up from a half-squatting position, it is 15 meters high, stand up and stand directly in front of the gantry crane, the red long sword at the waist and the word Sue in gold flashes on the chest, wow, these Penny utterly shocked, her gaze was drawn to Tan Huo at once, you're so handsome, I heard Penny praise other meshs, an expression of grievance suddenly appeared on the screen of the spider mesh outside her body, Penny reacted immediately after seeing it, oh, I was wrong, you are both handsome, and you are both teachers, after the spider mecha heard it, it immediately changed its happy expression. This operation is exactly the same as the previous Skyfire. It's just that Dan Huo is so handsome. The expressions made are a bit different. But the spider mesh is cuter when it is made. Definitely now is not the time to say this. Benny controlled the spider mecha and walked out, taking two steps forward. And Gwen looked down one. She saw Tan Huo's shoulder first, then jumped to the ground and came to Penny. The same goes for Cindy and Mead. The three of them came to Penny. Benny greeted first. Knock you and wow Tilda. Question mark. 
Penny's words stunned Gwen and everyone else, nor did Gwen expect her first words to be this, Are you a Sura? No, Penny explained, my mother seems to be, but my father is not. That's good. Gwen was taken aback. She thought this Spider-Man was Lee himself. That's troublesome. The culture is fundamentally different. But Penny looked at it according to Penny's proactive greeting. She should be a lively, cheerful and communicative little girl. Definitely. People are still in the Mecca. This shows that vigilance has not been let down. So Gwen offered to introduce herself. Hi Penny, we mean no harm. My name is Gwen Sue Stacy, the captain of the Spider League, a member of the Goddess League, a native of this universe, and I'm here to chat with you. After Gwen's introduction, Cindy Moon and Maddie Parker also introduced themselves, especially the origin. Both said that they are also from other universes. One is an orphan and the other has parents. But they all joined the Spider League. So Penny also introduced herself. My name is Penny Parker, from. By the way, what year are you all from? Penny had an idea. Suddenly she asked what year it was. Gwen wondered, but still explained. We were all around 2010 to 2015 or so. It might actually be worse. It's so different. Penny Parker sighed after hearing it. So much difference. But Gwen already felt something was wrong. Yes. Penny Parker explained. I come from New York in 3145, and New York was already a city of plutocrats at that time. Compared to that, New York is like a town now. No, it's like a development. Penny said it easily. But, Gwen, Cindy, Mad. New York in 3145? Gwen was stunned to hear the number. Isn't this more than 1100 years later? Calculated according to the fact that a dynasty does not exceed 300 years. The United States may have changed the White House four times and five. 210. Capitalist New York. Penny visits the Union base. Here Penny say that she is from New York in 3145. The three daughters of the Spider League couldn't believe it. Gwen also confirmed it. But I didn't expect it to be true. Then can you look up the history of New York? Gwen suddenly asked curiously. Can you find out the history of 2015? What happened after the United States? Can you find out about Suyi, Gwen, Wanda or us superheroes? The future is too curious for the present people. Cindy and Maydai also thought so. If only they could be found. Doesn't that mean you can see your own future? But Penny's next words let them know that they were thinking for nothing. But we are not a universe, and my universe does not have you. Penny took a bite of the lollipop and continued. New York in 3145 has been divided and reorganized many times. From now on in 2015, the United States first split into dozens of state countries, and each state beat each other's brains out. In the end they were united again. But after a hundred years they were divided again. When the division reached its worst this time, the city became independent. For example, New York, Los Angeles, Washington are all city-states one after another. At that time, New York's economic strength ranked third in the world, so he took the lead in becoming independent. There are all kinds of chaos in the back. The company has expanded the 430 to become more powerful than the country, and the fighting between various groups is equivalent to a world war. Anyway, the chaos is going to die. My father died in the group war and then left the spider mesh warrior to me. Speaking of which, Penny touched the screen sadly. A comforting expression also appeared on the screen of the spider mecha. Apostrophe? Realistic little hands and electronic little hands interact together. Gwen pursed her lips when she heard that. It seems that the future is not necessarily a good future, maybe a worse future. Yes, Penny nodded, after a while of silence. Cindy and Mdai no longer have beautiful delusions about the future. The development of the world is not necessarily positive. National GDP growth does not necessarily make the people of this country happy. The development of the world will not necessarily lead to a better life for common people. So the moment is the most important. What happens in the future depends on the current environment. Gwen was silent for a while, then looked at Penny and said, Let's go talk in the Hulk, we're all Spider-Man, we gotta have a good chat to clear things up. Agreed. Penny nodded while controlling the mecha. So four people and two mechas walked towards the abandoned cabin. The three girls of the Spider League turned around and drove away. Tan Huo also turned around and followed. Benny controls the spider mesh warrior to catch up with Tan Huo quickly. Then control the spider mecha to say hello to Skyfire. Hi, Tan Huo turned slightly to look at her, then silently nodded. He turned back and followed Gwen. It's so cold. Penny didn't take offense at all. Meshs also have their own personalities. Her little Spider-Man mesh is just that. It's just that Penny is curious about how this mecha works. Why is it completely different from her own mecha? At this time, Gwen also looked back to see the difference between Penny's mecha and Skyfire. The spider mecha's hands are on a body. And its body is like a ball. But the legs are controlled by joints similar to magnetic traction. How to say, Penny's spider mesh looks like a high-tech product. And Tan Huo is a shapeshifting King Kong. So it is a complete mechanical life. This is the biggest difference. After a while, the four came to the abandoned cabin. Gwen looked at the environment in the cabin and recalled. When I first became a Spider-Man. I came here to exercise for a while. Neither Cindy nor Maydai knew this. How long have you been exercising here? No. Now Gwen shook her head and said, 
with the progress of ability, this place will soon be useless to me, excuse me, I thought I was doing an upgrade here, I didn't expect it to be a novice guide, after everyone gets here, the three girls turned around, Penny also opened the door of the mecha, then climbed out and stood on the head of the mecha and said, should we exchange information, definitely, Gwen gestured, you ask first, we can talk, good Tilda, Benny sat down on the mecha, then he took the lollipop in his hand and started talking, just now both Cindy and Mdai said that they also time traveled, so how did you time travel, Cindy replied, I pushed open a door eagerly and came into this world, Mdai replied, when I came to awakening, my home is still the same, but it is no longer the home of the previous universe, and my parents are gone, then it looks like we're all the same, Benny added, that's pretty much how I got here, so how did you get here, Gwen asked, I go to school in the class, but the company wants to confiscate the spider mesh warrior that my father left me, which is little Spider-Man. Penny touched the mecha that was born. It was left to me by my dad, and I definitely won't give it to them. So I ran away in little Spider-Man, and finally came here without paying attention. Oh, by the way, I forged the identity of the school. Everyone knows this. Penny was able to go to school, fixed with a fake identity. Otherwise, how could it be possible to go to New York University as soon as I came here? So now everyone's history is clear. So Gwen asked Benny, then what do you want to do now? Work hard by yourself, or join us? Now there are more and more crises in the city. We even solved an octopus monster in the afternoon. If there are more crises, then this city needs us, and we must stabilize this city in order to find the key to solve a multi-universe at the same time. Penny thought about it. The afternoon octopus is on the news. Penny knew about it. She also had this reason, and she came out at night to look for meshes to go around the city, and he is currently helpless. There is technology, but no equipment for manufacturing. There is technology, but there is no place to realize it. There are ideas, but no hope of implementation. So she is pretty much useless going it alone with a spider mesh warrior. I can only fool around by myself. Penny understands all this, and all the above are rational reasons. What about sensual, lonely? This is the worst. Unfamiliar surroundings and unfamiliar people. Penny doesn't even have friends. She is only 14 years old. How could you not be alone? So Gwen used the term newspaper group to keep warm, and this word can also move Penny very much. So Penny thought about it and asked, will your alliance restrict freedom, like force me to do something? Hear this sentence as the captain, Gwen doesn't need to explain, Cindy took the initiative to spread her hands and said, except that you need to listen to the captain when performing tasks, you spend the rest of the time by yourself, Mdai also smiled and explained, just talk about the past few days, we exercise and play games together late at night, go to school or study during the day, and fight crime after get off work, do you feel unfree, are you guys playing games, when Penny heard that everyone was playing games, she was immediately happy, I thought you guys had to perform missions or something every day, hearing this, Gwen thought for a while, and seemed to understand something, in your New York in 3145, people in the company don't work like social animals for 10 hours a day, only 10 hours, you think too little, Penny patted the mecha and said angrily, employees in the company have to work at least 12 hours a day, basically, they have to work overtime for two hours a day, and only one day off for half a month, annual leave is only three days, the company provides free inhalation spray stimulant, which has no side effects, but it will cause vomiting after nerve overexcitation, it can be seen from Penny's actions, the world in 3145 treats people not as humans, but as animals, if Sir Yi was here, he would say it was normal, although there is a large middle class in a capitalist society, in the later stage, capital will monopolize the world and give you a high income level, but you will not have a high quality living standard, that is to say, while making money for consumption, can't stop for a moment, duh, Gwen, Cindy, and may die all took a breath when they heard it, it's also horrible, is there any hope for the people that live, yes, I have, Benny stretched out her hand and made a gesture of losing the Xeba market, the environment is like that, everyone can only work, otherwise they will not be able to survive, although there are people who commit suicide, it doesn't matter compared to the total amount, besides, the company will install a wristband for you, if your mood falls into a slump, the company also has a dedicated psychological counselor to treat you, or directly inject hormones, hiss, scared, this is the world, this is hell, no wonder Benny thought so, Benny, let me introduce you to our spider alliance base, I'll come, I'll come, Mdai recommended herself, okay, Gwen agreed, so Mdai directly took out her phone and clicked on the photo album, then he came to Penny and showed her together and said, this is our living floor, everyone has a 100 square meter independent apartment, and there are many public entertainment areas, living areas, etc outside, it's our workout layer, the pool, the gravity room, the strength training, the lounge area, blah blah blah, this is our study room and meeting room, and there are still many places vacant, besides, 
there are other people who don't know what else 4.5 can do. How about it? Isn't it beautiful? Mdai is the one who likes to pat the most among the three Spider-Mans. The key is that she took very good shots. Now the three layers of the Spider Alliance have all been recorded by Mdai, and moments in everyone's lives. Wow Tilda. Penny was surprised when she saw it. You think it's the same as doing charity? Mdai smiled after hearing this. That means there is a big gold master behind us. Ah Tilda. Mdai hasn't finished speaking yet. He was slapped by Gwen. She was so scared that she quickly jumped away. Gwen explained. Penny, you will know in the future, compared to the entire multi-universe, we are just small gravel. This thing is nothing to a true great god. Whatever you expect, they can have as many as they want, and even fill the entire universe. Penny nodded understandingly, because she checked the information on the internet, and even invaded the database of SHILD. She also knows about the superheroes. Compared to her more realistic normal universe, there are too many strong men in this universe, so Penny wasn't thinking about it. She asked, then can I visit your base now? Definitely. Gwen looked at Penny's mecha and said, you can even come here with meshts. Our building also has secret passages. 211. Female Spider Manx 4, Green Tea Wonder and Dirty Talk Gwen, inducing dot 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 not. After a successful exchange, the three of Gwen took Penny to the base of the Spider League. The three of them first entered from the underground garage, and then took the oversized elevator from the secret passage of Su Yi's private underground garage. This elevator currently only has the bottom three ten floors to choose from. Definitely. Only the 345 has stuff. The other five floors are empty. After arriving at the base, everyone first came to the penultimate fifth floor to visit. Penny, wow. Then comes the penultimate layer. Penny, wow tilde. Finally, the penultimate layer. Penny, wow tilde. Along the way, everyone is responsible for the introduction, and Penny is responsible for wow wow wow. Wait until the third floor is turned. Gwen suddenly remembered something, and added, by the way, so ye and I have another plan, and it seems that both of you can make a move on this plan. Especially Penny. Riding is very suitable for you. Penny wondered, what's the plan? Life Foundation. Life Foundation. Now it's not just Penny, Cindy and I have never heard of this matter either. This is my plan with Sue a long time ago. Gwen began to explain, I don't need to say more about the greatness of life. Common humans, mutated us, powerful superheroes, various aliens, and extremely powerful gods. There is even a mechanical life like shapeshift in King Kong. They are all life. So the core content of this project is to study the existence of various life forms. Everyone can understand after hearing it. That is, to study the meaning of all kinds of life. But after hearing this, Gwen didn't write any more. Penny just became interested, but also reacted for a moment. Gone, gone. Gwen spread her hands. The core of the Life Foundation is to study all kinds of life. The meaning of the Foundation is not to ask for money but to gather all powerful people to join us in research like a foundation. 14 inches. But this foundation will certainly not have outsiders. If you join, the core research layer will only include us, Su Yi, and Wang De Hala. Our main purpose is to research and grow, and by the way, to benefit the society. Here here. Penny was puzzled again. Who are the three behind? Family. Gwen looked at Penny seriously and said, Su Yi is our strongest backing. Listen to him. You are right. Wanda and Halo are also family members. We are all. Penny nodded. At the same time, a look of envy flashed in his eyes. So many family members who absolutely trust. So good. Cindy and Mdai are actually equally envious. It goes without saying that Cindy is an orphan. Although Mdai has parents, her parents do not support her, and even burned her battle suit. That's why Su Yi said it. Gwen is the happiest Spider-Man among all Spider-Man. It was before. More in the future. At this time, Gwen has discovered everyone's emotions and she has succeeded a lot now. Don't get lost. We're together now. As time goes by, you will become more and more familiar with Su Yi and Wanda. Also, Gwen looked at Cindy and asked, do you still remember why we created the Spider League in the first place? Remember? Cindy nodded earnestly, there may be more Spider-Mans in the future, we have to gather together and unite Libby. Right. Gwen turned to look at everyone. We want to report to the group to keep warm, and twist the Lequang together. This is the meaning of Spider League. Finished. Gwen held out her hand, folk down. Cindy understood in seconds. She stepped forward and put her hand on the back of Gwen's. Now Mdai and Penny also understood. Mdai immediately stretched out her hand to cover it. Now all three are covered. Only Penny was left. The three girls all looked at Penny. Penny was in the midst of hesitation. She looked at her little hands. Gwen looked at Penny and said, Penny, we won't force you. If you don't want to join for the time being, then we are still friends. I join. Gwen had just finished speaking. Penny slapped Meda on her hand. This determination. Apparently Penny had already thought about it. She also looked at everyone confidently. But, you heard me. Among the four, Mdai said slightly wronged. Everyone looked at each other, and Gwen laughed out loud first. Then everyone laughed. Snap Tilda. And at this time, the spider mecha next to Penny also put his hands on everyone's hands. Only then did everyone react. Spider Mesh Warrior has a little Spider-Man inside him. So it is also an individual. So, Gwen finally said to everyone. Come on, come on, X3? Question mark underscore?
That night, Penny didn't come home. Instead, he fell asleep at the base of the Spider Alliance. We just go to school together tomorrow. Next morning, a group of three people jumped from the upper floors of the New York building. Then the three of them seemed to have discovered something. Jump back again. Then it was three belts and one jump away. Three of them rely on flying. A person is held. Yes. It is Penny Parker who is being held. At the moment she is also wearing a nano spider armor with cobweb jets on it. But Penny hasn't practiced, she can't fly. So Gwen could only fly with her. At the moment Penny exclaimed from time to time in the air wearing a full body armor. Wootilda, this is so exciting. It's really fun for you to fly like this every day. Gwen asked while hugging Penny. Can't your mecha also fly over walls? That feels different. Penny shook her head immediately and said, this is more exciting as if I'm flying. Gwen understood immediately. It's like the difference between riding a motorcycle and driving a car, although it can be very fast. But the former senses the draft and resistance of the wind blowing across the body. But the latter can only blow on the air conditioner to feel it. On stimulation, definitely the former is the most exciting. That's all. Within a few minutes, the four of them arrived at the campus of New York University. Now Penny is a class. Gwen and Mead are a class. But Cindy is not a student. Gwen thought for a while, looked at Cindy and said, wait until noon. I'll ask someone to go through the admission procedures for you, Cindy, so that you can go to school with us. I, Cindy was taken aback when she heard it. Do I have to go to school too? Definitely. Gwen definitely nods. Definitely. Our current knowledge reserve is not enough. So we have to study hard. Otherwise, what will the Life Foundation rely on? Cindy has some hesitation, but don't worry. Gwen knew what Cindy was worried about. She patted Cindy on the shoulder. Spider-Man is a genius. Your IQ is also very high. You're a fast learner, let's study together. There is an old saying in the East, which is, live to be old, learn to be old. So we can't stop learning just because we're Spider-Man. Penny and Mdai nodded their heads. Gwen was right. Cindy knew now too. She nodded and agreed. Okay, so everyone dispersed to go to school. Gwen left. He also took out his mobile phone to send a message to Sue Yi. Gwen, Sue, I want Cindy to go to school with us. Is there any way? Su Yi from at the moment has already gone to work. He was sitting in the office, touching fish boredly. The moment Gwen sent him a message, Su Yi already felt unknown by virtue of the Phoenix Force, and Gwen sent a message to himself when he knew about it. But Su Yi wiped his hand towards his pocket. Vomit. The phone was not taken down. Upstairs. And Wonder upstairs was already woken up by Su Yi's cell phone. She opened her hazy eyes. Thought it was my phone. Su Yi's phone was unlocked again. After Wonder took it, she glanced at the content, and was too lazy to type. So she replied by voice, Gwen, you just need to talk to Natasha Romanoff, she's just a word away. Wanda sent it after speaking. On the other side, Gwen was taken aback when he saw the voice from Su Yi, because Su Yi has never sent a voice. Mdai, who was on the side, was puzzled when she saw Gwen's expression. What's wrong with you? SHH Gwen continued, let me listen carefully to the first voice message Su sent me. Gwen touched her ear. Mdai also came over. Then Gwen put the phone to her ear and turned on the voice. Gwen. You are looking for Nata. Gwen, may I hear this lazy voice? Hearing this tone of not waking up, Gwen took down the phone speechlessly and explained silently. This is Wanda. At the same time, she also responded to the voice. Gwen, what about Sue? Why are you like a pig? Wanda, you still can't get up when the sun is drying your ass. Another day, Su Yi and I will make you sleep until noon. May I? Mdai was stunned when she heard the tiger wolf words. Where has she experienced this? Immediately looked to the side and blushed as if he didn't know. And the other side. After seeing the message from the other side, Wanda closed her eyes and clicked on the voice to listen. Where is Su? Why is it with a pig? Wanda, hear this sentence. Wanda immediately opened her eyes and took a look. It's Su's phone. Wanda moved her fingers, wanting to open the portal and send it to Su Yi. But on second thought, 963 Gwen sprayed herself. How can I come back a little bit in line? So Wanda picked up the phone, turned on the camera, took Su Yi's t-shirt and put it on. The tail of her body just fell on her thigh. Cacatilda, after taking a picture of the t-shirt facing the thigh, Wanda sent a reply. But I can't help it, Gwen. Su Yi was so ruthless last night, he didn't let me sleep. Finished. Send. After sending the information, Wanda opens another wicket in Su. Said by Yi's side. Here. Gwen's message, I thought it was my mobile phone, and I replied too for you. Okay, so Yi took the phone, then look across the portal. Wonder at the moment is lying face to face on the bed in her t-shirt. Her calves were crossed together. Put your hands under your body. This is quite normal. But Su Yi's t-shirt neckline is huge for Wanda, and after standing up with Wanda's figure. From this position, Su Yi can see her beautiful jade neck, delicate collarbone, and Milky white Xuzi, his tilde, Su Yi was a little warped. After Wanda found out, not only was she not afraid, she even gave a wink and squeezed her arms together. His tilde, Su Yi almost stood up, and Wanda also closed the portal at just the right time. I'll get up first and water the flowers, Gan. Su Yi is very angry. 
but let's look at the Gwen news first. So Yi turned on the phone and took a look. Um, except the first sentence is word. The rest is voice. Click on the first sentence to listen. You're looking for now. Click on the second sentence. The sun. Fart dos. Click on the third sentence. Don't let me rest. So Yi, nonsense. So Yi has restrained himself. Okay. Click on the fourth sentence. Wonder. You 20 hash yen at wait for me and Suyi at hash percent tonight. Suyi listened to a sentence that could be silenced by putting it on the internet. What sentence? Don't ask. Anyway, that sentence is dirty. After hearing this, Suyi typed back. You're right to ask Natasha Romanoff about the admissions matter. As for the last sentence, in principle, it's wrong for you to do this. But we can talk about it in terms of the world. After all, the feeling of suspenders last night is still unfinished. Have to say, this wonder set of black silk is so pretty. 212. Dark Stephen, classification of the universe, until noon, Cindy received her exclusive admission letter, look at the electronic admission notice in your mailbox and the written admission notice, Cindy was lost in thought, Naiu, is it that easy to get into, it's the noon break, the four girls all ate, rested, and chatted on their exclusive small rooftop, Mdai looked at Cindy who was lost in thought, what's wrong with you, Cindy, Cindy put away the notice and sighed, university is a bit too easy to get into, I just finished talking in the morning and was admitted at noon, isn't that normal, Penny said at this time, in New York in 3145, as long as two of the three major local companies have co-promoters, the mayor can be replaced directly in the next second, three major companies, Gwen was suddenly a little curious, what company, how powerful is it, very powerful, with military technology, and so on, Penny listed some and said, at that time, a super company was equivalent to the economic strength of the third country in the world and the military strength close to the second country in the world. Penny gives an overview of her world. It was only later that everyone understood what the extreme world of capitalism looks like. The size of the super company equals the country. Super corporation master president. Shareholders of super corporations equals mayors. Definitely. This also has to be divided into a super company of a family business or a super company of a charitable shareholder system. But no matter. The initiatives of the super corporations have more power than the president, because the president at that time could not make a random decision on the country to do one thing, but family-run megacorps can. It's so scary, and I couldn't help sighing after hearing this. The company is stronger than the country, which is too explosive, Gwen nodded and said. Under extraordinary power, the rules are empty. Penny's world is fairly normal, there is no transcendence. But in our universe, there are too many people who have the power to destroy planets at will. Colon? destroy the planet, this stunned Benny, can this really be done casually, ah, uh, yes, that is to say, Gwen's strength is all single target attacks, if she has the ability of a, she can also destroy a planet, definitely, not exactly crushed, instead, let this planet be completely scrapped, Gwen gave an example, we are Spider-Man, which can only be regarded as a mutation in extraordinary strength, but you don't know the guy with extraordinary, have you heard of the Tangent group, Cindy, may die, and Penny shook their heads together, I, wonder, Hala, Followed Sue to meet the celestial group once. Gwen looked at everyone and said, It is bigger than the Earth, and its head can almost catch up with the file size of the Earth. When it appeared, it just came to the edge of the Earth, and three teams of huge amounts of eyes appeared in the sky of the Earth. When you look up, you have a head bigger than the Earth. Can you imagine this kind of picture? The three women shook their heads decisively. Gwen continued, The celestial group, level single universe, is huge in size and can teleport between universes, they are the top scientists and ability owners in the universe, they can create black holes, fixed stars, planets, and they can destroy them all, and this is their time, Cindy, Mayday, Benny, so powerful, a word from Gwen, tell Penny you're stupid first, can black holes be created, fixed star too, this is life, definitely, but you would never have imagined that after that encounter, they were driven away by a little girl, R, invert, 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 Gwen just said how powerful the celestial group is, now it is said that they were driven away by the little girl. But the three women also understand. Cindy asked, that little girl is powerful. It should be very strong, but the problem is, Gwen said with a smile, her father is stronger, one of the five gods in the universe, multidimensional abundant universe level. His tilde. The three girls were shocked. It turned out to be such a thing. No wonder people ran away when they saw the little girl. But the problem came back. Cindy recalled the few words just now and suddenly realized, wait Gwen, what do you mean by level single universe and multi-universe, Mdai and Penny also nodded after hearing this, yeah, is this the level, Gwen just remembered, yeah, I don't seem to have told you about the level of combat power, but it's okay to say it now, at the multi-universe level, the major divisions of combat power include the sub-parent level, level godfather, level single universe, multi-universe level, and so on, there seems to be more on the multi-universe level, but I don't know, maybe only Sue knows, but he said don't think so much, knowing too much is not a good thing. As soon as this statement came out, Cindy, who was most curious, asked first, then what level are we? They are all under the sub-parent level, colon. 
crowd. Are there no more details below the sub-parent level? Facing people's questions. Gwen thought for a moment and shook her head. It seems to be gone. Because from the sub-parent level, every stage is very different. Even if the beings below the sub-level want to gang up on the sub-level, they can't win. So there is no point in grading the sub-level. From the sub-parent level, qualitative changes surpass numerical changes. Simply put, just gang fights are useless. At the beginning, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Supreme Mage, Star-Lord, Destroyer, and the bug with hypnotic ability couldn't beat the sub-parent Thanos together. But the point is that it almost succeeded. In the end, Xingju punched Avengers Alliance 4. Now everyone understands. It turns out that the levels of the multi-universe are divided in this way. But now it was Ndai's turn to be curious. What about your rank, Gwen? I? Gwen coughed twice, said a little bit embarrassed. Sue said that I am level god further plus, but I don't know exactly how much. I haven't played very well. In Gwen's impression, as for the gods of Egypt, they seem average, but they are a bit bigger and not powerful. The seeds of the Damshan group have been played. But what if it hasn't been born yet? But the third daughter is stupid. Level God Father, according to what I just said, Level God Father is one level higher than the parent level. So you're so good, Gwen. Penny said in surprise. Cindy nodded knowingly. No wonder Sue said yesterday afternoon that you don't want to go. Only me and Mdai are allowed to go. So it turned out that you were the one who killed me instantly. See everyone's reaction. Gwen was a little thankful. She was really afraid that she was too strong and a little out of group. But it won't. She is the captain of the Spider League. The stronger she is, the more at ease the players will feel. Who doesn't like to have the strong to lead them? Who doesn't love lying down to win? Correct. At this time, Mdai thought of something and asked. Then what strength will Wanda, Sue, and Hala have? Not. You think too much. There is no need for Mdai to ask. Gwen smiled with her arms crossed. Little Wanda, I bully her every night. She is too weak like a mage. Definitely her magic is very strong. After conversion, it should be about the same as mine. As for Hala, she is Sue's little pet. As long as Sue says to go east, she will go back to northwest and south, but her body will still go east. As for Sue Yi, I heard Gwen talking about Sue Yi. Everyone pricked up their ears to listen. Gwen thought about it, but it was hard to give an example, so she could only speak. Dot you just need to know that he is an omnipotent god. I can't describe it specifically. As long as he thinks, what should exist and have meaning. But Sue is very good. He is a person who lives seriously, works happily, and enjoys life. You just treat him as a good friend. Live seriously, work happily, enjoy life. Hear this sentence. Everyone has a little understanding. It seems that this is the attitude that people should have in life. At this time, Penny's watch jerked. She looked down and saw that the class alarm clock was ringing. Let's stop chatting and go to class. Crack down on crime at night. Chat while fighting. Gwen turned and jumped. Everyone immediately followed. Then go to the respective teachers. At the same time, on the roof where Stephen was buried before. PSST. Collapsed Tilda. As the mounds and bricks were slowly pushed away. A figure covered in dust instantly sat up. He opened his eyes and looked around. Then he closed his eyes and felt for a while. Then opened them suddenly and said to you. you finally found you, kid. Immediately afterwards. Don't wait for him to get up. This Stephen just played the court with his bare hands. Suddenly. Darkness filled his surroundings. The body also gradually broke through the ground, floating cross-legged in the air. The sky also turned black at a speed visible to the naked eye. Next moment, many ghost images, Dee Dee, came out of Stephen S. body. They are ferocious, screaming, roaring, threatening, cursing. Stephen, you violated the law of the devil. We're going to take your soul Stephen. Chop off his head. I want to see where the cervical spine is. Many black shadows began to disturb Stephen. And Stephen grinned ferociously. He stretched out one hand, and the Japanese black red book instantly appeared on his subject. Then Stephen made a decision with both hands. Then he opened his shrunken mouth violently. Zilla Tilda, with the mouth opened violently. The corners of both sides of Stephen S. mouth were torn apart, and turned into the corners of Joker's mouth. At the same time, a black suction emerged from Stephen S. mouth, and the ghosts around him were immediately crowded and sucked in. No. Stephen, you used a forbidden technique. You dare to use this trick. Master Scython will devour your soul. No, don't eat me. Ah, the ghosts were swallowed by Stephen while howling. Those ghosts before being swallowed. He still held the corner of Stephen S. mouth and didn't want to go in. But as Stephen finally closed his mouth, all ghost images are gone. The surroundings also became quieter. Up to this point, Stephen opened his eyes, showing a ferocious smile. Kristen, America, and Stephen of this universe, I want you all to have a memorable ending. 213. Perceiving the future, Osborne collapses. Scarlet Witch, New York, Upstate Building. After a day of fishing. So Yi clocked in normally after get off work. After hearing the, ding check in successfully, in my heart. So Yi turned around and went upstairs. He comes upstairs. The twin dancers came to Su Yi's side and said, Master, the Osborne industry was exposed to research biological mutation experiments, 
and they were also responsible for the previous mutant humans. So Yi changed his shoes and asked casually, what about now? With the investigation of the FBI and agents, the actual controller of Osborne Industry, Norman Osborne, has transferred the company's core talents and technical equipment, Sue said. Wu added, in the public eye, the Osborne industry has collapsed, and the stock market has been dumped in half within an hour. Some of the major institutions went bankrupt, and some got rich. But in fact, the core of the Osborne family has shifted location, and now it may be secretly researching the latest developments in a certain state. U.S. stocks are different from A shares. A single stock of A shares has daily upper and lower limits, and you can only buy long and you cannot bet on short. But US stocks have neither lower limit nor upper limit, and can also push up or down at the same time. And before it was officially exposed, many Osborne Industries employees are unaware that this has happened to the company. Interesting. So Yi thought about the time. This incident broke out after 4 o'clock in the afternoon? Yes, it's 4.30 p.m. to be precise. Ling nodded and said, so we only give the stock market less than half an hour to react. The US stock market is now closed until 5 p.m., and this news broke out around 4.30. So in half an hour, the stock price of Osborne Industries fell by half. Then the market closed. Now most people still haven't sold it. What to do? Salad. Who will be faster tomorrow? Or the lower unit price link directly will be given priority. Otherwise, the queue will not be able to rank you. Besides, Osborne Industries is a very large company. There are a lot of institutions and individuals who have heavy positions in the stock of Osborne Industries. 540. So such a thunderstorm. Thinking about the tragedy of these stockholders, so Yi couldn't help shaking his head. No matter which stock market. There are bad food everywhere. Although Osborne Industries has lost many people, there must be short-selling winners. So no matter what, there must be a winner out there. Not so that no one survives. After changing into slippers, So Yi came to the small universe to look for Wanda. At the moment Wanda is sitting cross-legged on the grass practicing spells. She closed her eyes, but her hands were dancing slightly. In front of her is a cube within a cube that is twisting, reorganizing, and merging. So Yi glanced at it. I knew it was a time-space confinement spell. A little distance. It's a bit like the Q skill of Lux in LOL, which is the skill that can walk two people. So Yi came over and didn't bother Wanda. Instead, he was going to find a lawn beside her to lie down on. But he just got to Wanda. The spell in Wanda's hand was interrupted by her, and she opened her eyes and said, I smell black magic. Um, hear this sentence. So Yi sensed it with Phoenix Force. It really is. So Yi generally doesn't like to use this Phoenix Force. Too predictable. Now on his side, he got a several pieces of news in an instant. One, one of the troops that annihilated the Zerg. The Zerg Queen is about to reach the outer reaches of the solar system. 2. Venom is symbiotic with a report ready, and found the mountain base of Osborne Industry, at the moment is going. 3. Natasha Romanoff is about to message herself. 4. Tony just learned a new magic. 5. The four members of the Spider League didn't go home after school, and they are fighting crime in the city, while teaching Penny to spin silk, and at the same time, the four of them have a high probability of meeting Venom tonight. 6. The corpse of Stephen was revived. No, it was manipulated turned into Dark Steven, and is now heading to Kamartage. So, the black magic that Wanda said, it was Steven who was brought back from the corpse. So Yi sat down and looked at Wanda. Did you feel it from the Dark God book? Yes. Wanda nodded. She stretched out one hand, and the Book of Darkness appeared out of thin air and fell into her hand. Look at the cover of the Dark God book. Black red. Wanda opened it, as if looking for something. At the same time, she closed her eyes to feel the breath from time to time. After a while, Wanda flipped through several pages, then point to a spell to confirm. It is this. So Yi applauded after seeing it. Your sense of magic is sharpened now, Wanda. Wanda smiled. It's not that someone teaches well. The two looked at the magic on the Dark Divine Book. The spell Wanda was referring to just now. It's a spell similar to resurrection. It can even be controlled remotely across the latitudes of the cloudy universe. But this control is very demanding. 1. You must have a connection between the two worlds. No connection is equivalent to no network. 2. The person you control must have a relationship with you, otherwise it is very easy to fail. Wanda spelled out the conditions of the spell. But Su Yi shook his head and added, There's one more thing it didn't write. Which point? Wanda wondered. 3. The side effects of spells are huge. Once used, the soul will be corroded, and at least be swallowed by ghosts. The most important thing is that Scythorn directly finds the anchor point between exiled universes, and then directly devours the user's soul so that Scythorn is reborn. Wanda understood, this is not a side effect of a spell. It is a side effect of the Dark God Book. Sue, is it true that as long as you use the Dark Divine Book, your soul will definitely be corroded? Yes, Su Yi nodded, but the Dark Book in your hand is an exception. Every universe has a Dark God Book, and every universe has a Scythorn. But in the Book of the Dark God in your hand, Scythorn has been purified, so the above side effects will no longer take effect, and you can use it normally. 
The Dark Divine Book in Wanda's hand had already been bejized by Su Yi. I said this earlier, after Su Yi's reminder. Wanda touched the pages of the Dark God Book and said suddenly, Then I want to try, um? What Wanda said made Su Yi unable to react. You haven't tried it yet? Wanda nodded. Even if it has no side effects, I was afraid that using this kind of magic would make me inflated and change my mind. But now it doesn't affect me. When saying this sentence, Wanda is quite firm. Su Yi turned half his body on the spot and clapped his hands. Come on. I'll watch you transform. Wanda nodded. She opened the book to read, and then selected one of the advanced spells. Next, Wanda raised her hand and dragged it lightly. The Dark Divine Book levitated by itself. At the same time Wanda also slowly flew into the air. For a while, the sky suddenly turned red. Scarlet clouds cover the sky and the sun, as if covering the whole world. The wind is raging, and the red mist is lingering. Next moment, three large circles of orangutans appeared in the sky. And Wanda did it all over again. Her hair is up and she's wearing a delicate crown. She changed her whole body of clothes into a slim waist, and her lower body only has a red evening dress at the back. Woo! Seeing this outfit, Su Yi sighed in admiration. So lovely. It's really nice. But seeing Wanda ready to go, Su Yi pointed to a hilltop far away from the red mist and said, Throw it up the mountain if you want to test it, and it will be automatically repaired tomorrow. Wanda turned to look. After determining the target, she stretched out her hand and pointed at the top of the mountain. Immediately, boom tilde. The three magic circles shot out three huge amounts of orangutan red magic balls at the same time. You look like a ball of fire. Because it is orangutan red. But you won't find out until these three fireballs hit the top of the mountain. This is the property of chaos. Boom 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 tilde. As the three fireballs hit the top of the mountain, a shockwave visible to the naked eye ripples from the top of the mountain. And with the collapse of the mountain, the ground is also moving. So you looked at the shockwave that was about to sweep over. He was quite surprised. This spell is so powerful. It is indeed a spell in the Dark God book. Definitely. Wanda originally's strength is also very good. Face the impending shockwave. Su Yi opened his hand to hold falsely. Next moment, the world seems to be frozen. Shockwave stopped. The collapse of the mountain has stopped. The earthquake also stopped. Immediately afterwards, in Wanda's gaze, slowly squeeze Su Yi's hand in. And in reality, shockwave is going backwards. The mountain is recovering. Earthquake disappears immediately. Wait until Su Yi's hand is slowly clenched. Shockwave is gone. The mountain has also changed into its original appearance, as if nothing happened. After going back in time, Su Yi put away his hands. One flew down, looked at Su Yi and pouted and said, I played so well that I made a wedding dress for you. Su Yi smiled. Then I wasn't handsome just now. So handsome Tilda. Hear this honest answer. Su Yi began to carefully observe Wanda's attire again. He walked up to Wanda and looked at Wanda's leather jacket, waist and skirt. Then he looked at Wanda's coiled hair and the exquisite crown. This crown is so beautiful. Orangutan red, with two small horns, makes Wanda look more like Scarlet Witch. Su Yi reached out and touched Wanda's cheek. And Wanda also closed her eyes and raised her head slightly, putting her face on Su Yi's hand like a cat. Su Yi scratched Wanda's cheek with his thumb and praised, Wanda, you are so beautiful. Wanda opened her eyes, stepped back half a step and asked with a smile, Is that my beauty now, or my beauty before my transformation? Question mark. Su Yi's mouth twitched. Then why don't you ask whether you are beautiful as a saint or as a witch when you are in the state of the tiger charm? Okay, Wanda nodded with a smile in her eyes. Then which of these two pairs is more beautiful? Su Yi thought about it. Wanda is the most beautiful. Rippy. At this time, Su Yi's cell phone rang. He picked it up and saw that it was Natasha Romanoff whom he had perceived before. It won't be long. Something happened to Stephen and Stephen. Dot. 214. Zombie Stephen, the user of the Dark Book of God is dead. Natasha Romanoff's phone rings. Su Yi turned on the hands-free connection and cleared his throat. Cough. There was silence for half a second. Then he said, Sue, there is one important matter. Tilda, say it. Su Yi sat on the grass. Wanda also made it next to Su Yi. Osborne Industries is not as simple as it appears. They are the Osborne Industry on the surface, and they are biological mutation research and human experiments in the dark. That is, some time ago various mutants appeared on the streets of New York. But there is one more important piece of research at the core. Su Yi made a phone call and had nothing to do. Pulled Wanda's hand and rubbed it lightly. Anyway, it's not always the case when men call. What's more important? Research on the coexistence of extraterrestrial life and human life. Hear this sentence. Su Yi can understand the cause and effect in an instant. Your agent is very powerful. There are eyeliners everywhere. Natasha Romanoff mixed in with the history of the Stark group. Even if she left later. Do you think there is any agent in there? The answer is yes. Maybe even now. The agent is one of the important cause of information warfare. Let's not talk about the agent. This incident started a few months ago. After a rocket carrying an alien life form from Osborne Industries crashed abnormally. They immediately blocked all news on the internet. Then after recovering all the alien life forms. It didn't take long for them to start symbiosis research. The current boss of Osborne Industry, Norman Osborne, doesn't want to become like his father, 
so he has almost assembled the entire company to study this matter. So we got the news without any difficulty. At first we planned to communicate, but Norman Osborn has fallen into madness, until now he broke out completely. Hearing this, Su Yi nodded. Very reasonable. This is the closing effect of the sacred timeline. Protagonist and supporting roles gone. It's okay, I'll find you another one to play. Norman Osborn, like the boss of Venom wants to evolve his own life. And Norman Osborn might be a little crazier. His father died so badly. Do you think he will study symbiotes like crazy? The answer is 1000%. So the villain of Venom has changed from the boss of that company to the boss of this company. And the plot makes sense. It's exactly the same. If Marvel acts like this, they can even make a Venom Spider-Man movie. It's called Venom Spider-Man Parallel Universe. So, how do you plan to solve this matter? We want to send superheroes, such as Moonlight Knight, Hawkeye, Falcon, etc. But, Natasha Romanoff has hesitation. She didn't know how to say it. So Yi smiled and said proactively. But the United Nations does not agree to such a direct action. They want the secret research results of the Osborne industry. So they want you to continue to lurk until the research results come out before taking action, right? As soon as this statement came out, Natasha Romanoff over the side. Yes, as expected. After being controlled by the United Nations, Avengers is not how everyone decides what to decide together. This time, Everyone wants to solve this matter quickly, in order not to let the Osborne industry research something. But the United Nations disagreed, or, the United States disagree, because the higher-ups want to reap the benefits of the fishermen, after Osborne industrial researches, let Avengers do it. This incident made Natasha Romanoff very depressed. What rubbish. Ah, to ye and wonder, no. Even the big geese can predict this matter. Wanda shook her head in disappointment. These bastards only have interests and achievements in their eyes. So Yi smiled. That's perfectly normal for these politicians. If they succeed in doing so, then the achievements and benefits brought by the symbiont technology will be very terrifying. It is not a dream to be promoted to three ranks. Even if it fails, isn't there a superhero to wipe his ass? It's time for a villain's crisis. Don't you superhero make a move? Politician, I don't believe it. So these people are actually good people. The abacus is very good. It's not really stupid for someone so rich to sit in this position. Forehand and backhand are all thought out for you. But that's okay. Although these politicians look smart. They can only manage Avengers. This has nothing to do with Su Yi. He doesn't plan to care. But the matter of the symbiote was a coincidence. Natasha Romanoff, you don't have to deal with a symbiont. You can take a shower and sleep. When you get back, in Su Yi's perception just now, there's plenty of trouble ahead for Norman Osborn. Venom will meet the League of Spiders tonight. Even if Venom goes it alone. And don't forget the spider telepathy of the four female Spider-Man. This crisis. Even if you are separated by a country. They can sense it, especially Gwen. What he is wearing is the battle suit of the ancestor of the symbiosis. Natasha Romanoff immediately felt relieved when she heard Su Yi's words, but she still asked curiously, "Then what should I do?" There is no need for Su Yi to answer this matter. Wanda smiled after posting Su Yi on the side. This still needs Su to do it. Natasha Romanoff, you're asking again knowingly. Gwen just called you at noon, and now you're pretending not to know again. Green tea tea. Here, Wanda teas. Natasha Romanoff also lives in Bengbu. Okay, okay. I don't know the inside information, I only know the existence of the Spider Alliance, that's all. By the way, can you tell me how many Spider-Men there are now? I have to keep this in mind, otherwise I may be wrong to deceive those politicians with cerebral palsy. Therefore, Wanda said, they are all girls, let me tell you their names, but remember not to back up. Okay, Gwen, Cindy Moon, Maddie Parker, Penny Parker. Oh Tilda, there are two more Parkers, are they twins? No. It's just that more than 50% of Spider-Man will be named Parker. Is there such a thing? It's really interesting. Well, I know now. Bye, I won't bother you, as long as you know. Pat Tilda. The phone hangs up. Wanda returned the phone to Su Yi. How should I put it? Natasha Romanoff really bothered the two of them. Su Yi put away the phone, then look back at Wanda who didn't undo the transformation. At the moment her red crown is still there, and paired with wine, Red's hair is particularly beautiful. Su Yi sucked his nose in and took a breath. Ah Tilda. It smells like shampoo. Actually not. Also mixed with a touch of body fragrance. It smells really good. So Yi smiled after smoking. It turns out that in the movie, when a beautiful woman passes by the male protagonist, the male protagonist will be attracted by the scent. After Wanda heard it, she moved close to Su Yi's chest and straightened her nose. Tilda. Then he also said, you're manly too. Okay, it's good to compliment each other. Everyone is very happy. So Yi stroked Wanda's hair. It was very smooth. Her current state of Scarlet Witch is indeed very noble and gorgeous, like the Queen of an Empire. What does it feel like to make Su Yi want to try to bully the Queen? Dot 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 seeking flowers oh oh, conquest. Hey, I am so evil, although it is said so. But their faces were getting closer and closer. Then paced them together. Between the lips and teeth, there was a sharp blow. Sometimes Su Yi's forehead would touch Wanda's crown, so he had to turn his head sideways from time to time. The two are really hot. But the next moment, Wanda who had been pressing her eyes, suddenly opened them. She took the initiative to leave. After taking a few breaths, 
he said suddenly. The breath of black magic appeared again, just in the city of New York. Tzu Yi scratched the corner of her mouth with his thumb. Where is the city, doctor? No, he teleported away again, and now he seems to be in Asia, near the Himalayas. Tzu Yi looked into Wanda's eyes. Many thoughts can be seen in the human eye. But what Tsuyi saw was, Wanda wanted to take care of it. Yes, she seems to be a little itchy and wants to try the new Dark Circle method. You want to go? Yeah. Wanda nodded, the user of the Dark Divine book from other universes. At least, I want to drive him away, or solve it on the spot. Simply put, users of the Dark God book will not be good things. You just need to use the Dark God book. Your soul will be corrupted. So what Wanda means is that as long as she knows that the user of the Dark God book has come to this universe, then she will kill the user. Definitely. It's not that she's trying to be nice. Instead, they are both users of the Dark God book. Wanda can't tolerate aliens using her same ability to destroy. Otherwise, it's like someone using your exclusive skills to do bad things. This is similar to the imitation master. Follow the superhero's natal posture to do things. Who can watch it? Su Yi understood this. So he pulled Wanda to stand up, help her pat the ashes and grass clippings that don't exist on the leather drum. Then let's go. Gwen isn't at home. I'll go to watch the show too. Um, get the support of Su Yi. Wanda is very happy. She moved her fingers directly in the Scarlet Witch gesture. Red's portal opens. Su Yi glanced at it. Opened directly on the top of the Himalayas. Su Yi walked over. Wanda follows. Next moment, the two appeared on the top of the Himalayas. That is the highest place in the world. Su Yi looked at Wanda to see if she was cold. She is protected by magic now, and she is fine at all. Came here. Su Yi's eyes see through the mountain. Between the whistling wind and snow, there is also a team of extreme challengers who are climbing together again against the wind and snow. And Wanda's eyes looked at the foot of the mountain on the other side. She pointed to the sky above Kamartaj. Over there. So you looked over. The angle of view is instantly enlarged. At the moment the sky over Kamartaj was dark. Layers of black clouds enveloped the sky over Mage Holy Place. And among those dark clouds, a man with a mouth torn and who looks like Stephen the zombie is controlling a woman from a distance to confront Kamartaj. That woman, so ye, took a look. It's Christine. It is Christine who Stephen had a crush on in this universe at first but who voluntarily gave up because of responsibility and responsibility. If I'm not mistaken, the two people in this universe have no conflicts, nor do they leave without saying goodbye. It was Stephen who was mature enough to talk to her. Then show that your responsibility is great. So sorry, can't keep you up. But Christine here doesn't seem to find someone to marry again like in Doctor Strange 2. Instead, he continued his work as a doctor silently. The two seem to have a tacit understanding. Dot. 215. Stephen X2 Civil War Kamartaj Crisis Himalayas Kamartaj Today's Stephen practiced spells and handled the affairs of various holy places as usual. It's different from Su Yi's self-determined five days off and two days off. Stephen technically had no rest. He has to deal with things. For example, what happened to which holy place? Or you have to practice spells if you have nothing to do. He went to a party at Tony's house that day. It is also one of the few opportunities to rest for a whole day. Till noon, Stephen finished his spell practice time walked out of the holy place and started to take a walk to rest. He happened to meet Wang on the way. Wang looked at Stephen and nodded in agreement. You are hardworking. Stephen smiled definitely as a matter of course. The talented surgeon back then couldn't be made by relying on ability alone. Wang nodded in understanding. The profession of a doctor. Your ability is your ability. But it is impossible to become a top surgeon without extensive surgical training. So genius is 1% inspiration plus 99% perspiration. Definitely, that 1% of inspiration is the most important even more important than that 99% of sweat. The two talked and laughed, then prepare to go to other places together. But the next moment, both of them stopped at the same time and looked up at the horizon. Beyond Kamartaj, dark clouds were drifting over at a speed visible to the naked eye. Both Wang and Stephen are mage. 977. Their perception is pretty good anyway. So both of them smelled the crisis from the dark clouds at the same time. Wang's expression changed. He and Stephen looked at each other. Then the two stretched out their hands at the same time making a perfect decision. Next moment, rumble tilde, Kamartaj trembled. A light curtain barrier also rises from the edge of Kamartaj, then completely enveloped the holy land of mage. For a while, all the mage looked to the sky. They looked at each other and reacted immediately. Hurry up and get the magic weapon. Hurry up and assemble. Kamartaj activates the barrier. Everyone go to the square to assemble. Take the magic weapon. Take more. Bring it to the other mages too. Mage's efficiency is still good. With the barrier activated, the official mage directs the actions of the apprentice mages. Everyone ran to the square. Some picked up a bunch of magical artifacts and ran to the square, and on the way they also distributed the magical artifacts to mage who had no magical artifacts. The other side, after Stephen and Wang joined forces to activate the barrier, Wang opened a portal to the platform on the square. The two walked in, came to the square. 
Dozens of mages have already arrived here. The other mages came from all directions with magic weapons. Some even ran over from behind them. Wang looked at the crowd and commanded in a deep voice. Formation. With orders, many mage began to line up. They stretched out their hands and pointed the dharma at the sky. Then use your own mana to increase the defense strength of the barrier. The newly arrived mages were all stunned when they saw the black clouds in the distance. What is that? Black cloud? What's going on here? Fix the formation. Wang shouted again. Everyone hastily formed formation. After a while, wait until the dark clouds overwhelm the city. The number of mage has increased to nearly 200 people. But this is already the limit. In Doctor Strange 2, Stephen and Wang are prepared in advance. It wasn't just Kamataj's mage back then. Mage from the world's three major holy places also came to defend but not this time. Full budget. Kamataj also only lived in Mage with less than 200 people. And at this time, a black cloud has come down to the city of Kamataj. Many Mage also set up the ballista waiting to be ready. Stephen and Wang stood on the steps and waited silently. Many Mage also stared at the center of the black cloud. Next moment, the black cloud slowly dispersed, showing a shocking countenance. Wow Tilda, is he supreme Mage? Don't believe it, it's fake. Look at his face, how ugly. Yes, this is the power of black magic. Everyone, don't be fooled. The moment Stephen appeared, the crowd did panic a bit. But Stephen is too ugly. He was recognized on the spot again. If only he looked exactly like normal Stephen. It's hard to say if it's messy or not. But his good looks. Forget it. Wang looked at that Stephen, and then turned to look at Stephen beside him. His gaze made Stephen rush to insult. Does this still need confirmation? Cough. Wang coughed lightly in embarrassment. After all, I can still recognize it. The two of them joked a bit leisurely. But in the dark clouds, Stephen flew in the air. Looking at Kamataj, Stephen said with a hoarse voice, Stephen, do you remember her? Dark Stephen reached out and grabbed it. A comatose figure flew out of the black clouds and appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Stephen's expression didn't change, but the pupil shrank suddenly, and then slowly let go. He was a little restless inside, but he still smiled as calmly as possible. It seems like every universe has Stephen and Christine. Don't you know each other? Wang watched Dark Stephen from the side. Even if he cares about Stephen right now. But at this time, you can't show your feet. His eyes didn't move. He could only look at Stephen's surface out of the corner of his eye. So after hearing this sentence, Wang felt relieved a lot, because Stephen is calm enough. Cough. Dark Stephen smiled ugly. Sure enough, Stephen in every universe is the same. They are all so cunning. They don't express their hearts, but only know how to hide them. In the end, they lose everything. Oh Tilda. Dark Stephen said so. Normally Stephen just laughed. It seems that some people are clearly talking about others, but they are secretly stating their own past. Could it be that you lived a miserable life in your own world, so you want to come to other worlds to take revenge on other selves and Christine? No way, Stephen should be doing well. As soon as Stephen finished speaking, Dark Stephen lived in Bengbu. You, breaking defense plus really hurting belongs to yes. After what he said so redundantly, Stephen could immediately guess why this Stephen came. Poor man. So Stephen shook his head, deeply regretful. As soon as this statement came out, dark clouds surged in the sky. Countless ghosts rushed out of Dark Stephen's body. For a while, the whole camartage is even more changing. Wang whispered immediately after seeing it. You pissed him off. But only in this way can he know his weakness. Stephen folded his hands behind his back. He looks like this. I don't know what kind of dark magic he has cultivated, but I can feel that it is a very powerful dark magic. Wang nodded in agreement. It's weird if it doesn't show up, specifies that black magic is used. And the next moment, a dark fireball suddenly fell through the clouds and hit Kamataj. Wang stared. He immediately yelled, Formation. The mages supported the barrier, and the barrier has always existed. Their support is to make the barrier more defensive. Immediately afterwards, the dark fireball hit the barrier. Tilda. Both touch. Huge amounts of vibration erupted suddenly. Ah, the dark fireball exploded. Numerous mages staggered back and forth while supporting the barrier. Some mages even lost their balance and were knocked down. Suddenly, the Kamataj barrier became precarious. Stephen took a look. Immediately ordered, attack. Crunch Tilda. Aim the ballista on the city wall at Dark Stephen, and shoot out a giant meal. But Dark Stephen had one with one hand. A portal appears directly in front of the ballista, and the ballista shot. Arrows flew into the portal, then fly out from the portal aimed at the barrier. Next moment, a series of three ballistas all turned back and bombarded the barrier. Ah, many mage screamed. One mage was too weak and was sent flying, and a gap appeared in the barrier immediately. Dark Stephen smashed a fireball after seeing it. Wang yelled when he saw it. Withstand. Stephen is already in Chaffa. And the next moment, the fireball immediately hit the final barrier. This time it was not so easy to hold on. After a big dark fireball, the Kamataj barrier, which already had a gap, was directly smashed. Immediately, many mages were sent flying backwards by the shock, and the ballista did not dare to fire again. They are afraid of another round of volley, so don't kill their own people. See here. Stephen couldn't bear it anymore. He put his hands together, 
and the cloak directly made him fly. Gold's mana surged in Stephen's hands. Stephen, when Wang saw it, he immediately shouted, Come back, let's deal with him together. Your Christian is still in her hands. Stephen was silent. He said without looking back, He's not going to hurt Christine. It's just a show, as expected. Stephen just finished speaking. Christian in the black cloud was thrown to the ground by Dark Stephen. In addition to falling down, it is estimated that there will be a bag on the head, and there is nothing else. How to say, it's all Stephen, they just know each other. The two met in the air. Stephen is not melee this time. He turned his hands, and then split, two gold gears lined up, and was thrown out by Stephen like a chainsaw. Dark Stephen pulled the black cloud with one hand. The gold gear passes through in 1.5 seconds, but just passing through. There is no follow-up. Stephen knew immediately that he was short. Major's deadliest point. It's just that the skills can't be thrown. Sudden. A big hand stretched out from the black cloud and held it towards Stephen. Go away. Stephen clapped his hands. A gold mask and a top. Smashed the black hand that was holding it in an instant. The kings on the ground were dumbfounded. He watched the two Stevens fighting in the air before realizing it. You were actually playing me when you were fighting the octopus monster. There are actors. And the other side. On the Himalayas. When Wanda and Su Yi saw this. The two Stevens were already fighting inextricably in the air. Dark clouds covered the sky, but golden light appeared in the black clouds from time to time. Wanda said after looking at it for a while, Stephen can't last long, let's go, and when Stephen finishes fighting with him, I will crush Dark Stephen to death. So Yi nodded. He also knew about it. It is not surprising that the current Stephen can't beat Dark Stephen, because Stephen can't use the time gem but relying on mana alone. So he shook his head and said, there is a limit to mana, and the ability of the dark dimension is almost unlimited. Dark Stephen can consume Stephen to death. Wanda agrees. Yes, let's go. Okay, 216. Dark Stephen is dead. The gate of the multi-universe. When Su Yi and Wanda came to the sky above Kamartage, Boom Tilda, accompanied by a loud noise in the black cloud, Stephen, who was wearing a robe, was blasted out and hit the city wall before sliding down. Cough cough cough. Stephen coughed a few times in discomfort. He quickly looked at his cloak, and saw that after it caught fire, he quickly extinguished it again. Thanks. The cloak moved the corner of his clothes, indicating that you are welcome. But it's pretty miserable right now. Because of the blow just now, Stephen was wrapped in the cloak to resist most of the attacks. So after this blow, the cloak is damaged in at least 30% of its area. Seeing his cloak become tattered, Stephen apologized. Sorry, I will find magic materials to repair you. The corner of the cloak nodded, then point to the black cloud, among the dark clouds. Dark Stephen floated down slowly. He looked at Stephen with a hideous face and said hoarsely, Your ability is not as tough as your mouth. His words made Stephen himself laugh. Stephen shook his head. He wiped the corner of his mouth again. You. He just wanted to continue talking. The cloak tugged at him, pointing to the sky behind him. Um? Stephen turned around suspiciously. When the mages in the mage holy place saw Stephen looking back, they also looked up. As a result, people found out, on the mage holy place, there are two people standing in the air. So, Stephen was surprised and delighted when he saw it. When Wang saw it, he breathed a sigh of relief. This is the character who beat up ancient one mage. He came. There will be sunny days. What is Gooba Dark Cloud Misty 16 Cloth? Let me go. But this is not Su Yi's home field. A mere fake level godfather. This still requires Su Yi to make a move. Wanda looked at Dark Stephen. Dark Stephen also tilted his head to look at Wanda. He narrowed his eyes and said in a hoarse voice. Looks like you too. Wanda shook her head slowly. No. You're almost far away. Finished. Wanda raised her hands. Scarlet energy surged in her hands. Then Wanda piled out. Boom Tilda. A scarlet energy wave surged out. Wang immediately yelled when he saw it. Get down. Many mage immediately got down. The cloak behind Stephen also immediately pulled him to the edge of the city wall. And his angle just happened to see the situation of Dark Stephen. Orangutan Red's energy wave exploded. Dark Stephen can't hide in the sky. Next moment, the energy wave penetrated Dark Stephen. Boom. For a moment. The sun appeared again in the sky. Everyone looked up. The dark clouds that were originally overwhelming have been swept away. Now the sky has changed back to the previous sky, clear and beautiful. And what about Dark Stephen? He flew upside down and crashed into a hillside. Dusty. Dark Stephen's aura just now was gone. I can't even find anyone now. His Tilda. Stephen took a breath when he saw it. He fought with Dark Stephen for a long time. Finally got blasted out. And with a pile of hands, Dark Stephen suddenly looked as if he was about to send it. Wang looked at it and thought so too. The lady next to Sue, deliberately no worse than Ancient One Mage, right? Or as powerful as Ancient One Mage? He and Stephen pretty much thought so. Little did they know they thought too little. This is why Wanda doesn't use Mind Gem, and there are staffs and other equipment that are useless. If Wanda used all the things Su Yi gave her now, Ancient One really can't beat her now. At the moment Wanda's full strength has surpassed level Godfather, and when the dust filled the air, a cloud of black mist diffused from it, and then dispersed towards the surroundings. Want to escape? Stephen took a closer look and immediately shook his head in denial. He uses the new ability, 
What is he doing? Wang stared at the black fog surrounding him. They are not flying in the sky now. It's not the kind of black fog that engulfs the city. Instead, like a mist, a black mist similar to smoke bombs began to envelop. Su Yi said helplessly after seeing it. You are sneaking in front of me. Don't you think too much of those present here? Wanda nodded in agreement. Sneak face to face. What cattle and horses? But that's what they both said. The people below don't think so. Sneak? Both Wang and Stephen were stunned. So it was sneaking? They thought they wanted to run or use other skills. But, there are so many people here. What is he sneaking for? Black mist filled the air, after hearing Su Yi and Wanda's words. Immediately, the black mist disappeared. It began to diffuse rapidly. Until I want to cover the whole holy place. He started to drill into various holy places, as if looking for something. Stephen didn't understand what it was doing at first. But suddenly he reacted. He's looking for America. Wang also reacted after hearing this sentence. Stop him. Dispel the black mist. America does a great job. Her existence depends on whether future superheroes will see more of herself. And what to do about it. Stephen had just brought America back a few days. If something happens to America, the plan is posted. When the time comes to face this multi-universe threat, we can only sit and wait for death. After all the mage heard Wang's order, they immediately began to use magic to try to clear the nearby fog. At the moment everyone's visibility is less than 10 meters. It's like a foggy day where you can hear people talking but you can't see anyone. Only those around you can see each other. But it doesn't need their help at all, because it's useless. Wonder see you here. Her eyes glowed red, and she flew forward slowly. Then she grabbed forward with one hand. A big hand gathered scarlet energy directly shook it towards the black mist. Crack tilde, accompanied by a sound of broken bones. The thick black mist dissipated instantly at a speed visible to the naked eye. The fog cleared. Someone yelled. Everyone cheered up and watched. Gradually, with the black mist completely dissipated, everyone also saw who it was that made the bone cracking sound. It apostrophe s dot 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 battle damage Dark Steven. Everyone looked. At the moment Dark Steven is held in the hands of a scarlet energy behemoth. One of his legs is broken. One hand was broken too. The neck is broken too. Turned into crooked neck looking at everyone. Behind him, a woman was trembling. And she is America, at the moment. The distance between the two is only a few steps away. Three meters? Five meters? Anyway, very close. Dark Stephen looked at Wanda from a distance and said, Kill me, my body is still there. This body is just another hapless Stephen. You and I both use the same magic. Sooner or later you will become like me. No one can escape its soul corruption. Sooner or later. Boom. He didn't finish his sentence. Wanda took it lightly in his hand. And the big energy handful of origin magic power is directly clenched like a gate. Just this moment, the dark Stephen in his big hand was instantly wiped out. Nothing exists anymore. Wanda puts her hands away. Dark Stephen, who was still screaming just now, has turned into nothingness. Stephen himself was dumbfounded. Wang was also dumbfounded. Not to mention those common mage. They are still using weapons the ha 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 ha. Even a big mage can't throw any very powerful spells. Only at the level of supreme mage. The magic used can reach the level of terror. But what about wonder? An unpretentious pinch. The enemy was wiped out in an instant. Nothing left. This slap directly crushed the person. Stephen looked dumbfounded. Compared to myself. Wonder should be the supreme mage. What are you? Ah. And at this moment, there was another cry of fright. Everyone one looked. America sits on the ground and is constantly moving back and forth. And she was right in front of her. There's a rotten hand crawling towards her feet. This horrifying scene made America scream and panic. Wrong. Stephen suddenly thought of something. 783 America can time travel. When she is emotional. And the purpose of dark Stephen looking for America just now must have something to do with time travel. And the next moment, America was so frightened that she opened the door to crossing. A door to a parallel universe sparkling with starlight opened before everyone's eyes. But other people don't know what kind of portal it is. But America has already sucked it in, and after climbing a few times, that hand was finally sucked in by the gate of the parallel universe at the last moment. Not good. Wang stared. Now America is gone. He immediately looked at Stephen, asking what to do. And the portal is still open. No one knows when it will close. Maybe it's the next moment. Stephen thought for a while, and immediately decided. You guard Kamartage, I'll follow to see. After speaking, Stephen commanded the magic cloak behind him and flew into the portal of the parallel universe. No. Stephen Wang stretched out his hand to stop him from the air. Other places are dangerous. His body may be in that world. When the king said this, Stephen has already rushed to the portal. It seemed as if he was going to get into it the next moment. But the next second, the portal of the multi-universe suddenly disappeared. It directly turns into a phantom and dissipates. Stephen wore a cloak and walked through the phantom, but only through. Um, after going through the gate, Stephen found out after turning around in the air. Gone. What to do? Is this how you let people go? Wanda looked at Su Yi. This moment is Su Yi's decision. He said whatever to do. Su Yi patted Wanda's head and said with a smile. We shouldn't let everyone who messed with us go, should we? That's right. Wanda nodded in agreement. He should be completely wiped out. So it was decided. Su Yi stretched out his index finger, and swiped down with one hand. Zilatilda. It's just a multi-universe. No matter which universe he hides in, 
I can find him. 217. Travel through the multi-universe. Poor old Stephen. Hide and dodge in the face of dark Stephen. He simply thought that his wreckage was gone, so others would not be able to find his body. But is this really the case? In the Dark God book, there are quite a few abilities that can affect the multi-universe. So Dark Stephen is afraid that one day will find out where his body is through his severed arms and legs. Through the contest just now. No, it should be said that it was after unilateral crushing. Dark Stephen knew at a glance that Wanda was much stronger than himself. What's more? Maybe it's not Wanda that's more dangerous. It was the man who was summoned by Stephen and Wang when he came with Wanda. That is Su Yi. So Dark Stephen knows. It's okay for the body to die. But don't be found on the body. If the main body is found, then Gigi can really be played. And now the severed hand disappears with America. Who else will find him? And in Kamartage, Su Yi stretched out his hand, raised his index finger, and swiped in the air in front of him. Zilla Tilda. There was a sound of tearing open the space together. It's like tearing apart fabric and it's like tearing apart a glass curtain. A gap of chaos appeared in the sky. The opposite seems to be an endless vortex. But look carefully inside. You will find that there are countless bubbles inside. The bubble is full of stardust, and countless movie-like images are played on the bubble. Let me see where the main body is. So Yi closed his eyes and nodded from time to time. Get rid of the breath just now. But for a while, he opened his eyes and reached out a little. Here, within the multi-universe crack, numerous bubbles are still flowing quickly. In the pupillary reflex of Wanda's gaze, it's as if the stars are flying in front of you. Finally, a grey star flew out. Renders before the crack. Stephen also flew over at this time. Wanda looked at the grey star with doubts. Everything else is bright. Why is this one dark? So Yi stretched out his hand and hooked it. This gloomy universe flew into his palm. Take a closer look. The star is still dilapidated inside. Because his universe is dying? Question mark. Wanda and Stephen were puzzled when they heard it. Why did his universe die? What reason? It's very simple. So Yi grasped with one hand, and grabbed a bubble from the multi-universe as an example. Originally, these two universes are irrelevant and have no relationship. But if someone interferes with the timeline and various developments in other universes, it will lead to the destruction and collapse of the universe. Stephen frowned after hearing this. So if we go to other universes, will the other universes be destroyed? So Yi smiled. Then you take yourself too seriously. 11. Stephen choked. You are too offensive. If you want other universes to be destroyed, it must be a very serious impact, such as the death of important people in the timeline, such as drastic changes and mistakes in major events, etc. The multi-universe timeline has a self-healing function. As long as you don't kill everyone. It's generally not a big problem, strictly speaking. Why did the universe with the Fantastic Four collapse? Because of the darkness Wanda killed the protagonist of that world. The main character is gone. Not to mention the timeline has been repaired. It just collapses for you to see. That's why the universe jumps so fast. That is the dark Wanda killed too much. And if you want to destroy a universe, it's very simple. Just go to another universe and kill all the Avengers alliances. Look at the timeline whether it can jump or not. Here here. Steven nodded in understanding. And so Yi threw the two bomb tilde dot balls into the multiple cracks. Then he clapped his hands and said, let's go, let's go and see what the impending collapse of the universe looks like. To be honest. Su Yi was also quite curious, because he hadn't seen it. Wanda followed Su Yi, and Stephen said to Wang before leaving, Give it to you. Wang nodded, expressing his reassurance. It was affirmed by the king. Stephen followed Su Yi in with confidence. The three entered the multivariate rift, then enter the ontology universe that controlled Dark Stephen just now. But at the moment of entering, Su Yi turned his head and looked at the cracks in the multi-universe, that is, between the barriers of the bubbles of the universe, he saw the bald head of a tall figure staring at him. Observer, Su Yi recognized him immediately. At the last moment of entering the universe, Su Yi gave the observer a meaningful look, then enter the universe with Wanda and Stephen following him. Multi-universe, inside an abandoned castle. An old Stephen opened his eyes on the uppermost floor of the castle. There are candles and various magic props around him. A dark divine book floated in front of his legs. After the possession is over, old Stephen slowly landed on the wooden board from the air, then take a long breath. He opened his slightly cloudy eyes and looked around. On the left is his castle, on the right is the universe about to be swallowed by the multiverse merger. In a bright starlight, his castle will be completely destroyed in a few years. And he was just playing the last carnival. Instead of dying here depressed, it would be better to go crazy at the end. The experience of his early years made him very painful whenever he recalled it, and after practicing the Dark God book, his negative psychology has also been enhanced. So let him embark on such a crazy path. He is old. What if we change the universe? Everything that has been experienced has been experienced. Could it be that if you are lovelorn, if you change to another city, it will become like you have never been lovelorn? How can I pretend I haven't met her before? Can you act like nothing happened? Is it possible? So for him, there is no point in changing the universe. He can only go out to have a good time. But I didn't expect to encounter a stubble when I went out. This can only count as his bad luck. Well, the elderly Stephen sighed and walked down the stairs from the top floor with his arms. Pat Pat Tilda. 
he stepped on the plank with one foot, his eyes looked at his feet, his movements were slow, and he seemed to be really old, but keep going. Old Stephen's footsteps suddenly stopped. He looked up. What I saw was Suyi enjoying the beautiful scenery on the edge of the broken universe. There were also Wanda and Stephen who stood aside and looked at themselves silently. See this. Old Stephen pursed his lips, then continued to go downstairs slowly. Pat Tilda, step on the plank with the last step. Old Stephen came down the stairs. Then, as if ignoring Wanda and Stephen, he walked to the side of the bookshelf and fumbled for something. Stephen looked at his future old appearance and said, is there anything else you want to say? Old Stephen shook his head. He fumbled around the bookshelf blindly, while groping, he said. The regrets of being young can never be made up for when you are old. Experience is experience, even if you change the universe, you can't forget it. Stephen watched the old Stephen's groping. It seems you regret it. Old Stephen nodded in recognition. He groped for a long time. At last he found what he was looking for. Is a raised book. He put his hand on the corner of the book and pulled it. Cack. Accompanied by the sound of the mechanism, a dark cabinet was opened from the seemingly complete bookshelf. Stephen watched him closely, just in case he messes up something. But soon he realized something was wrong, because the old Stephen took out letters, photos, and notes from it. He took it out tremblingly. Then he closed the secret door with a click. Stephen understood a little bit when he saw this. It seems that you don't plan to put it back. Old Stephen sighed. Bad memories should be forgotten. I'm gone. It has to go too. It means today his life ends here. He doesn't intend to live anymore. Stephen roughly understood his thoughts. Immediately afterwards, old Stephen walked towards the wooden table behind Su Yi. Su Yi also turned around at this time and praised bright and beautiful threat. The elderly Stephen smiled helplessly when he heard it. I've watched it for many, many years, and I've long since gotten tired of it. This is normal. You said the starry sky is beautiful, but let you keep looking at the starry sky, staring at it for a day, a few days, or even a few years. You just feel empty, alone, and cold. Next, old Stephen put what he had brought out on the table, then look at the photos and text above. Memories flashed in his eyes. Dot regret really regret. Why couldn't I be brave in the first place? Stephen walked to the table and looked. The photo is all about Christine. Kristen in the doctor costume. There are regular dresses, gowns, skirts, and wedding dresses. But obviously this wedding dress was not for this elderly Stephen. Stephen saw this and pursed his lips. The Christine of this universe is married. His words stunned old Stephen. The elderly Stephen raised his head sharply after hearing this. Then he looked at Stephen and asked. The timeline has developed to this point and Christine in your universe is still not married? Without. Stephen shook his head. She was still working in the hospital, and then you arrested her. Should wake up now and recover in Kamartage. Here here. Old Stephen gradually clenched his fists. He looked at Stephen, said almost word for word. Remember, don't let her down. Stephen was taken aback. But nothing happened to us. I was the one who approached him and suggested that they were busy with each other and it wasn't suitable. Question mark. Old Stephen was silly. Damn you. I can't get what I lose. Don't you want it? What are you thinking? And this Christine is not married yet. What are you still doing? Are you sobby? In a fit of anger, the elderly Stephen grabbed Stephen's neckline, and the distance between the two of them was less than 10 centimeters, said Wolf Wolf. Now, immediately, immediately, as soon as you leave, ask Christine to marry me? Question mark. Stephen was puzzled. But we? But, why? Because your decisions now will make you regret them in the future. Old Stephen pushed Stephen away from Lee then open all the envelopes on the table for Stephen to see. Do you think the entire multi-universe has such a good chance like you? Let me tell you, I have seen Stephen from other universes a long time ago. Out of 100 Stevens, at least 99 have regrets, and that's the only one that has no regrets. It's you now. Old Stephen finished speaking. Both fell silent, after half a sound. Old Stephen said in a downcast and pleading tone, Don't let all the Stevens end badly. Okay, listen to the tone of this sentence. Stephen also realized, I may be one of the few lucky ones in the multi-universe. If he doesn't cherish it anymore, Stephen in the entire multi-universe has a life with regrets. So Stephen was silent for a while. He silently nodded and agreed. I try to be that only happy ending. This is enough. Old Stephen sighed. On the other hand, Su Yi and Wanda kept seeing the present. It never bothered the two of them. Wait until now when they're done talking. Su Yi shook his head helplessly and said, Love has always been a game for the brave. Why? Some people try what you dare not try, some people dare to do what you dare not do, and some people are not afraid of failure if you are afraid of failure. Those who have ideas but dare not act. Sad. A few words from Su Yi. The old Stephen slowly closed his eyes and began to tremble all over. All his regrets were summed up by Su Yi. Can only say, he was hit with real damage and a critical hit, and maybe a percentage damage of the maximum health points. Dot. 218. Stephen X3, Dormammu, I'm here to negotiate terms. So Yi didn't speak from the beginning to the end. But this opening made old Stephen almost die suddenly here. But Su Yi was right. Things you didn't dare to miss back then. If you don't get it, you don't get it. While Wanda listened from the side, and gave Su Yi a gentle look, 
because Tu Yi's words touched her heart. If she hadn't been brave then, Tu Yi didn't belong to her either. In the early stage, both parties had good feelings, strictly speaking, all take the initiative, and then rush in both directions. This is compared to Stephen. Love doesn't come too wonderfully. Whether women chasing men or men chasing women is not the best process. It's best to go both ways. But rare. Old Stephen was silent for a long time. Maybe it didn't come up in one breath. He waited for a long time before speaking slowly. It's over, and it's useless to regret. Stephen nodded. Regret is called regret because it is irreparable. Old Stephen sighed. Then he pushed the things on the table to Stephen and said, Take a look. I hope it can help you. Finished. The elderly Stephen walked towards the edge of the universe's collapse, and began to appreciate the phantom of a starry sky that had always terrified him before. Stephen looked at him. He looked at the envelope on the table again. He knew that when he finished reading these things, it would be the time when the old Stephen took the initiative to shatter with this universe. He picked up the photo above and looked at it, but did not read the letter and text inside the envelope. He looked at each photo one by one, at the same time said silently, Letter. I don't need to read it. The elderly Stephen was shocked and turned to look at Stephen. Because that's your story, not mine. Stephen continued to look at the photo. After flipping through all the photos, he added, I will write my story in my life journal instead of reading other people's stories to choose my own direction. Stephen finished his sentence. The elderly Stephen pursed his lips and fell silent. He thought so at first. I can give Stephen the last 477 help, but did not expect real people should live out their own lives, rather than the old Stephen saying what his parents said. What do I let you learn? What path do I let you take? What work do I let you do? And so on. That doesn't make sense. That is being dominated. So after silence, old Stephen suddenly smiled cheerfully. It seems that the result is better this way, so I just want to remind you, don't miss it again. I see. Stephen nodded, and old Stephen had one in each hand. Next moment, a black red book appeared in his hand. The Book of Darkness. Stephen recognized it immediately, and old Stephen took out this book not for Stephen to read. He looked at Wanda and said, I will disappear with this book, and you seem to have the ability to be immune to the side effects of this book. Wanda didn't speak, she acquiesced. Old Stephen didn't plan to say anything more. He just said one thing, if you still encounter users of the Dark God book, please don't let them go. Attention, is not to let them go. It seems that old Stephen also understands. None of the endings of using the Dark God book is a good thing. So his request. Wanda replied definitely. They won't end up better than you, too. The three of them tore through the space rift and came over without beating you up. It's good enough to let you die well. Otherwise Wanda comes up with an energy blast. Whether the castle can survive is another question. In the world just now, by I. Wanda's giant energy hand crushes people into nothingness. That's looking at now. It's a lot more gentle. Time to now. Old Stephen knew he had to go too. He looked at the universe with cloudy eyes. Prepare yourself to fly in. It's like moths to a flame. But the next moment, puff, puff Tilda, accompanied by two falling sounds, they appeared outside the castle. Everyone looked. It is a man and a woman. A guy, a girl. One is exactly the same as Stephen, and the other is America. What? Stephen was stunned when he saw another Stephen. Why another one? The old Stephen sighed after seeing it. I've had a better day than I've had in decades. And below the castle. After young Stephen and America got up, he also looked up at the two Stephens in the castle, as well as Suyi and Wanda. Question mark. This young Stephen was also dumbfounded. Come out with two Stephens at once? How is this going? Stephen and America recognized him immediately after seeing the normal Stephen. She hurriedly said to the young Stephen, The young one is good. The old one is bad. Let's go up and help them. Facing what America said, the robes behind young Stephen danced. He directly used magic to fly America to the second floor of the castle. So the scene became Stephen X3. There are also Suyi, Wanda, and Emilia, a total of five people, especially the three Stevens looked at each other. The normal Stephen, that is, the Stephen who knew Suyi looked at everyone and said, Maybe we can introduce each other. After speaking, he introduced himself first. Stephen Strange, the supreme mage of Kamartage was threatened by this old Stephen, so he found him instead. Old Stephen looked at his two younger selves. He moved his lips, only said a short sentence, an old man with a dead heart, and young Stephen looked at everyone, looked at the normal Stephen again. I'm similar to you, but my problem is that Dormammu has invaded our world. If we don't stop it, the whole earth will be swallowed by the dark dimension. Question mark. Here here, Stephen was puzzled. Your threat or Dormammu? Question mark. Young Stephen was puzzled. You have no Dormammu threat? Yes, Stephen replied. But it has been resolved. Question mark. The young Stephen was puzzled. After the ancient one mage left, how did you solve it? Rely on it. Stephen moved his hands over his chest. Next moment, the eye of Agamotto appeared on his chest. What? You have two. And young Stephen did the same when he saw it. The same eye of Agamotto also appears on his chest. The two looked at the eye of Agamotto on each other's chest, lost in thought. This thing, 
and two more, so are both real, or is one fake and one real? Cough. At this moment, old Stephen coughed, then one with one hand, an empty eye of Agamotto appeared in his hand. Two Stevens, where's the gem inside you? I have been long been lost by the wrong things I did before. So the three of them looked at each other, three people understand, so everyone has it? But why? How can everyone own such a precious thing? Neither young nor old Stephen understood. But normally Stephen looked at Su Yi. The young man saw his eyes. He also looked at Su Yi curiously. What does it mean when a young man looks back at a normal person and uses his eyes to signal? Normal Stephen looked at them. This is my best friend, Su Yi, who is also the godfather of our world's supreme mage. Even ancient one mage honored him as godfather before he left. Question mark. As soon as this statement came out, the Stevens of the two other worlds were dumbfounded, and this character, he looked at each other, they both confirmed that the other party's world was not there, and I have never seen another world, that is, in your world, he is the only one, young Steven suddenly understood, he knows this, because every world has variables, in the past few days, he has also seen characters in other worlds that are different from his own world, and they are very important people, I think so, thinking of this, Stephen suddenly smiled, I have good friends that you don't have, this made Stephen feel lucky and secretly happy, and then again, what about the three eyes of Agamotto, face the eyes of everyone, so Yi explained lightly, do you still need to be confused, the reason why multi-universes are called parallel universes is because 95% of their contents are similar, even the universe can expand infinitely, why not infinite gems? All three are Stephen. They could understand what Su Yi said in an instant. In other words, each universe has a set of infinite gems. There is no need for Su Yi to answer this sentence, because this is the affirmation that Stephen said to himself. So multi-universe is called parallel universe for a reason. Multivariate refers to an umbrella term, means an environment. Parallel universe refers to one of the universes. Every universe can be called a parallel universe. That's what his name means. After young Stephen understood, he looked at everyone. Then how do I solve the dormama crisis in our world? It's urgent because it's coming soon. As long as you go back with me, you will find that there is a huge eye in the sky, like an abyss. Stephen listened. Then you and I encountered exactly the same situation but I encountered it much earlier than you. The young Stephen was even more puzzled when he heard it. Then how did you take out Dormammu with just the eye of Agamotto when Ancient One was around? Ancient One can also overwhelm Dormammu in front of him. But how long did Stephen learn then? Stephen thought for a moment. Perhaps I can help you? Young Stephen has a bit of hesitation. Am I too enough? Don't move the rescuers and move them together to deliver them. That's not good. Face this problem. Young Stephen said. Or do you know the news about the Book of the Dark God and the Book of Emperor Waishan? With any one of them. I should also be able to solve the crisis in my own universe. Stephen, don't talk about the Dark God book. You use it now. Get tomorrow. As for the book of Emperor Waishan, don't even think about it. Can't get it at all. In order to get the book of Waish handy with America. How many Stevens are dead? I saw everyone's eyes. Young Stephen knew there was no other way. Then what should I do? Young Stephen spread his hands. Should I tell Dormammu, I'm here to negotiate terms? Hearing this, the corners of the normal Stephen's mouth twitched. He really used time gem to deduce the possibility of exploring conditions. Dot 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 a. Went there one million and one times, and was seconded one million and one times. It is equivalent to jumping an umbrella one million and one times every minute while playing chicken. In the dark dimension, Stephen is a perfectly weak chicken. Dot. 219. Old Stephen dies. Raunchy jokes from Spider League. For this reason, Stephen thought for a while and could only look at Su Yi. Su Yi from at the moment patted Wanda's head and asked, Have you ever thought about hand addiction? Wanda shook her head. They need to be tested. Blindly asking for help will not make them grow. You are right. Su Yi nodded. Then he waved to Stephen. Stephen came over after seeing it. Hold out your hand. Stephen held out his hand. Su Yi snapped his fingers. A little phoenix flew out of his palm, and flew into Stephen's palm. Then it took a look and went right into the flesh and blood. A fire phoenix tattoo is formed. His Tilda, feeling the burning sensation, Stephen took a breath cool air, and Su Yi finally waved his hand and said, Go ahead, for a week, it'll just give you an energy boost, a boost to your mana, unless you're dying, otherwise it's nothing special. Stephen nodded immediately after hearing it to express his understanding, but he touched the tattoo curiously, surprised that there is such an ability, doesn't this grandpa stay behind to protect his grandson? Ahem, don't say anything else. With it, it is indeed more at ease. After having a phoenix tattoo, Stephen looked at the young Stephen and asked, When are we leaving? The sooner the better. Young Stephen explained, From the destruction of our world, maybe we can persist for a while, maybe it will be the next moment. Then let's go. Stephen waved his hand and greeted America and asked, I went to his world, can you send me back when the time comes? Ah, America hesitated for a moment, it should be. Okay, as long as you can send it, let's go. Young Stephen nodded, ready to lead people away. At this moment, Stephen turned his head and saluted Su Yi. Then I'll go first, Su. When Stephen said this, the cloak behind him also flew out to salute Mr. Su Yi. 
But somehow, young Stephen's cloak also flew down to salute gentleman Su Yi. Young Stephen, you are my mantle. Besides, what does he have to do with you? Is it the first time you two met? After hesitation, young Stephen thought for a while. He also nodded slightly to Su Yi in salute. It can be seen from the attitude of everyone. This godfather has something, and a lot. Pay tribute to the crowd. Su Yi nodded calmly. Go. Only then did the two Stevens turn around and take America away. Su Yi watched as America opened the time and space. Then the three jumped in together. The three of them left at once. Now in the castle, only Su Yi, Wanda, and old Steven remained. Perhaps it was because Su Yi was worried. Old Steven said frankly, I can walk there in front of you. There, it refers to the universe destruction zone, with his mage's small body. He would die if he entered. Those below level godfather, including level godfather, will die if they enter. There will be no surprises. Even Odin would die if he went in. But he's not dead. What does it have to do with Su Yi? Would Su Yi still persuade him not to die? What are you thinking? Su Yi shook his head helplessly. When we're gone, let's leave with dignity. Let yourself decide how to die later. This is already the greatest kindness. Su Yi waved his hand, but he didn't rush to leave, but took Wanda around the castle. Old Stephen didn't say anything either. He went back to the table and picked up his old envelopes and photos, recited and stroked silently over and over again for the last time. It's not that I don't want to die. He really wanted to die. Now it's just a reminiscence of the Marquis when I was young. And Su Yi and Wanda went downstairs. Check out the other floors of this medieval castle. In this ancient castle, the stones are taupe or blue in color. There are still moss growing in some places. Wanda looked at this architectural style and shook her head and said, I don't like it that much, it's kind of dark. So you looked at it, and it looked a bit dilapidated. If no one is there, it also looks a bit gloomy, like now. I don't like this either. Compared with castles, maybe I prefer elements such as large flats, log cabins, warm fireplaces, and open views. This hits off with Wanda's idea. Both like this. That's why the top floor of the northern building has a lot of natural flavors and a lot of floor-to-ceiling windows. That's all. The two walked around the castle for a while. Finally, he walked out slowly from the door. And the outside looks even more gloomy. Gray land without grass. The lone iron smashes the wall. Everything around seemed lonely. If normal people lived here, they would probably live insane. Seeing this, Wanda shook her head and hugged Su Yi's arm and said, Let's go home and see if Gwen doesn't come back tonight. Forehead, Su Yi knew this. She won't be coming back tonight, because in the previous preview, the Spider League will meet Venom and the group of symbiotes. So, cough, tonight is appointed to be Wang Daq. Okay, let's go home. Su Yi stretched out his hand, ready to open the multi-universe barrier. And also at this time, from the corner of their eyes, a figure of Steven slowly flew into the integrated area between the cosmic barriers. Then it was instantly obliterated to nothingness by the barrier of the universe. Old Steven was gone. He didn't wait until Su Yi and Wanda left. But after I finished recalling the Marquis, I left when it was time to leave, and it was wiped out together with the Book of Darkness. It seems that he also knows that this is not a good thing. Immediately afterwards, with the death of old Stephen, the demise of this universe was expanded rapidly. The edge that had eroded half of the castle suddenly began to erode at a speed visible to the naked eye. Su Yi and Wanda admired the beautiful scenery for three seconds. Then Su Yi stretched out his index finger and swiped in the air. Zilla, with a multi-universe crack was opened. The two took one last look at the world. Then we went in together and returned home. But when traveling through the barriers of the universe or between bubbles, this time Su Yi didn't feel that Observer was looking at him. It seemed that the look in his eyes made him a little afraid and cautious. Anyway, he must not dare to look directly at himself anymore. Next moment, the two went straight back to the northern building, the living room of their home. Hala, who was playing the game, saw the two come back. He also waved his hand quickly and said, Hungry. Eleven. Wanda was taken aback when she heard it and then helplessly went up and patted Hala on the head. I can't say welcome back, do I miss you? Think about it. Hala nodded quickly, but also hungry. This look on her face, it's like talking about dad, mom, hungry, and rice. Wanda looked soft-hearted. She reached out and tapped Hala's skull, then go to the kitchen and ask Nora the succubus refrigerator to make dinner. So you went to get a raw tomato, then go to Xior and sit down and play with the phone while eating. At the same time, in the city of New York, three girls in spider battle suits and a spider mesh warrior are discussing on top of a tall building. The four have just finished their daily fight against crime. They were eating chips, milk tea and other snacks on the roof and chatting. Gwen took a sip of the milk tea that Tony launched and said happily, it's really delicious. At the moment four people a bottle of milk tea. Their hoods are automatically cancelled by the nano battle suit. Dot. Ask for flowers. But the battle suit below the neck is all there. Penny took a sip of milk tea, ate two more french fries and praised. In our world, it's a crazy time to work overtime. Oh no, normal working hours. Mdai sat on the edge of the building and waved her hand. In your world, we are afraid when we hear it. Don't talk about it. When the time is right, you can go back and avenge yourself, and stay in our world. When Penny heard this, she began to think seriously. It seems that I have no relatives in my original world. It seems better to have revenge here. At this time, 
Cindy joked after hearing it, our world, implicit, except that Gwen is a native of this world, all three of them are foreigners, now you say us, that is to identify with the world, after Dai was reminded by Cindy, she thought about it, and replied definitely, anyway, I think this world is very good, don't you feel it, when I have the ability, I'll take my parents into this world, it's New York anyway, what about you, Mdai, who has parents, said so, Cindy and Penny were no exceptions, the two women nodded definitely, so it looks like this, every current member of the Spider League likes this world, zero, everyone continued eating snacks and chatting, Medai asked, looking at Gwen dangling with her legs down on the edge of the building, Gwen, aren't you going back tonight, it's past nine o'clock now, Humphrey, Gwen smiled, let that watery wonder suffer for a few days first, and then she will invite me to go back in two days at most, Gwen's words immediately made the three girls blush, Mdai covered her mouth in surprise, Sue, is he so powerful, Gwen for example, don't just look at Sue's gentleness and think that his physical condition is normal, in fact, his physical condition is as fast as lightning, in an instant, Wanda and I caught him at the same time, and then ran back to Yinxia in the blink of an eye, that kind of speed is definitely not the speed that the common body has, I think it is a kind of super ability, the flash, wow Tilda, the eyes of the three women listening widened, running back to the building in an instant, how fast is that, that's definitely not common running, if common running, the ground can't take the pressure, cracked, and when girls talk about nasty jokes, there is actually no end to it, because the content of girls private chats is even more embarrassing than boys, before the boy died, he also said that he would delete the browsing history, but even if a girl dies, she won't show you the chat records between her and her best friend, so Cindy asked restlessly, you said just now that Wanda will invite you back, are you still going to play two against one, Cindy Tilda, and I immediately stepped forward and covered Cindy's mouth after hearing this, then motioned to the side and said, Penny is still young, Cindy looked at Penny, at the moment Penny covered her face with her hands, her face was flushed, and Guajua also looked at everyone through her fingers, I dot 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 I'm fine, you guys continue talking, Gwen waved his hand and said that it was not a big problem, they're all my own people, Penny will experience it sooner or later, it's better to know sooner, actually, it's two against one, it's Su Yi against one against two, and we can't beat it, alas, Cindy, may die, so smart, both women were shocked, this is Superman, can it surpass Deadman Superman, and you, Cindy was restless and obviously wanted to ask something, but the next moment, the hearts of the girls trembled, and there is a feeling of hair standing up, the four girls look to one side at the same time, precisely, it is near a seaside mountain range on the edge of New York, there's a problem there, Gwen made a quick decision, the girls nodded and looked at each other, walk, so the four girls nana headgear instantly covered them, then rush to the building and jump off at the same time, go to a seaside factory together, dot, 220, venom appears, black death sword is your artifact, exclamation mark, in the sea on the edge of the city, a black figure was swimming quickly in the sea, after leaving the city, it jumped ashore again and ran in the woods, with its size and weight of two or three meters, almost every foot on the ground will make a bouncing sound, but run back to run, the swarthy figure was also talking to himself, what's our plan, Venom, plan, Venom didn't understand, there is no plan, just prevent other symbiotes from returning to the parent planet, okay, Eddie Bullock knew that Venom had no brains, but he was a little puzzled, why are you targeting your own kind all of a sudden? didn't you say you were going home, go home, no, I don't want to go home now, Venom ran in the mountains and came to the top of a small mountain, it looked at the lights of the city in the distance, and said the beauty of the moon, in my home planet, I was the weakest and the most likely to be bullied, but here, I feel freedom, I love it here now, I've always been here, okay, Eddie is used to Venom's temperamental change, but why do you want to prevent the same kind from going back, this was the last thing Eddie wanted to understand, why don't you go back, now do you want to keep the same kind from going back, eat alone, what Eddie didn't expect was the result, venom is really similar to 053 is what it means, I said that on my home planet, I am the weakest group, if you let the rioters return to their home planet, they will know that the earth has endless food in a short time, when the time comes, there will be countless symbionts, and I'll go back to the weakest batch, but here, I am the strongest group, simply put, Venom understands what it means to be a chicken head rather than a phoenix tail, anyway, there is plenty of food, then what do you do when you return to your home planet as a dog, so Venom decided, don't let your own kind go back to report the news, one is for their own sake, the second is that it finds that this world is really beautiful, much more beautiful than its parent star, after listening, Eddie also understood this truth, then don't we want to beat the other symbionts down here, no, it's beating to death, Zuo corrected, although Eddie also meant beating to death, beating to the ground is a euphemism, but venom is more accurate, to die is to die, to crawl is to crawl, it's different, okay, it's killing, but have we fought, how many opponents have, ah, uh, now it was venom's turn to be silent, if the riot is still alive, 
we will basically be unable to defeat it. What about the probability? Almost zero inches. After the two consciousnesses were silent for a while, the Venom controlled his body and rushed towards the secret factory beside the mountain. Huge amounts of black shadows shuttle quickly through the night. Only the sound of trampling is left. After a while, Venom came near the rocket launch base. There just so happens to be a small launch vehicle in the ready stages. As long as the launch center is ready on time, this rocket is ready to launch in no time. Eddie took a look. Are they going to rocket back? Venom understands. We're here to make rockets. The two knew about it. But the problem is, what about people who want to make rockets? Drip tilde. Countdown to rocket launch 9 colon 59.9 colon 58.9 colon 57. Cacket tilde. At this time, accompanied by the sound of fighting in the launch base, Venom quickly climbed to a high place and looked inside. Oops. Venom let out a cry of almost despair. What's wrong? Eddie asked. In the vision of two people. There's more than one symbiote slaughtering launch crews at the rocket launch center. Instead, three symbiotes slaughtered together, in order to ensure launch safety, and don't get hungry on the road. So they directly turned into killing and eating all the launch personnel present, so safe and not hungry. All of this was seen by Venom. He explained desperately, not just rioting, but howling. Mania. Eddie got it. You can't beat them, to be precise. I can't beat even one let alone three. That's over. It was said to be close to zero. You can now say that it is infinitely close to zero, or just zero. Inside the launch center of at the moment, the three symbiotes are still holding a carnage feast. They adjusted the rocket launch countdown to ten minutes. So enough time. Kill all these humans. Two minutes is enough. Eddie looked terrified. How about we call the Avengers? What? No. Venom immediately refused after hearing this. They will kill me too. Why? Because I'm a villain and have eaten people. How the hell do you know you're a badass? But Eddie still helped to defend. It's okay. All you eat are bad people. If I help you defend, they won't kill you. Um dot 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 thanks. But no. Venom still immediately refused and responded. And it's too late. There are only nine minutes left. Hear the countdown. Eddie also looked at the screen for the countdown. 8 colon 55 dot 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 8 colon 54. The time is reduced by one minute and one second. And basically all the people in the launch center were killed. At that time. The riot and other symbionts will leave in the spaceship. So what should I do now? Eddie took a bite. If this is true, it is estimated that it is really dead. Venom said it couldn't beat any of them. Not to mention the three now. Beat it to death. Anyway, you can't let the violent lead back to the home planet. There is no way for Venom to squat at a high place. But if there is no way to wait until the end, it will be reckless. At worst, just hit. If you can't beat it, you can beat it. Beat to death. It is the weakest batch of symbiote planets. Yes, but it is definitely not the most cowardly batch, or even just the opposite. Venom knows that he can't fight and will be torn apart, but he will fight to the end. In Eddie's anxious state of mind, he began to constantly open his mind to find a way. Avengers can't, it's too late. Who else is the superhero in the city? The League of Goddesses? Scarlet Witch has retired and married a long time ago, and that's Spider. Wait, the nearest Spider League seems to work too. Venom, how about Spider League? Faced with Eddie's suggestion, Venom thought for a while and nodded. It's not bad. The Spider Alliance fights crimes, but I haven't committed any crimes yet, and they also have mutated abilities, which are similar to yours. They shouldn't hit me. Eddie pretty much thought so too. The people that Venom has killed so far are all bad guys. Why? Because Eddie won't let him eat good people. You can eat people. But only bad people can be eaten. So Venom isn't really a crime yet. But they are usually wandering in the city. I can't find any photos. Will they come now? It's a bit far from the city. The voice is still alive. Suddenly, several figures fell beside Venom, and talking while falling. Okay Natasha Romanoff. Don't worry, we're here. Just kill all these symbiotes. I'll watch here. None of them can escape. Yeah, okay, I know. You can just pretend you don't know. Anyway, that stupid politician can't do anything about me. Okay, okay, that's it. Hang up. Gwen said something. Venom's head is lowered by one point. Wait until Gwen finishes. Venom can't wait to leave immediately. Eddie asked in Venom's body. Why do I feel that you are so scared? They are all girls. You know shit. Venom yelled in his heart. The other girls are fine, but the girl on the phone. I feel the fear of death from her. As if I'd die if I took one more look. Let's go Eddie. Huh? Eddie was taken aback. How did you change so fast? Didn't you say you're going to fight to the end? No, it's different. Venom panicked in his heart. You don't understand this feeling. She is so frightening to me. There is my inherent fear in her body. Then what's inside her? I have no idea. The other side. After the phone call, Gwen put the phone into the battle suit. And this time, the other three daughters were already staring at Venom. Gwen turned around to look at Venom and said curiously. You are a symbiote, Shwa Tilda. Gwen just said a word. The Venom outside Eddie's body was instantly withdrawn into his body. As a result, only Eddie was left shivering on the tower alone. Hey, Venom. She is asking you something. Come out quickly. I don't. Facing Venom's rejection, Eddie explained awkwardly holding the iron pole of the tower. Venom is a bit introverted. Introverted? Gwen waved his hand indifferently and said, It's okay, I've known about symbionts for a long time. 
I just saw them now. My battle suit is different from theirs. It seems to be made by the ancestor of the symbiosis. I still have a sword, but that wasn't made by the ancestors of the total 4.1 organisms. Venom. Everyone knows that Gwen's battle suit is more unique than the other three girls. And the Black Death Sword is known to everyone. The Avengers Alliance also knows. So it's not really a secret. It didn't hurt Gwen to tell anyone. But Venom was too scared to say a fart when he heard it. Can you hear what you're talking about? The battle suit made by the symbiote ancestor? I am a symbiote. Weapons made by symbiotes. I'm still a symbiote. How is this different from telling animals that the clothes I wear are made of you? Venom was so frightened that he didn't dare to say a word. But then, base Tilda. Gwen pulled the Black Death Sword out of her body. Then he gave Venom a look and said, This is it, do you know it? Sue said it was called the Black Death Sword and it was specially used to slaughter gods. After Gwen took out the Black Death Sword, Eddie instantly felt the venom in his body start to tremble. Apparently, he was so frightened that he began to tremble. Eddie immediately shouted inwardly, Hey, people have said so much, you say something. Be more polite. Venom thought for a while. He takes over Eddie's face. Then the face of Venom appeared and said, The sword in your hand is an artifact of our symbiont family. 221. Start the war, Spider League vs Symbiote. To be honest, Venom never thought of that. The artifact of their symbiont clan is actually in the hands of a girl. No wonder it feels fear all the time. You must know that the artifacts of their family are not only for killing gods, but also for killing themselves. Killing crazy let alone a god. Everyone can kill himself. So the Black Death Sword is one of the most feared but most desired artifacts of all symbiotes. Only the strongest and the most determined symbiotes can wield this weapon. After Venom said this, it went back. Eddie asked in surprise, how strong is your clan's artifact, Forehead? Venom really thought about it before saying, if I can use it, the winning percentage just now will be reversed. Just now Venom said that his winning rate is infinitely close to zero. That in turn means, Venom counts as one to three. The winning percentage of the other three has become infinitely close to zero. The artifact is so strong, Eddie was shocked. But you can't use it, dot. It's all said and done. This thing cannot be used by creatures that are not of great will. Otherwise, it's not just killing gods. It kills even its own people, including everyone. Because this weapon was born for killing. This is made by an R, the god of symbiotes, specially made to kill the celestial team of the level single universe. The two weaknesses of the symbiote's fear of flames and high frequency vibration waves are also caused by the creation of this artifact. So it can be said, Black Death Sword and Symbiosis are the characteristics of one twin. The two are almost the same thing. The symbiote can also turn the body into a weapon at any time. And the Black Death Sword is fixed in the shape of a weapon. Its body is a symbiosis. The other side. 18 After hearing that the magic is so powerful, Benny, Cindy, and Mdai all leaned over to Gwen's side to look carefully at the Black Death Sword. All three women could feel the threat of death from this sword. It's not a hostile feeling. But, does it kill everyone? It feels so fierce, Mdai said weakly. Yeah, Penny nodded in agreement. She also felt that this sword was very fierce. It seems to have always exuded the feeling that strangers should not get close. And this is not the first time Cindy has seen this sword. Her first meeting with Gwen. It started with a sword. Since it's an artifact of the symbiote, where did you come from? Gwen? Cindy asked curiously. I don't know. Gwen shook her head, so ye didn't want something, so I gave it to me. Hear this sentence. The three girls were speechless for a moment, and looked at Gwen with dead fish eyes together. Gwen was taken aback. She also knew that her words were a little too much, so he put away the black death sword and said in embarrassment, Ahem, don't worry about so many details. There are many things that Su Yi doesn't want. I will definitely give them to you when I get to know you well. Really? Benny stared. Really dot 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 well. Gwen thought for a while. Like, Su Yi only gave gifts to his women. That is, only Wanda and herself. Even Hala. Su Yi didn't give Hala anything either. You just let Hala think for herself. Apart from the essence, Hala couldn't think of anything Su Yi had given her. Well, but essence is good thing. Too. At least Hala's current divine power has recovered to an exaggerated level. It's just that Hala has been pretending, eating the demographic dividend. Never mind. Do not care. Anyway, let me say this first. Puff Tilda. At this time, there was a sound of shattering glass. Everyone looked. The three symbiotes riot, howl, and mania have jumped out of the rocket launch center. Then run on the track and throw towards the rocket together. Eddie sees this. No. His face suddenly turned into the appearance of Venom and said loudly. Never put them on a rocket. Then are you going? Venom due for a while. Then he gritted his teeth and said fiercely, superior. Then Eddie slammed into Venom, jumped directly on the high tower and jumped towards the three symbiotes, Raw Tilda, and beside. Gwen told the three of them to take it easy, then ordered in their battle suit, increased combat mode. Hear this sentence, Benny, Cindy, and Mdai were all taken aback. Gwen, where's the battle mode? Isn't this a thing? Battle mode has been added. E. The three girls were startled. What's this? Next moment, there is a brand new feeling in the consciousness of the three women. Now they are the daily mode. That is, a normal battle armor, which can spin silk or something. 
But there is another mode, it's combat mode. Gwen explained from the sidelines. So Yi just told me this not long ago, have you forgotten? Su said that he will design separate weapons for you. In fact, this can be realized in the battle suit as early as, but the program needs to be activated! Exclamation mark. Looking at the expressions of the three women, Gwen said with a smile, Okay, let's try it quickly, and then you each choose a symbiote, and get familiar with the combat mode by the way. Benny climbed out of the spider mesh warrior's cabin, and then like everyone else, at the same time, battle mode was activated. Tilda. Next moment, six huge amounts of spider spears emerged from the backs of the three girls. They show their teeth and claws behind them. But on closer inspection, there's something elegant about it. Wow, Ndai was very surprised. She tried to move it, and soon found that the thing was as flexible as a hand. It actually feels exactly like controlling your body. Cindy tried to move too. The handling was found to be extremely lossy. Almost with a thought, the spider spear moved at the same time. Almost no lag. This is so cool. Penny turned sideways, turned her head, pouted her little butt and looked at the spider spear behind her. A stunned expression also appeared on the screen of Spider Mesh Warrior. Spider Mecha? Zero. After Gwen saw it, she stepped forward and patted twice and said, Hurry up, choose by yourself, Benny, don't go on your own, drive the mecha and help Venom first, I have to see your strength, don't fight alone, huh? Penny jumped away clutching her butt, okay, I see. Gwen wanted to see her combat effectiveness. The fighting power of the symbiote is still very fierce, otherwise, you will be injured if you act rashly. That's the most troublesome. Let's go, walk. Gwen held out her hand. Everyone gave a high five, then get into action. In the air. Cindy said maniacally. I choose that. And I looked at it. Symbionts all look alike. So pointing to Howl said. Then I will choose that. As for Penny. She has no choice. She has to help Venom four units fight two units. You see. Spider Mesh Warrior plus Benny. Venom plus Eddie. And over there is Riot plus Norman Osborn. So it's four against two. Well. Both. The other side. With the loud roar of Venom before the station. Riots. Howls. And Mania all looked at Venom. Eddie yelled in his heart. Why are you yelling? Isn't sneaking bad? Sneak attack? Venom sneered. Venom never sneak attack. Face Venom's voice for justice. Norman Osborn asked inside Riot. Who is it among you? Rubbish. Riot ignored it. Because in its eyes, what kind of garbage is Venom? They are the weakest of the symbionts that came to Earth. What threat is that waste? Instead, it looked at the four figures on the platform behind Venom. Instead, it felt a little threatened from there. Who are they? Questions about Riot's. Norman Osborn said harshly. They're the League of Spiders. Half of our previous plans were destroyed by them. Especially the one with the pink battle suit. Riot nodded when he heard it. There are eight thirty seconds left. I will tear them apart. The words are not finished yet. Three pairs of spider spears suddenly protruded from behind the three women on the platform. Then the four of them chatted. Two of them suddenly jumped towards themselves. There's one more to follow. The last one followed slowly, but she was the one Norman Osborn hated the most. And the speed of the two leaders actually surpassed Venom directly, and whizzed past the Venom. Finally flew straight for the howling and frantic behind the riot. The howling and frenzy of at the moment are still running with the riot. And Mdai and Cindy immediately kicked the two symbiotes away and then rushed to beat them violently. Riot just wanted to shout. Next moment, in front of him 433 flew another shout. Bang tilde. Venom knocked Riot into the air. Then the two scuffled on the offshore platform. Boom, boom. The two of them didn't talk nonsense from throwing themselves down to punching you and punching me. Until after punching each other a few times, Venom was kicked away by Riot. Only then did the Riot roar. Venom, you traitor. You help other races to harm the symbiote. Venom got up from the ground. Hey Tilda, I'm in love with this world now. Then I can't let you go back and expose this place. After talking about the Venom, he rushed forward and prepared to continue fighting. But there are almost no weapon genes in Venom's body. It just jumped on it. Riot's hand turned into a giant sharp blade and stabbed towards the Venom. Not good. PSST. Venom just reacted. But the body has been pierced by the Riots. Riot said. While holding the Venom struggling on his giant blade. A waste is a waste. Even if you are here, you may not be the strongest. Since you betrayed the symbiosis. Then. PSST tilde. The Riots didn't end there. It was hit hard on the back. Throwing the venom out, Riot took several steps forward. Roar Tilda. It turned around with a roar and swung its blade. Clang Tilda. But the giant blade just hit the ground. Not far away, a red spider mesh has jumped away. The mesh's hand spin two turntables that looked like chainsaws. Through the cockpit of the mecha, sitting inside was a little girl wearing a battle suit. At the moment, the spider spear on the little girl's back is constantly tapping the mesh button. Benny said excitedly in the mecha. With the spider spear, my operation speed is at least two times faster. Come on. Little Spider-Man, let's kill it. Zzzzy Tilda, with Benny's control, Spider Mesh Warrior's chainsaw turntable began to speed up, and a strong arc and special pulsed light waves are emitted on the cut ahead. This is clearly a technological weapon of 3,145, and the little Spider-Man's expression is also displayed on the screen of the Spider-Mecha battle suit. NX 222.
Gwen makes a move, the rocket explodes. Symbiote dead. Confront Penny's spider mesh warrior. Riot let out a roar, opened his hands, turned into two hammers, and then squatted down slightly, ready to jump up and hit Penny. Raw tilde. But the next moment, a black shadow rushed over from behind it. Venom jumped directly behind Riot, then strangled Riot's neck with one hand, and violently beat Riot with the other. Raw tilde. Riot roared. It can only change the arm back, then turn around and grab Venom and fight it. But Riot's physical strength is much higher than Venom's, and they just hit a lot of people. The energy of the body is absolutely sufficient, so no matter when, Venom alone can't beat the Riot. But, Benny is still there. Look at the timing of the two beatings. Benny controlled the Mecha and fiercely stepped forward to Starburst Airflow Slash. Direct Chainsaw 2 Knife Flow. PSSD Tilda. PSSD Tilda. PSSD Tilda. The sound of constantly chopping meat resounded on Riot's body, accompanied by its screams. PSST. One of Riot's arms was cut off by the Spider Mecha. Raw Tilda. Ah. For a while, both the Riot and the Norman Osborn inside it screamed in pain at the same time. Venom took the opportunity to grab the wound on Riot its severed arm and tore it forcefully. Zilatilda, ah, accompanied by a gel-like splitting of flesh and blood. Venom tore half of Riot's body in one breath, so Norman Osborn's shoulders and half of his face are exposed. He looked at Venom fiercely and roared, no one can stop my plans, nobody. Speaking of which, the other arm of the Riot turned into a sharp blade, PSST. Then it pierced Venom's body from the side. And me, symbiote. Next moment, with Penny's voice ringing around Riot. Riot stared. It immediately shakes off the venom and strikes back fiercely, but it turned around. What ushered in was two spears. PSST. PSST. For a moment, Riot's body was pierced with two holes. You. The Riot was unexpected. It seems that Penny, who is so small, can change her style of play flexibly, although one trick is eaten all over the world. But while it is fresh, there are many ways to eat it, and Penny just changed the way of eating. Hey, Penny blinked mischievously. Anything else? Next moment, PSST. Many thorns sprouted from the barrel of the gun, then quickly began to spin up. Raw tilde. The riot was terrified. It jumped away violently, even if part of the liquid was taken away from the main body. Although this will lead to a decline in strength. It will be over if he is stabbed by that meat gun. On the platform, Gwen pointed the phone at the battlefield with one hand, pointing at several people with one hand. At the same time, he was still talking constantly. Sue, look, Penny's operation is so smooth, and the spider mesh is much more flexible now. There are also Cindy and Mdai. She almost fights against the two symbiotes. The 1v1 symbiote is not their opponent after the upgrade. Turn out to be. Gwen held the phone and made a video call with Sue Yi. The content of the lens is the center of the battlefield, under the gaze of Su Yi and Wanda. The process of the riot being beaten up by Venom and Penny just now was also watched by the two. At the same time there is another side. Both Cindy and Mead can catch the other two symbiotes and fight them. Definitely will not be crushed. But in general, it's okay to do well. All good Tilda. Su Yi looked at it and nodded in satisfaction. None of this wastes the performance of the nano battle suit. The female Spider-Man is careful, and has a higher tacit understanding when controlling the nano battle suit. The efficiency of use is also better. It's all good. Ha ha Gwen laughed happily. The combat power of the Spider Alliance is soaring now, and we will be even stronger. Gwen was cheerful. But after two seconds, there was still no response from the other side. Question mark. Gwen wondered. She turned her phone to look at it. It turns out that Wanda on the opposite side is actively hugging Su Yi and kissing her passionately. Wanda, you die for me. Gwen nearly gritted her teeth. Just now I was talking about business. What are you doing? Opposite video. Wanda let go of Su Yi. Then he took out another mobile phone and showed Gwen the time. Gwen, look at what time it is. If you don't work, I still have to work. This life is not that life. But the amount of activity is not bad at all. After hearing this, Gwen pursed her lips to the sky. She didn't say a word. Open the com channel command channel inside the nano battle suit. Hurry up, sisters. Then there were replies from Cindy and Dai in the channel. What's wrong? In short, finish the fight early and end early. I will come to the end later. Finished. Gwen looked at Wanda across the video. Give the other side a look that you are waiting for. Then he blinked at Su Yi again. Finally hung up the phone. After putting away the phone, Gwen stood on the platform and waited for the last few minutes before the rocket launches. This thing can be over. The other side. Riot looked at the rocket that was warming up. At the moment, there is only 4.30 seconds left in the final countdown to the rocket launch, and the Riot has been beaten badly by Venom plus Benny. Mainly Venom anti-damage interference. Benny output like crazy. Can't fight. Can't fight. If not, go up and go home first. Riot took the opportunity to look at the rocket. I looked at the howling and mania on another battlefield. As a result, 
Look at it, it turned out to be bad. Both of these symbiotes are about to die, at the moment on howling and frantic surfaces. Some of the hosts in their bodies have exposed part of them. This means that the body tissue of the symbiote is not enough, or the energy of physical energy is exhausted. What? But the point is, how powerful are those two girls? Can two mutated girls grab two symbiotes and beat them violently? Number. Riot was immediately aware. This fight is unbeatable. He has to pester and run away quickly. Immediately afterwards, Riot is fighting with Venom plus Benny. While running towards the rocket, time flies. From the beginning to the rocket launch, it was only timed for 10 minutes. Now there are 4 points left, followed by 3 points. Then it's 2 points. When sees now, she put the mobile phone that was recording on the platform. Then shoot the whole scene with a super wide angle field of view. Immediately afterwards, she said in the channel, the rocket is about to launch. If you can solve it yourself. I will end it. Both Cindy and Mdi replied at the same time. I can solve it here. That left only Penny. When looked at Penny, Penny quickly replied. This guy has been dodging since the beginning, and now he's heading for the rocket. Rocket? Can't beat it and slip. When watched try it from a distance, as expected. It ran while fighting with the two of them. While running towards the position of the rocket. But, what's the use? Are rockets indestructible? Time came to the last minute. Both Cindy and Mdi are reporting on the channel at this moment. Captain Gwen, complete the mission. Captain Gwen. It's done. Gwen looked over. Both Howling and the Mania had turned into limp liquid and fell to the ground, and the people inside them. It was also eaten by the symbiont in need of energy, leaving its internal organs empty. As for the riots, after the last minute countdown starts, it quickly ran towards the rocket. Then he started to climb on the rocket with two feet and two sounds. Back to the home planet. Just return to the home planet. The symbiont planet knows it's all food. At that time, a large number of symbiotes will come to slaughter. Venom jumped up quickly. Want to stop the riot from returning to the home planet. But after the riot saw the venom jumping, its back has strong long thorns. PSST. As soon as the venom pounced on it, it was tied into a hornet's nest. Then the long thorn was retracted. Venom fell down. Hateful. Penny shook her teeth. Why can't it be killed? Cindy and Di were also puzzled after hearing this. The two of us are easy to deal with. After cutting off a few limbs, they can no longer coexist but I can't beat this to death. Yes, Penny found out too. Riots are harder to kill than Cindy and Meads. Why is that? Penny is ready to control the spider mesh warrior to continue. But Gwen said in the channel, Okay, Penny, you've done a good job. Riot is the strongest of the three symbiotes, so I let you fight the riot with Venom. You and Venom come back, put the riot on the rocket, and be the fuse for a firework. Gwen said so. Only then did the three women realize that this was the case. So the riot is the strongest? Broken and early. If I knew it earlier. I would wait and find the rioters directly. Then, Benny stood in the distance and waved at Venom. That guy, come back. Our captain said, it can't go. Question mark. Venom was taken aback. It just wanted to say number. As a result, Eddie said inwardly, trust M, Venom. Why? Venom didn't understand. I believe this thing is too extravagant. If you believe it, what should you do if you really let the riot go back? And at this time, after Penny said it, she has already gone to find Cindy and die regardless of the venom. Eddie explained immediately after seeing it. Think about it with your brain. If this is fake, the riots will only bring more troubles. Will the Spider Alliance and Avengers have to deal with it then? Then why are they lying to us? Venom thought for a while. It really is. People have no reason to lie to themselves. Riot left. Wang Zhao's. Venom looked at the howling and frenzied corpse in the distance, that is after a pool of black's liquid. Then there's no reason for that. But watching the tragic death of the same kind, Venom couldn't help shrinking his head. The most powerful one didn't even make a move. If the black death sword is used, they will die faster. Venom thought for a moment. It also started to run back after the three women. Venom also reminded on the way to run. I'm out of my mind, question mark. Eddie didn't know what it was talking about at first. Only later did I understand. Venom is a rebuttal to Eddie's use of his brains. Boom tilde. At this time, Behind Venom came the sound of a rocket firing. Suddenly a strong light appeared, and accompanied by huge amounts of sound and surging airflow, Riot roared excitedly from the rocket's cockpit looking at the ground. Wait for the symbiote army. At the moment the rocket has already lifted off several hundred meters. But the next moment, a death threat suddenly arose in the heart of Riot. Not just it. And the Venom on the ground suddenly lay on the ground and shivered. What's wrong with you? Eddie asked anxiously. SHH tilde. In an instant, a light and shadows scattered with black light flashed across the sky hundreds of meters above the Venom in an instant. Then it came back in less than 0.5 seconds. Wait until Venom looks up and drives away again. No. With the shock of the Riot and the roar of unwillingness, he died. Boom tilde. The rocket exploded. 223. Go home and play Wonder after work. Nano spider battle suit value. In Venom's astonished expression, the rocket turned into a gorgeous firework, blasting into the sky to become the most beautiful night scene tonight. 
but compared to the Spider Alliance that has withdrawn to the original platform, Venom was too close to where the rocket exploded, only less than a kilometer away, it's just a few hundred meters away, this distance is very dangerous for the rocket to explode, so after the bang, with violent shockwave, Venom made a swoop, with a plop, he jumped into the sea, wait until after shockwave is over, the Venom came out of the water, Eddie, hearing Venom calling himself, Eddie asked inwardly, what's up, Earth's warriors are so powerful, I think it might be safer to go home, is your name Venom, no, no, just call me Xiodu. After this battle, Venom also realized that even if he stayed here, it doesn't seem to be a chicken head, or so to speak, in a hole, although Liquid is outstanding, but in the top combat power, Venom really doesn't deserve the title. This is the severely polarized combat power system on Earth, very strong. The weak ones are like that. On the platform, Spider League is in a position further from the explosion, although it's not too far away. It's fine if it's blown by the wind. At the moment the four girls looked at the sky. The gorgeous fireworks filled the sky. Very nice. The shining stars are reflected in the pupils of the four girls. Looks bling blings. It's so beautiful. Mdai picked up her phone and recorded it. Penny looked at the firework on side. At least tens of millions of meters of gold firework. This time it's really worth it. Tens of millions of dollars. Cindy has never had a concept of money. What kind of concept is it? Mdai thought for a while. Perhaps it is possible for people with double digit wealth to retire freely. Tens of millions. Me Jin. This amount of money is already a bonanza for a person. Even if it allows dozens of people to have wealth and freedom, it is still a very luxurious wealth freedom. Cindy sighed after hearing this. But Gwen asked with a smile on the sidelines. Then do you know how much the nano battle suit on your body is worth if you sell it? The three women looked at each other. I really don't know. This thing has a price but no market. As for the price. I really don't know. And Gwen is no nonsense. She pointed to firework where everyone was watching. If you take it out and sell it, it will cost about the same as it. Are? I rely on. His Tilda. Gwen said. The three girls were shocked immediately. They lowered their heads, looked at their hands, and touched their faces. They all made surprised sounds at the same time. There was also a big firework just now. Now I know that what I wear is actually the same price. This is too scary. Gwen added looking at the surprised looks of the three women. Definitely. The cost is not that much. The money is nothing to us. The cost price of your clothes is not even a fraction of the dividends from the milk tea shop that Sue and Tony collaborated on. Hear Gwen say this. The three women breathed a sigh of relief again. The pressure just now was too great. Tens of millions of meters of gold are worn on the body, and the feeling of being a battle suit is lost in an instant. Rather, it is a luxury. At this time, fireworks dispersed. There is no burning material in the sky. There is only sporadic oil on the sea surface and burning objects are blazing. The four women took a look and were ready to leave. But the sea began to sparkle. Then Venom jumped out from the sea and thanked the four girls. How is the human being thanked? Flash oil v Ruimachi? A word from Venom. It won't work for them. Eddie was instantly embarrassed to death. He just wanted to explain. Gwen waved his hand and said, Wait a minute. I'll make a call and ask you how to deal with it. After speaking, Gwen took out her phone and called Natasha Romanoff. But Venom froze. Deal with, is this really a good word? Venom immediately asked in Eddie's heart. Are they going to kill me? A dot 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 probably not. Eddie thought for a while, if you want to kill you, you would have killed it long ago. Listen to what is said on the phone. All right. After Gwen called Natasha Romanoff, there was a sound of surprise from the opposite side. It's done. Gwen. Yes. Gwen nodded. You can report it, and then send an agent. Now there is only one symbiote left. Count. Gwen looked at Venom, looking up and down. It's okay but it needs standardized management. Hear this sentence. Natasha Romanoff on the opposite side breathed a sigh of relief. No problem. These things can be handed over to the Avengers. Thank you for your hard work. It's okay, Natasha Romanoff. Gwen waved his hand indifferently. We are also here to practice, just as your reward for Cindy's enrollment. Hearing this, Natasha Romanoff said with a smile. That's our luck. If it comes to the top according to the file size of the matter. So Natasha Romanoff helped Cindy enroll. It's nothing compared to how the League of Spiders dealt with the Symbiote and the Osborne Corporation. What is admissions? It's also a matter of Natasha Romanoff's one sentence. Definitely. Everyone doesn't care about the exchange of interests and favors. Happy. Or at no cost. Hang up the phone. Gwen put away the phone, looked at the honest of Venom aside and said. You wait here for a while. The Avengers agent and superhero will come to you later. Don't worry. They won't try to kill you, but will give you an identity so that you have better goals and more rewards. Kaj, listen to Venom. Can it eat people? Immediately, the four women looked at Venom. He shrank his head from seeing the Venom. But Gwen thought for a while, you can eat the big villain who can be sentenced to death. But you can't be found, and you can't be photographed by the camera phone. Hearing can eat bad guys, as long as they don't get photographed. Venom immediately nods his head like pounding garlic, and stuck out his disgusting long tongue. Gwen frowned. She waved to the other three daughters and said, let's go go home. Then Gwen shot Cobweb away. The other Spider-Man followed immediately. Let's go Tilda. Sleep well tonight. Don't forget you have to go to school tomorrow. After a while, 
The four returned to the North Mansion. The three girls, except Gwen, all walked towards the living area on the third to last floor. But after discovering that Gwen hadn't left, they turned around and tilted their heads. What's wrong with you, Gwen? Well, what about this? Gwen nodded her finger. I may have to go back to live tonight. Cough cough. I thought it was nothing to talk nonsense before. But let's say it now. Gwen suddenly felt very shy. Oh, I get it. Mdai suddenly realized when she heard it. No wonder you said to solve the battle before. Penny covered her face when she heard that. Penny doesn't know. Penny doesn't know anything. And when Cindy thought about what Gwen was going to do when she went back, her face and the tips of her ears turned red. She is the most reactive type among all the spiders. One thought here. Her whole body tensed up, and she couldn't relax at all. Cindy's mouth opened and opened. Only one word came out at the end. So, are you coming back to live, Gwen? DM, huh? I'll definitely be back, Gwen promised, but I can't come back tonight. I want to make Wanda look good. Don't worry, we usually live together. Sue's house is very big, it's okay to have one more and one less from time to time. Hear Gwen say this, Mdai suddenly said with a sour push, go quickly, don't show off in front of us, be careful that we will also go to your Sue. Ha ha Gwen disagreed, then I'm leaving. Saying that, Gwen ran up, wait until Gwen is gone. Cindy looked at Mdai and said, you shouldn't have said that last sentence. Yeah, Penny nodded, be careful that Gwen beats you. Mdai spread her hands, even if we want to, people have to be willing. Besides, Mdai patted Cindy's thigh, take it easy. Little girl, Mdayu, Cindy pounced on Medai. Both of them don't want to suffer from each other. Penny's look on the sidelines was wonderful. The other side, Gwen quietly opened the door and entered the living room. She found that the twin dancers were waiting by the sofa to watch the information. The dancer noticed Gwen looking over and stepped forward. Have, shh tilde. Gwen immediately silenced. Ling also muted after speaking the first word. Then Gwen asked quietly, where are Wanda and Sue? Although Gwen knew that the two were at home. They might be in the small universe or the bedroom. So if you want to make a surprise attack, you'd better confirm first. Otherwise, it will be empty and everything will be revealed. Ling answered in a low voice. Inside, be brief and be careful. Gwen nodded. She just needs to make sure that it is still a room in the small universe. So she tiptoed towards the bedroom. Rely on using the features of the battle suit. In addition, Spider-Man is inherently quiet in action. So Wanda had no idea the door opened and Gwen came in. She can not only open the door quietly but also come behind Shi Yi without anyone noticing. Su Yi had already seen her, and Gwen had already blinked at Su Yi to confirm the signal. Su Yi behaved freely. It wasn't until Gwen was behind Wanda that she began to fight. Wanda, stand trial. 224. Curious number 2 Stephen. Wanda on trial. Next morning, when the sun shines through the curtains, Su Yi and Gwen woke up at the same time. The two slept in a mess, because when you sleep, you are unconscious, so there will not be a situation where they are pasted together every day. Strictly speaking, people who sleep dishonestly will have any posture. Even an awakening comes and finds myself falling asleep. After waking up, Gwen closed her eyes, and immediately looked for Su Yi with her hands. After touching Su Yi, she immediately leaned over to post it. She rubbed her face against Su Yi's tough body, rubbing Su Yi's chin with the top of his head. There was also a snorting sound like a piglet coming out of his nose. Su Yi opened his eyes and smiled. Are you spider ham? Although the pronunciation is the same, it is still very clear in English. And Gwen nodded after listening. Yes, come on, little spider ham. For a while, Su Yi suddenly thought of pigmen again, and super lollipops. The two hugged each other for a while. Wait until sleepiness dissipates. Su Yi turned his head to look. Wanda was lying there sleeping and watching. She was the worst one last night. Gwen retaliated the whole time. One's own body has no freedom of its own. It was totally Gwen locking her, holding her, holding her, etc. Old miserable. Sometimes the calf and toes are like cramp. Gwen looked up at her. He lowered his head and rubbed against Su Yi and said, This is the pig. Su Yi couldn't laugh or cry when he heard this. That's not what you're targeting. Gwen pouted. Tell her to be mean on purpose. After a while, Su Yi and Gwen got up. One of the two has to work, and the son does not go to school. Gwen also has class this morning, so get up early. The two of them changed their clothes and went to the bathroom to wash up. Su Yi asked while ordering breakfast, Are you eating at home? Not today. Gwen was already wearing small leather shoes at the door and said, Let me eat outside with them. They are Maydai, Cindy, and Penny. If Gwen at it alone, how embarrassing for the three of them. Go. Su Yi nodded, then only prepare his own. Anyway, nothing happened today. Definitely another bad day. Gwen put on her little shoes, went downstairs, past the second to last floor and then came to the third to last floor, but she just went down, I found three girls standing at the gate of the living area on the third floor, Cindy leaned against the wall with her arms folded, Mdai looked at Gwen gossipingly with a smile on her face, Penny lowered her head and dared not speak, Gwen looked at the three of them in confusion, what happened to you guys, cough Mdai coughed twice, she walked up to Gwen, put her arms around Gwen and asked, how is the record, question mark, Gwen was confused by the adjective, but he also reacted immediately, Mdai, who did you learn from? Did you peek at Xiodian at night? Everyone's an adult now, 
Gwen Ndai looked at Gwen and said, But you are definitely different, it feels like you look radiant today. That Penny said weakly, I'm not yet of age. Shut up Penny and listen honestly. Okay, Gwen took out her phone and looked at herself. Does it really have a radiant effect? She looked at Cindy. Have it? Yes, Cindy nodded, waiting for everyone's answer. Gwen put away her phone and raised her hand. But you seem to have forgotten that I am the strongest and the captain of the Spider League, and you actually made fun of me find it. Cindy and Penny stared. After hearing this sentence, the two ran away. Ndai also wanted to run. But she is the skinniest, right beside Gwen. So, her ass was the first to go bad. And Cindy and Penny in the back would be much better. Cindy was also slapped. Only Penny was okay. Gwen patted back slightly. Invite everyone to eat ice cream and drink milk tea. Then we went to school together. Wait until school. Gwen took out her phone and looked at it. The video she recorded last night went viral. Especially rocket firework. It can be said that it is the most recent perspective of the whole network. And the comment section is well received. That is, the debut of the Spider League, and it is done. See you here. Gwen nodded, and said to the three girls beside her, I'll give Natasha Romanoff a call, and you can create a personal account. I'll add ads adding in the comment area, and you can just remember to follow each other. Hear this sentence. Cindy is okay. She has a cold personality to the outside world. But Ndai and Penny were very happy. Both of them belong to those who like to be lively. Really? Meda hugged Gwen's arm. Penny also hurriedly asked. Is it a personally authenticated account? Yes. Gwen nodded. That's great. Let's create now. After a while, all three women created personal accounts. Gwen also told Natasha Romanoff about the three accounts. Then a few minutes later, the accounts of the three became superhero personal accounts. But the first problem also arises. What's everyone's name? That is nickname. Gwen's called Miss Spider, or Ghost Spider. What about other people? What do you want to be called? Gwen asked. Cindy, may die and Penny all thought about it. But Cindy has no hesitation. She already has a title. Then my name is Cobweb. And I thought about it. Then my name is Spider Woman. Then I, I. The most troublesome thing here is Penny. She wants to think about it now. But Penny said immediately after thinking about her ability. Then I'll be Spider Mesh Warrior. Or to put it short, a Spider Mecha would do too. A. Gwen thought for a while. That's fine. Let's pay attention to each other. I'm at. After finishing speaking. Gwen intersected the three of them, and posted them in the comments section. And among the three women who were operating, Ndai suddenly asked curiously, Gwen, why did you pay attention to an initial code? Where, let me see. The three women took a look. It's really the initial number. Gwen smiled, clicked to see. When Gwen said this, the three women have already opened Su Yi's account. The avatar is the initial TikTok avatar. The background is the initial TikTok's background. The name is also the initial TikTok name. The profile is, wait. Ndai's eyes widened suddenly. This introduction. Wow Tilda. This. At the moment, all three women saw it. In Su Yi's initial account, only the profile was changed. Husband of Goddess Alliance. These simple words showed the faces of the three women. Cindy, May Dai, and Penny each raised their heads to express that they couldn't take it anymore. They really didn't expect it. Su Yi actually wrote it directly on the public account. And there are still many fans of League of Goddesses in the entertainment industry. Which female celebrity said that there is no one who does not lose fans after having a husband. Especially the husband of the League of Goddesses. Zero looking for flowers. Alliance. Can't this be a big powder? The result is number. On the contrary, Su Yi became even more mysterious. Now there are many people who want to know who he is. The most mysterious person on YouTube ranks first who is the husband of the Goddess League. The second is the truth of the major families or the mysterious time and so on. After half a sound, Benny asked suspiciously. You have been exposed like this. Have you encountered resistance and difficulties before? That's right. Dai also asked gossipingly, will someone protest in public? Cindy was equally curious. But after Gwen listened, she shook her head in denial. No, even if there were, probably too few, there are some who are envious of Sue. But it doesn't matter, I mainly fight crimes in the city. Whether fans like it or not has nothing to do with me and Su Yi. If there is opposition on the internet, I will quit the internet and don't want fans. It doesn't matter, Cindy, Maydi, Benny. Gwen said so. Only then did the three girls react. Celebrities live off their fans. But superhero is not. This is not the black-robed picket team. Under Gwen's hard power, zero. Fans or not fans don't care at all. TikTok is for sharing and entertainment. Nothing at all. Wow I'm die side. I'm so happy. Gwen also had a smile on his face when he heard it. Just so happy. In the northern building, after Su Yi went to work, just saw the overwhelming news on TV. A rocket exploded in the suburbs of New York, and the suspected new secret base of Osborne Industries suffered heavy damage. Miss Spide released a new live video. The Spider League has reached four members. Some members of the Women's Federation issued a suggestion that the Spider League is the representative of women, and it is all about protecting the city. Su Yi glanced at it. All I can say is, all kinds of strange things, especially the last one. Why is the Women's Federation coming to buff? At first when Su Yi saw the Women's Federation, 
He thought it was Avengers. It turned out that it was the Women's Federation. What do the people in this union say? Too complicated. If you want to do good, I want to stack buff more. So Yi took out his phone and looked at Gwen's TikTok. Her latest video went viral last night. So Yi went to watch Gwen's video. A distant third perspective battlefield. The content inside is the fight of last night. So Yi has seen this. And in the comments section. So Yi also saw that she met other members of the Spider Alliance. At the same time, the three women also paid attention to themselves. So Yi conveniently clicked back. Ahem. There are more things that are related. Another universe inside Kamartage. A day's worth of hard work by two Stevens. The Dormammu threat to this universe is finally lifted. Steven watched the Phoenix pattern on the back of his hand disappear, and sighed regretfully. After the recent battle, Steven also found this tattoo to be a powerful horse. Although it didn't add much to itself, its suppressive power was extremely terrifying. After Dormammu felt this breath, he really dared not speak out. The young Steven looked at the disappearing lines on the back of Steven's hand and thanked him. Thanks for your help. Stephen. Young Stephen shook his head helplessly when he said this. It's weird to thank myself. But I'm curious, how important is the person who gave you this tattoo to you, compared to Ancient One? 225. Ancient One or Sue, who is important? The solar system war begins. Question mark. After finally solving Dormammu's crisis, what has been lingering in the young Stephen's mind now is how important Sue Yi is to his other self. In fact, he thought about this question all night. Because even if it is only from the meeting at that time, the other Stephen treated that man with respect. Even better than his attitude to Ancient One Mage. And it can be seen that it comes from the heart. It's not a play on the spot. This is what caused young Stephen to be confused and face his problem. Stephen thought about it seriously. Although the Ancient One Mage once said that whether Sue helps me or not, I can eventually become a mage and I'm sure you know that too. Young Stephen nodded. He did know about it, because in the thousands of evolutions of time gem, Stephen will eventually become mage. This is basically an immutable process. But obviously Stephen's important is not this. He shook his head slightly and continued. You know, we're all going to be mage in the end. But how do you live the road of becoming mage? Watching your loved ones die, or parting with your loved ones, or saying goodbye to your friends. If these three points are all in place, I don't think it's meaningful to be a mage. I'd rather have my hand scrapped all the time. 060. But as long as two of them can be left, it's worth it. Stephen finished speaking. The young Stephen slowly closed his eyes, and he let out a long sigh. It can be said, Stephen's words came straight to his heart. Although in all Stephen's worlds, mage will eventually choose to follow the eternal way. But love and friends are different. For example, Stephen of the Fantastic Four ended up committing suicide. For example, the elderly Stephen finally died of depression. But he also committed suicide. And even young Stephen. Well, young Stephen shook his head. In my world, Kristen already has a new boyfriend. Friend. Having said that, he shook his head again. Really good friends are so rare. Even the current Stephen. Maybe only the king is okay. It's hard to say anything else. And not to mention love. It's a mess. Hearing this, Stephen smiled gloatingly. Definitely not intentional either. Just after figuring it out, that kind of grateful smile. On the question of young Stephen, Stephen doesn't even need a positive reply now. Ancient One Mage is inevitable. I still have a chance at love. Christian is waiting for me. I don't have many good friends, but a few are the most important friends. The first is Su Yi. Then there is Wang and Tony. Then Su Yi's friends are also trustworthy. For example that Hulk et al. So compared to Stephen in other worlds, the Stephen that Su Yi knew was much better than other Stephen's experiences. A gap visible to the naked eye. So after young Stephen figured it out, he shook his head helplessly and sighed. This is your fate, Stephen. I have never seen Su Yi in other worlds. His friend Stephen is only you. Stephen smiled. That's my pleasure. The young Stephen nodded in agreement, and then stepped forward to pat Stephen on the shoulder. When are you going to go back? If you're not in a hurry, let's learn more about each other's world. No problem. The king is stationed in Kamartage. I am at ease. Oh, by the way, I'm going to call the king and you can see what's different about Kamite. That's a good note, that's all. Stephen probably intended to stay here for a day or two before going back, and in the original Kamartage, Wang stood on the platform outside the mage holy place, frowning and looked at the sky where Stephen disappeared. Then he looked around the holy place. After a whole day of tinkering with mages, the damage caused by the previous battle has been repaired 7 or 88. It's mage after all. They're pretty quick to fix with spells. It's just a matter of exercising. But the problem is, why hasn't this man come back? Wang couldn't figure it out. But Su Yi didn't say anything. That also means that Steven is safe. And it didn't take long. Just wait a little longer. Well, Wang shook his head helplessly. It's really not reassuring. At the same time, the periphery of the Earth in the solar system. Starting from Mars, all planets are under intensive construction. Anyone who has played StarCraft knows that. 
What about machinery? That definitely is mechanized troops and urbanized style of play. I just use productivity to advance the Great Wall. Then use endless mechanized troops to fight against you. So at the moment in several major planets outside Mars, in addition to building robots, there are countless turrets and weapons are ready. Those dark muscles are bigger than a building. Even some small planets were directly transformed into level planet war machines like the Death Star. That is to drive a planet to fight. They float outside the major planets as satellites. Some are formed into star rings or patrolling satellites satellites are wandering around the outer reaches of the solar system. Anyway, if the planet is about to be scrapped in the end, it will rush into the swarm and explode itself. The main thing is to exchange battle losses for battle losses. But for shapeshifting King Kong, the battle damage of the robot is not a battle loss at all. They can have as much of this stuff as they want. As long as the shapeshifting King Kongs don't die, then the core of Cybertron is fine. And at the moment, in the nearest galaxy to the solar system, the reconnaissance base station established by shapeshifting King Kong suddenly sent a signal to the Cybertron star in the solar system, and the elders and collector got the news immediately. Detected cosmic wormhole shuttle fluctuations, target, solar system. The outer reaches of the Proxima galaxy at the moment. Waves of spatial fluctuations travel through the universe. You can't see the figure at all. But you can see the shock of space. This is one of the manifestations of space overload transportation. Annihilating the Zerg even if it is a Queen's army, there are tens of billions of Zerg units together. These units travel through the cosmic wormhole, and it is still a point shuttle. There will definitely be fluctuations in that space. This is why it was detected by the shapeshift in King Kong. Maybe someone will ask too. Then I can act in the real universe, right? Very good. That would be much easier, Cybertana. As soon as the news is received, a pole appears. Or one tenth of a second later. One thousand colon zero. Okay, unanimously approved. The elders immediately ordered. Attention all shapeshift in King Kong. Activate the solar system defense system. Find the Zerg and eliminate it with all your strength. The voices of the elders were very soft, even flat, but you can just hear the chill from this indifferent mechanical sound. Soon, all the build defense facilities in the solar system are activated, but the shapeshift in King Kong that directs the build is still directing the build. Robots are also building facilities. The difference is, the Bayesian Legion and the Optimus Legion are all in action. They immediately rushed to the edge of the solar system and began to deploy troops. At the same time, Godzilla also traveled to the edge of the solar system in a transport ship. But before leaving, Godzilla babbled and babbled to the duplication of the twin dancers. At the moment twin dancers can roughly understand Godzilla's sign language plus strange language. So they nodded and said, Those who know the master, don't worry. Godzilla nodded immediately after hearing this. Then he waved his hands like a man in a frog holster and left on the transport ship. The twin dancers float above the planet Cybertron. The two watched as a bunch of spaceships and countless robots and shapeshifting King Kong went away. They travel mightily in the universe. Countless spaceships. Tens of thousands of battleships. Robots are transporting millions. At the same time, the number of stationed on the major planets will be at least ten times higher. The number of offspring of shapeshifting King Kong has directly exceeded tens of thousands. At this time, the shapeshifting King Kong is not limited to the second and third generations. Instead, four generations five generations and six generations have all come out. Countless red and blue legions left on battleships. Among them is a thousand meter behemoth sitting on a special transport ship. It is Godzilla. Also wears a necklace of huge amounts of amethysts. Wait until they all leave. The twin dancers looked at each other. Then while flying down, manipulate the ontology to report on the Earth. Earth. North building. Su Yi got off work and has been spending some time with Wanda in the small universe. Wanda leaned on Su Yi's arms and gently touched him. Mouth also muttered, eccentric, lazy, villain, pervert, tell you to conspire with Gwen to bully me, I will strangle you to death. Feeling this is not painful but also itchy chaka, Su Yi held Wanda in his arms with a look of unbearable promise. I swear to God, no, I swear to the universe, I absolutely did not conspire with Gwen, it was all a coincidence. Really? Wanda narrowed her eyes, steamed, Su Yi nodded. He didn't conspire. Gwen and he are on the same page. Did the two say a word during 3.7? Kerosene. The two just blinked. What is it called? This is tacit understanding. Wanda looked into Su Yi's sincere eyes. She held up Su Yi Xiang obsessively again and took a sip. Then I trust you. Su Yi immediately replied a few words. At this time, the twin dancers came in from the small universe. The two came to Su Yi's side and said softly, The shapeshift in King Kong has pre-discovered the attack route of the Annihilation Zerg, and it is expected to enter the combat state within one three hours. Master, are you ready to watch? Hear this sentence. Wanda was instantly interested. But it was Su Yi who asked the question. But Su Yi thought about it, and suddenly smiled. Did Godzilla miss me? The twin dancers nodded in confirmation. Yes, Godzilla wants you to see it in action. Hear such pleas from Godzilla. Wanda also felt that she couldn't bear to refuse. And the point is, she really wants to watch this big movie too. Shapeshift in King Kong vs Zerg. Doesn't this look better than the original version? So Su Yi nodded. Call Gwen. Let's call Spider League to watch together. 
Let them increase their knowledge. I'll call. Wanda immediately took out her mobile phone and started calling. Dot. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me. Link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.